I think you're live. Three, no, you're two, not. one, poop. And poop. Um, I'm supposed yeah, there to There we uh, go. I'm supposed to be live. If I'm not live, we have yes, a problem. you are. You are. We're good. We're live. Mm -hmm. That's good news. I'm fighting with your chat already, though. Uh, you're fighting with them? Why? Yeah, yeah. Uh, look at my sub message and then Hergatrafim's sub message. All right. So, oh, oh, welcome back to your new home, Fred. Uh, mm. Thank you. Thank you for 33 months of support, buddy. Come. Uh, mm. And also, there's Herg resubbing. Thank you for 44 months, bud. No come. Come or it, no come? That is the I question. Think it, I think it cancels out. Uh, we're now at a base level of... Uh, well, I, it's, what, what's what's between come and no come? Uh, pre come. You know what? Good answer. Chat. Thanks for coming tonight. This is Fred Newson. If you haven't figured that out yet, uh, the rabbit hole man. And today we're going down a little rabbit hole uh, around AI generated images. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been using this script that was made by somebody at MIT. If I'm reading this correctly, it's called the Bogan clip. Sorry, v, v, the VQGAN clip uh, by Catherine Krausen. Thank you, Catherine Krausen. Krausen. Um, and I know a lot of you have been using this thing too. I got some of my own images that I slammed in there. I got some of your images. And I think Fred made a couple too? I made a couple, yes. You did? Oh, yes. Um, how exciting. Yeah, just a couple. Uh, I was very intrigued to see what Frank's mind could conjure with the help of an AI that has no idea what it's doing. Point of view, man, Brogfish, and Nick. Nope, just kidding. Ryan the Roar. Uh, welcome back to your new homes, freaks. Thank you for supporting my friend. Thank you for thanking them for supporting your friend. Cheers. You're supposed to say thank you for thanking me to thank you. Okay, never mind. Um, I'm not doing this. Cheesy Draws with six months. Back to your new home, Cheese. Thank you. Um, so, Fred, you said you had a couple of things you wanted to look at with me before we, do we dove into these, these yeah, images. Yeah, just a couple of fun things that would be good to let people file in before we get into the real meat and potatoes of tonight. Yeah, we were, we're, knowing us, we're not going to see those meat and potatoes for an hour and a half, but I'm cool right. with that. I'm cool right, with that. Right. Right. Um, we, we can keep it quick. Uh, there are... Uh, so it's actually some stuff that Vex shared with me because hmm. Vex is a font of cursed content. It's true. Most of the time when you come to me with something fucked up, it came from Vex. Where, where, do, where, do, where do they find all this nonsense? I think they're just keyed in to the right Tumblr blogs and the right friends. Like their friends find the good stuff and then share it with them. And their immediate thought right like vex is one of my best friends right their mm. first thought is wow this is really fucked up fred would love this and then your first thought is to inflict it on me so it's a great yes. you know um little ecosystem there right yeah it, it, it's kind of like you know i'm abused and then i abuse people in turn it's a healthy shit, cycle shit we, we rolls keep, downhill tradition you know. going yeah it's an oral <laughs> tradition Yes. Um, I don't know what that means. Uh, so what do, you, what, do you, what do you got for me? What do you want to hit me with? So, Disturb me. Um, a, a couple, so the first couple of these are um, some relationship red flags. Uh, if you'd like, I could just read them out to you. Uh, yeah, regale us. Yeah, sure. So these are, um, this was a Tumblr ask uh, where they said, uh, what was the funniest red flag in your worst relationship? Um, and these are some of the tags. The first one is earnestly believed everyone shits their pants at least twice a month and insisted I was lying and got aggressive when I disagreed. <laughs> you think that's legitimate though, or you think that's somebody fucking around? I I feel like this is legit. I feel like there are people who, who do this, right? Like chat chat's like, wait a minute, you mean to tell me it's not normal to shit your pants <laughs> twice a month? Go to the bathroom! I could smell you. You are shitting oh. yourself. Um, yeah, it'd be a little bit of a red flag, uh, per I, I think. Yeah, but that's just me. Different streaks for different folks, you know? Mm-hmm. As in shit streaks. Y yes. You got that? 
I, I got just it. it. Just making sure you got you got that streaking no, doo doo. I knew somebody it. like that in high school. Uh, he, so one of one of my friends in high school had a cousin, and we all went to the same high school, and we used to call his cousin Low Tide because every time you you, you would smell the shit before you saw him. Like you, you would know because the guy, because the guy unironically shat his pants and like wore diapers. I'm, I'm not making any of this up. And one, one day we, we asked his cousin about, it. like we asked our friend about it. We were like, what's up with him and the, uh, you know, the fact that he, like, smells like shit all the time. Right, because like, like before we continue, let's get one thing straight. Like incontinence is just something that some people have. It sucks. It's true. It, yeah. Like, okay. It, that's it's a medical condition, sure. right? Like. Sure. That's um. I think it was a little bit different in this case because he mm -hmm. he gave he told us a story about like that happened like a couple years prior when they were um like playing video games and our friend was like listen I have to go to I have to go take a shit and then his his friend his his cousin was like why <laughs> just just go in your pants and then like shrugged he was like just just go in your pants oh no. and, yeah yeah no he was like disturbed and then my friend you, you you can't you can't do that man you have to get up and go to the bathroom like what do you like what are you talking about at the time the kid was probably like fucking 12 or 13 and then like yeah and, and then after he and he was like a little bit younger than us when he entered high school like he continued like he still hadn't learned that like you can't do that and it seemed to be that it was overwhelmingly it was just laziness on his part like he right. did like he just didn't want to like go like he didn't feel like he should have to do that for the benefit of other people and he was like you know he didn't like move a lot like he was a little bit like on the larger side i would say like like yeah like obese like right. it was like, yeah. don't do it for other people like, do it for other people and for yourself yeah for yourself right, right. i mean but go on sorry not yeah, a real human guy guys i swear to you this this took place at my high school like we had this is low tide I won't say his name, obviously, but we would we, we called him Low Tide. It was actually Gamby who came up with that name, which was um like one of one of Gamby's like finest moments. It's a so, really that's a good moment to have as one of your finest moments. Like coming up with the name Low Tide. Uh, <laughs> just anyway, uh, that was just the first of your uh, Tumblr hashtags. Right. Uh, the rest uh, of them, I think, are kind of more Tumblr things. Um, the other one is, so I, well, the, the, the other one that I wanted to share with you, the other response to this question was, um, not a red flag or whatever, but I was in a polycule, so a polygamous relationship yeah. with me, my two IRL friends and Hatsune fucking Miku. Oh no. Well, I mean, you know, what's funny about that is that that right there in and of itself, that, that is the red flag. Like... Right. Like he's trying to talk about a red flag, but like I'm getting a red flag from his describing a red flag. Right, exactly. Like, first, it is already a very rare thing if people can make a polycule work. Like, exceedingly rare. Like, if you think that you're that you could that if you think that you could get polygamy to work, you're probably wrong. I think you're right. Like, I think no, for mo no most offense. people, yeah. No offense, but you probably can't. I don't think it, it, I. I yeah. can barely handle like one person right right time, right like what makes you think i could do like i'm right on the edge and most people are that way right anyway you, uh, you gotta be a very that, right? a very specific kind of person to do that i think and not like you know get jealous and then the other the other people involved in the thing have to not experience the, the jealousy or it's all fucked you know what i mean like it's just it sounds so messy doesn't it right it's messy yeah. and like people like often because there are more people what, like it's unlikely for that polycule to actually stay together um they're probably very short-lived things by go. yeah by their nature right because like at least one person is probably overextending themselves right like yeah. it's exceeding it's exceed it's exceedingly rare for one person to be able to do it and then you have to have other people that can that can do it too uh so but we were, so beyond that though, uh, we're we're losing sight of Hatsune fucking Miku. Yeah. Um, which... <laughs> you, you you think that that was you, you think that that was a requirement for one of them? Like he, he walks up to the other two people and is like, "Look, I'm I'm down for this, 
but there's got to be a fourth. And it's like, oh, well, I mean, like, we could try. Who is it? Hatsune Miku. And then they were like, oh, sh sh sure, sure, buddy, sure. I, th I think what's scarier, the <laughs> it would be scary if they just deadpan said Hatsune Miku. But if he's just like, oh, yeah, Hatsune Miku, ha, 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 you know, like, like, like that one. It's it's the Hatsune Miku. And, they're, and then you're just like, ha, ha, yeah. And then the tension just starts building. There's a lot of ha, 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 yep, ha, ha. You know, and they're sitting there and, you know, they're at dinner and they're fucking polycule or whatever. And there's cum everywhere because that's what I imagine those situations are like. <laughs> and then yeah, they, they've, they've got semenology open on the table. Yeah. And, and they, of course, and they've got like, I don't know, a cardboard fucking standee of Hatsune Miku at the table. And it's just, you know, fucking just riddled with semen. And it's oh, like, yeah. so how was your day, Hatsune? It's like, well, well, I had a really good time. Um, singing the opening for the Japanese Olympics. Uh, here's the the <laughs> only the only way they were gonna get it to work was like they had to, they they begged one of the other the other members of the Polycule to do her voice all the time to make <laughs> like to make her seem real. Yeah, they they so learned he, to throw their voice because they loved them. Yeah, yeah, it was just, <laughs> just part of being in this relationship. Sometimes you got to pretend that you're yourself, and then also Hatsune Miku. <laughs> at the same time like he has to have conversations with himself for the other person's benefit right and this isn't a split personality thing this is just pretending to be Hatsune Miku right, so the next red flag oh, is this... doesn't find the Onesler hot <laughs> it's Tumblr because it's because it's because it's Tumblr so there's actually more to this um they expounded upon it so the oh. person who asked said now no see now I'm gonna need some explanation for this one and the person responded Shit, man, I don't know what to tell you. We just brought a figurine of her with us on dates and crap and acted like she was our girlfriend. Fuck, man, I don't know. So I was close. You were very close. Did they um, transport it around in a jar by any chance? I guess. Hmm. Yeah. Caramelization. Hmm. Cum Cumalization? Hmm. That's blurst. Oh, I think it's just... Erst, honestly, like, like I don't. Erst, yeah. Like, where's the where's the blur part? Like, where's the blur part? Mm -hmm. Where where's that part? So I, I had like one other thing to share. It was um, oh come on. Now I'm trying to find shit, and Tumblr is a problem. Have you ever Tumblr sucks? You have you ever noticed that you can't hit? the back button on yeah. tumblr yeah like Tum tumblr's I, a nightmare I never, I never used it um it's the most user on friendly piece of shit website i think i've ever fucking seen honestly like it's so yeah. how it got as popular as it did is always going to mystify me because of how fucking aggressively obtuse it is people are going I to fucking say the exact it. same thing about twitter they're going to say like how was this ever a thing i don't think twitter is less user friendly C it's not C less come user on, friendly, come on. but there are going to be things that come along that are better, and people are going to be like, how? Yeah, I guess. But I mean, Tumblr was just like, so aggressive. I mean, like, MySpace made sense. Wh wh why did Tumblr, like... I don't know, right. it, it make such a hard left turn into weirdness. It just... Yes. I remember, like, MySpace and uh, fucking... Shit, like even even F Facebook was around before Tumblr, right? Mm -hmm. Like like Facebook was fucking easy to understand. Like Facebook was user friendly, you know. Like why why was Tumblr? It was like they went out of their way to make it fucking dumb and confusing. Yeah, it's it's surprising, right? And it Do became huge. I, I... That yeah, everything is obtuse. Maybe, maybe that was part of the charm is that everything was live, obtuse. Live journal. Live journal made sense. Like I understood live journal, you know? Mm -hmm. Like all those websites were pretty straightforward and I, I felt like easy to grasp. You you look at fucking Tumblr fucking replies and shit, and it looks like a fucking MC Escher painting. <laughs> like like who's replying to who? Like I have no fucking idea. And then, God forbid, you try to fucking, like, navigate and find something. It's a nightmare. That website's a fucking nightmare. Yes. Mike's age is showing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, another bit from, from um, 
Th th this Tumblr, I just started scrolling their Tumblr and they had a really good res uh, a good clap back, if you will. Uh, someone asked, can you trigger tag bisexuality, please? Which is already weird. Their reply was, no, but I can fuck both your parents. <laughs> That's got the energy of... Great comment. Unfortunately, I had sexual intercourse with your mother. <laughs> yeah, it has the same energy. Yeah, it's got the same. That's that's excellent, though. No, but I can do this. Like I just love that. <laughs> it, it, that and that has the energy of uh, Emperor's New Groove. Reason number two. Look what I can do. And he does like a, a handstand on one hand. And Kronk's <laughs> like, what? What does that have to do? And then the shoulder angel says, No, 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 no. He's got a point. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the uh, obscure trigger tag. Yeah, who the fuck yeah, knows? Well, honestly, yeah, like, no, I, I didn't. I didn't want to linger on that. I was afraid that we might linger on that. It's like, yes, it's stupid. No, nobody cares. None of it. No, I, no. I don't. I don't. I don't know, it's man. Not, not like, don't give them the attention. It's the clap back that deserves the attention. I did. They get ratioed. That's probably not a thing on Tom. No, why wouldn't uh, it be? They did. They got uh, ratioed. Good. Kind Bike. of, you can you can kind of do a pseudo ratio, or people just note it. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you was um, poorly, like improperly, improperly labeled things. Um, I'll, I'll, I think you'll get the theme as we go through. I'll, I'll I'll send the links to you. I'll send the images to you in Discord. Yeah, hit me with them. Uh, there's the first one. Uh, oh, I've oh I've seen this kind of shit before. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. In these, yeah. Ranabo Sprinkle. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, you morons! Wow. Oh, that's fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Kep chop. <laughs> oh, how do you fuck up that badly? I, it's. How do you fuck I, up I, that bit? So it's either one of two things. Either they actually don't know how to spell it, or they they fucked it up and didn't notice, or they fucked it up and said it's not worth it. Uh, especially, like, all right, th this ketchup person has no excuse, but the Ranabo no. Sprinkle, I understand a little bit, because that thing had to be, like, printed out and everything, and I personally yes. would have been like, fuck it. This yeah. is from the Bone uh, Bone Apple Tea uh, uh, Tumblr, isn't it? Uh, no, it, it's from just someone who goes by attention deficit star scream. Spinch! Spinch. Supersized spinch! Um, yeah, Man. the bone apple tea, or it's like, a, it's it's a Reddit, right? Bone apple tea? Somebody yes, was telling is. me about this the other it day. It is. Where it's just this kind of shit. <laughs> what is <Yeah>. it? <laughs> Bitch! I understand uh, that I'm like this is basically the equivalent of you know sharing this on a Facebook page with with your boomer friends, but god damn it. You're just sharing it on a Twitch stream with your yeah. boomer your boomer boomer friend. Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. We have the nug, the nugger, and the Nuggest. Ch it's Ch Chichen Nuggest. <laughs> chai Ch Chichen? Like, I want to pronounce it like lichen. You know how he's like the like the moss lichen? Yeah, Chichen. It's like Chichen. Chai Chichen Ch Nuggets? Nuggest. Chichen Nuggets. Chichen. Like, like insect uh, armor, right? Like insects? Right, right. Like arthropod uh, yes. shells? Yes. Chichen, nuggest. Uh, aren't those also like totally not chicken nuggets? They're yeah. <laughs> that was so distracted like, by like the that chichen was... nuggest that I, I didn't realize yeah, those was... aren't even chichen nuggets. Yeah, now he, he got kind of like lost in the in the sauce there, lost like a little bit. Those are <laughs> onion rings. You know what though. The, don't places chicken rings are a thing. Like I remember back in the day, I don't know if they still do. White Castle had chicken rings, what? which was pretty. It was pretty dumb though, to be honest, because they were just I don't know. They were like big flat chicken nuggets with holes in the middle. No, that's stupid. And I was like, why do those exist? Uh, no, like 
but even then, they're not nuggets. No, they're not. Excuse me, they're not nuggets. Well, they, <laughs> they called them chicken rings, and it was like, wow, look, chicken rings. And I was like, why is that cool? I exactly I want, like when I get meat, I I want it seasoned. I you know you can add things to it, but I want the shape of it manipulated as little as possible. Like the fact that they could manipulate the shape of the meat into a ring does not speak well of the meat. No, it doesn't. No, because you know it was a fucking like slurry at slurry, one point. Exactly. Like a, that's like a really fucking flesh slurry. It. Yeah, like me. Uh, I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write down flesh slurry for the uh, for the AI generator. Oh, flesh that. slurry. Um, yeah, that's just think things that that's been like my whole week, just writing things down like that when they occur to me. Um, yeah, like oh, you know, you know what the funny part is about manipulating food like that? Hmm. It's always poop in the end. It is. It it's like you're spending poop. all this time and energy and and probably money to like make the, the the chicken into the shape of a donut but like it's gonna just it's gonna be poop mm. so what's the point this reminds me i would love one day i'd love to do a stream with you going through that book um that's uh what is it that the different ways that humanity might evolve oh you're talking about that really fucked up one yes with all the gross psych like, humanoids and shit all do you know the, the, yes, the name tomorrow. of that book all tomorrows and if we're gonna do something like that i saw a book once that had like alien life like uh this, some, this guy made up a planet and then illustrated like hundreds of like aliens that lived on it yes which was fucking cool as hell he was it was like a you know um exobiology experiment that was cool as hell but i don't remember the name of that book so darwin four i i think that's right actually um I'm going to pop this next one that you sent me in here. Yeah, yeah. This one's kind of cute because it's a kid, obviously. Oh, do, do they have the uh, the ga the gamer hands? Do you remember the, the fucking controller that they made? It was like... They didn't make the controller, but somebody illustrated it. Where it was like, this yeah. is what humans would look like if they evolved for gaming. And the guy had like fucking like nine really long fingers. And he was using a controller that had like 15 buttons on it. And it was like, this is uh, disgusting. This is literally just that moment from Ghost in the Shell where the person's hands splay out. It's because they evolved for like typing or something, right? Right. On a keyboard, which is like, hey, guess what? That's been completely invalidated by the existence of touchscreens. So, touch oop, oops. Braggle! Broggly. They tried to put br like broggly, basically, but it says broggle. <laughs> broccoli. Also, you're a loser. Also, you fucking failed at drawing broccoli too, so you're bad at two things. <laughs> the more you try, the more you can fail. Yep. Go back and do it again. You lose. <laughs> I think. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what are you gonna say? What? I. I feel like because it's a kid, it's not so bad, right? It's just cute. yeah, it's yeah, it's better, I guess. You assume the rest of these are adults. Yeah. There's only one broccolini that looks like that. Detector says, "Oh, there's one called broccolini that looks like that." You talking about like broccoli, Rob? I thought you were. I, I thought that was like a line from like a fucking like Mario Brothers Super Show like YouTube poop. There's only one broccolini that looks like that. That's my brother Luigi's penis. Like, I thought that's what that was, and I was like, what? I don't remember that one. Terminal broccoli. I know that broccol broccolini anywhere. That's my brother Luigi's dick. Um, I'm going to show the next one. You ready? Tendril, yes. Yeah. I feel like somebody who sells straw babies should know how to spell draw babies. You can't sell it if you can't spell it, son. New rule. What do you think? I... It, it's obvious what happened. The B kind of looks like the R. Because uh, it was stencils? They were using stencils and they right. figured like... It, it's clearly a stencil. So how but... did they fuck it up like this bad? They, we know there's an R stencil because you see it earlier in the word. Also, that's not a strawberry. That's a radish. <laughs> it's true. It's possible this guy has no fucking idea what a strawberry is at this point. 
Right, and he's like he's like selling strawberry, like vaguely strawberry shaped things, like apples, rat, like radishes. Yeah, I mean this is like red and um, vaguely strawberry shaped. It's a strawberry, right? Right, like raspberries, everything but strawberries. And it looks like the word F O R is like bigger than the word strawberries. So like he had two separate stencils. That means. So he had R he had two R's and failed to use either of them to spell strawberries. Yeah, and and the and sale is even larger. So it's like strawberries for sale. <laughs> yeah. I'm nervous about it. Strawberries for sale. Can I please come by and please? I got a mortgage. This is this <laughs> what is what the fuck. <laughs> Donkey, get out of my marsh potato. Potato. <laughs> marsh potato. Marsh potato. Like swamp taters. I like anyone who labels this kind of thing at a, at a buffet. I don't trust them not to sneeze in the food. Oh, yeah. You know, that person probably like drooled in that. He probably licked that shit. He probably mixed it up with his dick. If he fucking is spelling that like that. There's no way. I don't want him anywhere near my food. Somebody like, who, who fucking has this level of spelling ability sh should not be anywhere near my food. Sorry. I think it, for me, it's less the spelling ability because there are plenty of like intelligent people that just didn't learn how to read or write. Like maybe they just didn't have the opportunity. Okay, I can accept that. But this is like, no. presumably mm -hmm. this person is literate and they just didn't care. They were like, ah, close enough. Marsh Poteo. This person, like, takes a shit, doesn't wa doesn't wash their hands, and then loads the food into the serving trays. No, th this is the person who gets up, washes their hands, then goes back to the toilet to flush it afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause like, look, he had the the level of of intelligence to know that the words should should probably be capitalized in the front. Right. right. They, they know this. Why do you think the cook wrote the label? I, I don't think the cook wrote the label. I think that the person who, like, transports the food from the kitchen to the dining room maybe does maybe wrote that. Marsh potato. And if English isn't their first language, though, like, someone learning a language and messing it up is universally funny. Like, can we agree on that, right? I, you laugh, I you think like, so. You help, then you help them, right? You laugh and then you help them. But, like, people messing up languages is just always funny. It is the enduring humor. There, I, I think, like, like I've met people... I go, like, yeah. that happens. Like, I go, you know, I go and I try to speak German and they're like, uh, mm. <laughs> Yeah, like, it's okay. Laugh at me. I know I sound like a moron. Go ahead. It's okay. Right. Like, I, I think some people learning a foreign language get a little, um, a little upset by it. Mm. Like, I think that, that that is a thing that goes on. Like, you, you meet, I mean, you know, I've met a lot of people who are self-conscious about their, like, ability to speak English. Mm -hmm. And they don't want me to, like, point out any, any flaws or anything. But, mm -hmm. Although, I don't know. I don't think it's that big a deal. It's the learning no, process. It's not. It's not. Um, at least they're correcting you, right? Uh, yeah. And you're, and you're making people laugh. Great. Um, they're actually, okay, so fun fact. You know about Michael Soft Bimbos, right? I know all about Michael Soft Bimbos. Okay, yeah, you know that it actually is a pun, and it was purposeful, right? No, I, Dad, I didn't know. No. Okay, so uh, do you want? You know what? Let's share Microsoft bimbos. Uh, so for those of you who haven't seen it, there was a really good video on it. Oh no shit! Yes. Um, oh, I'm like a little. I'm, I'm, I'm kind. Of, I'm kind of disappointed to find out that Microsoft bimbos is isn't real. It's actual. Well, it is real. It is real. It just it actually makes sense if you're Japanese. Okay, explain. Okay. Uh. This so, Microsoft is a joke because so it, this is a few puns in in Japanese. Um. So, Michael. So this is a um, an electronics resale store. The joke, uh, there's a joke in Japan that everyone in America is named Michael. Is that right? Yes, because there are just so many people named Michael. They're just like, it, it's, it's a joke. 
at this point. Is, is that true, though? Now, I know that, obviously, it's my name, and it was obviously, the most po yes. popular um, boy's name of the year I was born, uh, 1985. Right. Mm -hmm. So that was that definitely, in the United States, that was the number one boy's name. Mm -hmm. So, like, maybe that's where that's coming from. I guess there's some truth to it. Yeah. Either way, it's a stereotype. Uh, Mike, then, Mike moment. Yeah. Then binbos is actually a pun on the Japanese word binbo, which is, I think, to reuse. Or it's like something that is reused. I I'm sure that uh, someone in chat can make sure that I am... Uh, that I'm doing that right. Yeah, che or cheap. Sorry, it it's not reuse. It's cheap or poor. Um, so the joke is like cheap electronics from America. Uh, I love it. So it actually That's makes pretty sense. Good. It makes sense. I yeah, I was sort of hoping it was some kind of bootleg, like egregious fucking bootleg. Michael soft. Me when I'm flaccid. It's actually extremely descriptive, so it's perfect. It, it is kind of right. Now that I know that, it is exceedingly clever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you know what isn't exceedingly clever? This. Meshmalowa. What is that? Polish? Meshmalowa. Maybe in Polish. Dude, where's the R? Oh my god. Did they even try? This is a fucking, like, gay Twitter key smash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I do this. This isn't even, like, like... This is not a word. This is not a language. What the fuck is that? You can't just do that. <laughs> this is something this next one is something I would like you to put into the AI generator. Oh fuck that. Yeah yeah. Oh fuck that. Oh fuck that. But I will. But I, I will. will. I will. Um uh, what was the other one we were trying to do before? Okay, so while we were getting ready for this for the stream, um, I, I was asking you to do the cum gambit. Is it? Yeah, isn't skin milk just sweat? Oh, stop. Um, the cum gambit was the prompt that Fred was trying to put into uh, the AI gen image generator. He couldn't get it to work, so then I tried to do it, and it wouldn't let me do it either. <laughs> so like. Can I get one of you to try it? Like, I I want I want to see the cum gambit. Can I get one of you to curse? try the cum the cum gambit? I wonder. Uh, Roggle Boggle, thank you for thirty five months of support. I saw a lot of people subbing, but I didn't or resubbing. I didn't want to interrupt Fred while it, while he was speaking. So thank you to everybody who resubbed at the end of the stream. I'll try to uh, I'll call all of you out if I can remember to do that, which I should remember to do that. In the meantime, no smorking! No Don't smorking. you dare smork in here! <laughs> smorking causes lorn corn, sir. <laughs> and... Emphysemur. Emphysemur. Goddamn... Smorkers. Sounds like a slur. I don't like it. No smorking in seed. This was, like, put up for the benefit of, like, Robin Williams and, and Mork and Mindy. Smorking is, is, is when Mork, you know, smorks. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Is that Swedish? Smor get That's, uh, Ominous Bagel is thinking that this was typed out by that, that Swedish chef Muppet. There's so many of these. I'm like, I'm oh. actually trying to curate them a little bit for I'm, you. Oh, I'm, I'm going to smork. <laughs> uh, I did send a new one. You know what would really hit the spot right now? Mm. Some hand soup. <laughs> I like it when they don't dice the fingers up too much. So it's like a nice big, like, I like, fi I like chunks, you know, I like finger chunks. Oh yeah. you mush How do you do it? I don't like when it's, it's more like a bisque. Like, I like it to be, I like it to be thinner than that, you know? 
Oh, but then, like, you how yourself... are you going to exfoliate? Exfoliate. You have a, a bowl of hand soup with a nice tall glass of skin milk. Do you like your hand soap boned or deboned? Like, I like I, I like to well actually hold on a second. There's just deboned. You don't bone something. Like you don't add bones to things. You don't go like you don't go, oh, you know what would really make this chicken better? A bone. Well that's what like bo bone, bone stock is, right? I mean, yeah, that's like Yeah, they'll they'll okay. like, you know, boil water with bones in it to make stock, I think. Right? And I, I don't I know mean, I don't really think about it. I'm not sure. I, I just mean, I think yes. that happens. Yeah, but you're not heating up the inside of your mouth to 212 degrees Fahrenheit so you can get all of the juices out of the bone. <laughs> yeah, true. Hand soup. It sounds like a euphemism for cum. Like, you it know, you jack, does, jack off. I uh, got some hand soup. It's like knuckle children. You know what I mean? Knuckle children. Hand soup. For some reason, rainbow sprinkles just can't catch a break. Ran Ranabo Sprinkles? Ran Ranabo Sprinkles. I like hand soup. Um <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. No, there, yeah, there's oh, another. Oh, I gave you two. Oh, okay. This is why you were saying that. I was so confused. Raubow sprinkles. <laughs> Raubs Dower. Raubs Dower. And, um, we got a garage sale. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's kind of phonetically correct. It's like the name of, like, an orc or something. It, it, it does. Oh, my God. If I ever actually, uh, G, like, GM for D&D, &D, if I DM again, I'm making an orc named Garage. Garage. And he's, and like, he, and, and, and he's, um... A merchant. He's a merchant, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It perfect sense. Perfect. And he goes, garage sale. Whenever he's and got, like, items at a discount. Right, garage exactly. Garage sale. You buy. Save money. Great value. Right, and then it's like, yeah, no, right. then it's one of the adventurers <laughs> making fun of him like that. And he's just like, you know, I can speak common, right? Yeah, you. but you don't whip that out to, like, like two months into the campaign, sir. This you is know? racist. Like, don't like, don't let them right. know. What? Right. <laughs> it's, it's right. All of these are giving me a case of nut gut. <gasps> oh, I love this one. <laughs> <gasps> Chicken nut guts. Oh man, you 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 fucking did it! You found the way to make chicken. Doug, it's completely unappetizing. You're welcome. Well, the person Not who wrote good. it. Right, because it's like, you know, it's got cum and, like, organs in it. Right. Yeah, so we took all the chicken semen and, uh, you know, the gizzards and shit and the intestines, and we mashed it all up, and we made it into uh, a little, a little bite-sized... Uh, can't use the word uh, nugget. A little, a little bite-sized little... morsel... And we deep fried it. You're welcome. Enjoy. Chicken nut guts. Dude, That's I about love all chicken I have. nut guts. Um, I, I think we're ready to get into into the, the meat and potatoes of tonight. You want to get into the, the, the yeah the, the main course here? Yeah. And um, why don't, just to start this off, I show you the two that I made. Okay, uh, sure. Now, you only made two? I, I only made two. Okay. And I, I because I, I know that you have a whole bunch that you want to show me. I have a decent amount of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I figure like you know a lot of this is gonna be you know we're just like looking at these things you know um, and talking about them. Like I don't yes. expect that we're gonna like blast through these things very quickly. Right. Yeah. We're just gonna be chilling and enjoying these. Yeah. Really. So let them... I have. Yeah, really soaking, soaking yeah. them into our nut gut, in our uh, the pores from which our skin milk flows. So the first one, I decided to do a little bit of learning about myself. So I just put Frank in. 
You just put the, the name Frank. I just put the name Frank. Okay. And um, I don't like what I got. Oh, what the fuck is... Who the fuck is that? Oh, God. What the I, fuck? I feel like Gygus. Alright, so... There's a face in there. It's kind of a poggers? Like it's a like a qua pog. It, it's you like a, qua a, a quasi poggy tonight, honey. A quasi pog? Like a little bit of a of a pog there. Um but what else is going on in here? Cuz like I said um, there's a face. Well, you've got like you remember in semenology how um you no know, there there's the cum cascading down the ice cubes. You got a little <laughs> bit of that. Yeah, yeah that is happening. I want that you is to happening know, here. That I want is, I you see know it. that when people talk to me, mm -hmm. they'll say like, "Oh, I like, I, I like this, you know, this video that you made. I was really into it." But a disconcerting number of times, the first thing that someone brings up is, "Oh, I love that podcast you made about um, what was it, the cum drinks." <laughs> I want you to know that that's going to be part of my legacy, a significant so part of my legacy. So you, you you're you're trying to tell me that like you've gotten more like in initial like compliments on that semenology podcast than you did on like I I don't know fucking D deep blue. It's in the top five. You're fucking kidding me. No. It absolutely is. It is it is yes. <laughs> You know what it is? I, 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 dude. You know what I think? I think people just love cum. Just, I'm sorry. I, I want think to know more. I think people just love cum. I, I think that you know, like that's been my experience. Like, you know, with the amount of times, like I've spoken about cum over like the past six years. Um, you would think like the the number of people who watch this channel would go down, but it didn't. It went up. It's because you're finding your audience. Like all I'm doing is talking about cum for like ninety percent of it. So like why like explain that? The only the explanation is people love cum. Cum well, sells. Well think about it, right? You have ten people come in and start watching the stream. The first nine are like, Oh my god, he's talking about cum. And then the tenth person is like, Oh yeah, finally someone who gets me. <laughs> and then he sticks around <laughs> indefinitely. Yeah. Uh, how many of you are that guy? All of them. Mike, have... you've curated your audience. <laughs> it's literally all of them. This so... this is your this is your legacy. This uh, right. is this is the monument that you have built. I'm happy this is, with this that. This is your monolith. This is your cum monolith. I'm very happy with that. I'm happy. I know with you that. are. Yeah, I think that's great. I'm I'm proud. Average cum enjoyers. You put, oh, you thank put a you. lot of effort into it. You've like you, you've really focused hard. You've eaten a lot of pineapple, <laughs> and you are you are bearing the fruits, if if you will. Um, uh, so you got some semen dripping down. You got um some kind of biscuit up in the top left. What what is that? What do you think that is? What do you say? Um, God, yeah, it's, again, it's like a cum biscuit. This knows yeah, it's me. Yeah, it's filled with cum. And then there's, like, some other pastries, like, scattered about. And I don't know, maybe, maybe lemons? Right, where is this coming from? And that, like, lemon, they, they, those look like, plus, like, I think that it just couldn't find enough images, and so it stayed painterly. Like, you know, it always starts out with this weird sort of painterly thing. I think that's on. what it was built on. Yes. It was it was built on like an art database, mm -hmm. and that's why one of the funnest, probably um, the the best results producing things that you could do with this AI generator is you could put the jo a genre of art as in 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 the prompt in the prompt that mm -hmm. gets a lot of fucking I've seen some really really good results from people doing that. You can actually put the name of an artist. And get even more specific. Yeah, we'll and be looking at that. You show that, me one. Yeah, that gets even fucking crazier when you do that. Um, but someone in chat said you look like a toe, like that. That uh, 
That little face in the middle, it's like a toe no, with a, fa it. a face on it. I see it. Is it like a cy cyclops? Like it's got one eye? Is that what that is? I, I think, yeah. And then there's like the long mouth at the bottom. And then there's sort of an ear to the right. And the entire shebang is happening on like a bed of spinch, it looks like. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, a bed of spinch with some curtains? Right, yeah, j to hide the shame. I, I tried to hide the shame before you walked in, but I wasn't there in time. Maybe that's like Frank Reynolds, like Danny DeVito. Maybe that's what that is. Mm. Uh, Valeri OS. Welcome to the family. Again, I want to try. Thank you, everybody. I do see people resubbing and subbing. Thank you, guys. I do want to try not to talk over Frank. So at the end of the stream, I'm going to make sure I read out all, all the subs. I just I need somebody to remind me, please. For the love of God. I'll do my best. Um, Thank you. Um, This, like, it had to get these images from somewhere, right? Right. I didn't give it much. I was actually curious about what would happen if I didn't give it very much. Like, that face, that has to be a Frank, right? Yes, a, a it must be right, or like, I guess, hmm, it's a Frank. Certainly, it's a Frank. What Frank though? Like it I, couldn't go deep enough. Yeah, it's, it's or maybe it's like an amalgam of Franks. Ooh, like, like a the, like a composite is, of Franks. Yeah, Ja uber Frank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uber Frank. Uh, um, I haven't. Uh, so, do you want to see the other one that I made? Uh, yeah. A Frankenstein. Right. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> oh, how no. did we know? Oh, a Frankenstein. How do we oh, not my... hit on that? <laughs> oh, it's yeah. It's such like. And sometimes these things are like so obvious. Like I see things in chat, and I'm like, man, how did I? How did I not think of that? Like what? Like how? How's it? We're off the ball. No, th yeah, this we're is off what the we ball, do. No, what we do is we see stuff in chat. And we pretend that it's ours. Could do that. Could do that. Yeah, it's kind like of that, scummy. That, but I, you could, you could do it. Yeah, that, scummy. That's the real way to get big online. I think there was like one. There was one night where like. Let me let me start the story by saying that that's not what happened. Like I made a joke, and I don't. I don't remember what it was or whatever. And, and then for like the next fucking like ten minutes, somebody was spamming me in the chat. And was like, you stole my joke! You stole my joke! Hey! Hey, fuck you! Hey, you stole my joke! And then eventually I noticed it. And I was like, what? What What? what joke? Like, what are you talking about? What did I steal? Like, tell me. Like, what did I steal? And then they told me. And I remember thinking, like, I genuinely didn't see it. Right. Like, it was just me. I guess whatever it was was, like, an obvious joke, you know? Yeah, it's... Just this because someone phony. else also yeah. thought of it. <laughs> Joke thief. Oh, Joke thief. I mean that that that's an actual like big thing in um, stand up comedy, right? Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, people the lawsuits and shit. But I think that um, it, you know, it stands to reason that most of the people who would be hanging out in this Twitch channel have a similar sense of humor to me, right? Mm. So like, we're gonna we're 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 gonna we're gonna our brains are gonna overlap here and there, you know. Mm. Um. But anyway, this image is thoroughly disgusting. I fucking hate it. Good job. Yeah. Um. Don't worry. I got one that is uh, a little bit more on the ball. I think. Uh. This next one. So the only other one that I made. Uh. Is what I got when I input monk shit tea. <laughs> Now, you guys remember Monk Shit T, right? <laughs> For those of you who don't know, um, Mike half convinced me that there was like a kind of tea where monks would eat it, shit it out, and then that would then like continue. That was part of the process. It doesn't actually exist. It's very close to um, a kind of coffee bean that has that like is. Part of the processing is it's eaten by an animal and then shit out and then collected. You take the digested coffee. It's civet coffee. Like you take the digested right, yeah. um, beans and you brew coffee with them after you clean them, I'm assuming. Yes. But I, like, presumably. You know, 
So I was so when I I lied to Frank. This was during a stream. I was this like, was you during know, like on YouTube. Yeah. Right. What, what? Yeah. This was this was one of like the few streams that I've actually done on my YouTube channel. Oh, that what that was on right right when you were doing that right. Yep. I was like, yes. Yeah, so monks, there's there's this kind of tea from like you know the Nepalese like uh, uh, mountains or whatever Himalaya Himalayas <laughs> where like there's this like you know very, really really secluded monastery and these um, you know Tibetan monks they um, you know what they do is they eat the tea leaves and then they shit them out and they pick the tea leaves out of the shit and they and they and they brew it. they brew tea with it and it's supposed to be very 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 um potent tea you know like it's a real experience to have this tea it's a delicacy and all that you know and they sell it and, and all that stuff and frank was like oh really that's fascinating oh my god oh my god really yeah wow oh my god really and i was like no dipshit <laughs> made it up <laughs> no i'm gonna fucking made it up but you know what it is you have to when you make dumb shit up, it's got to have like a nugget of truth in it. Like again, the the civet coffee was the was the comparison. All right. Like if you want it to be like somewhat believable, it, it's got to have like a real world uh, corollary or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Like a real world counterpart. Um, how long did you believe it for? Like a good like minute? Um, I had you going I, for a while. I don't I think you... that I was ever complete. Like th there was a part of me, I, I was still processing whether or not it was real. When you, you're I mean, like, you had your doubts. Real. You had your I, doubts. I, I, yeah, I for yeah. sure had my doubts, but my first instinct was to believe you, and uh, and you took advantage of that, and I'm hurt. It's I did it because <laughs> I love you. You understand that? I know. I'm teasing now, you. If you look in the bottom right, that monk, he's he's taken a sniff of the cautious slug from Risk of Rain. That's exactly is, what though. that looks like to me. Um, and then the guy on the left is... Uh, he's got a little bit of that... Like, I don't know, Joe Rogan thing going on? The return to monkey thing a little bit? Right. Got that little... Got a little bit of that happening. Um, and then look at the smug fuck up and to the right of him. He's got fingers coming out of his mouth. Oh, uh, I thought he just had like... Like maybe like fat lips and like a tongue coming out. <laughs> yeah, no, I see it. Um, I j oh yeah, th there are bottom lips there. Oh, it's return. You know what it is? Why you showed me uh, the one that you're that I think you're going to show with the the monkey with the whole copy that you made out of the copy pasta. Why is this so good at making monkeys? On Candy monk, Valley, monk like, ease. monk, monk. Uh, it is, it is. We should have like fucked her. I, I didn't really fuck around with monkeys in the prompts, but but I should have. Um, Next time, I guess. The one on the left is fucking absolute nightmare fuel. It is, yeah. Um, the the one up top, kind of. Oh, what does it remind me of? Someone it's in like... chat said it's a Germa and I Dubs fusion. Uh, I, I was gonna say, like, throw a little bit of Clinton in there. You see Bill Clinton in there? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, okay. Um. Oh, there are two faces. You see on the right side, there's a nose, and then they share yeah. an eye. It's, it's like two-faced. Oh, that's from, fucked. Uh, Tomodachi life. That's fucked. I see that. Fuck that. Oh my god, fuck. Curry Murber sees Gilbert Gottfried. I could, I could see a little bit of Gil. <laughs> Um, Boy, I do sure love this monk shit tea. <laughs> it really gets my gut moving. Sorry, Must be all that E. coli. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Breast. <laughs> I have spent the last 20 minutes fucking this tea, and my <laughs> cock is so melted. Oh God! Now I'm okay. My oh, I, my voice. I see. I, like I, I spent like days worth of using my voice. Like at the end of my life, this is gonna catch up with me, and I'm not gonna be able to talk. I'm right there with you, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, the, the shit that I've been going through with my throat, like, and mm -hmm. like, fuck my my voice. It's 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 been really challenging, dude. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like I've, I've, I've had to. 
I've had to change the way that I stream. Oh, he meant with his penis. Yeah. 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 Um, I've had to change the way that I stream. I've had to like I'm fucking sitting here, like drinking tea and come. You know, like I'm just trying to like. I don't know. I've been okay for like the past couple weeks. It's been all right. Like mm. I knock on wood or whatever, but um. I think the biggest thing that I did here was just kind of try to be more conscious of the way I use my voice. Right. I like, noticed um, when I was seeing friends again for like the first time since COVID, I was talking a lot and I noticed I was talking louder too. Mm -hmm. The way that I talk to a, into a microphone like just with you is a lot uh, gentler and quieter. Yeah. And so by, by the time I was done talking, um, or like by the time I was going home, uh, my throat, was exhausted and like i was coughing i so i i think i i need to watch out for that now i mean at the end of a stream i just i i i, I try to not speak until the next one like mm. i just you know because sometimes i do streams like six hours and i'm just fucking destroyed by the end of that even if i'm not shouting or acting like a fucking cock even right. if i'm not yelling or anything i still at the end of, at the end of that it feels raw, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, tea helps. I don't know if monk shit tea would be helpful. Yeah, a, a good probiotic. Right. I mean, maybe a little too good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's made with feces. So I'm seeing tea. I'm seeing, I think I see a pitcher at the top, and then there's a little cup of tea. Uh, on there are the, a couple the, of pitchers. Right, right. And then I think there's a, uh, that might be like a kind of a like like a like a Jenkum pitcher in the middle. Oh, stop! And then down into the and, and to the left, there's um, yeah, like a big pitcher. Uh, mm. But that kind of more looks like like I guess like an iced tea pitcher than it does like a like a tea kettle. I don't know. Mm. Um, I'm seeing the monks. I'm seeing the tea. I'm not seeing the shit. Maybe the one yeah, in the, on, on the right. The one on the right is like fecal. Yeah, there's there, there's a little bit of fecal funny there. Um, I keep the, the monk on the in the bottom right, kind of looks like a pro wrestler. Uh, wh it, which one? The the one that's sniffing the uh, cautious slug. Like he's got like cauliflower ear and shit. Like his face right. is all sma smashed up. He's like Mickey right, Bork yeah, yeah, yeah. in the wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's been he's through some shit. Lumpy. He he he's yeah, got lumpy. a bit of a lump head. Lumpy, like, mat face, you know? Like, rubber mat, not rubber mat, whatever, like... Yes. You know, martial art mat. Yeah, he... Or, or, or like, uh, what's his name? Steve, uh... Goldberg? I'm gonna or, like, Batista? Like, you know how Dave Batista has, like, a very round head? He's got, like, the Dave... A D Dave Batista-shaped skull? Steve Goldberg, yeah, he looks like um, Steve Goldberg. I I'd, I had to look up the name, but yeah, it, it's got a little bit of that going on. Like one of those people where the neck doesn't ever really happen. Like the, <laughs> yeah. the, it just there's head and then there's shoulder. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's like one vertebrae that connects his head to the rest of his body. Right. Like he can't turn his head. He just, like, in order to look at you, he has to turn his whole body. Like, it's, like he's got, like, a, like a spinal fusion. Uh, right. Dave Batista, but his textures are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is Wisp Bones here tonight? Has anybody seen Wisp Bones? Wisp Bones, uh, sound off if you're in the chat, uh, please. Um, yes. Wispbones, I hate to ask you, you this, but um, I don't know if you were here earlier. Um, do you think that you could run the cum gambit through the AI generator while we're streaming, and then uh, and then like send it my way? You think you think that'd be that'd be that'd be okay? Would you mind doing that? Could you help us with that? Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah, you're 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 into it. All right, and I might. When you're done with that, I might have some other ones. If you're busy, don't don't worry about it. You know, uh, it's really it's it's all good. We got we got plenty of we got plenty of images here. Um, Mr. Mint, 
<laughs> I want to do one with Mr. Mint. Um, oh, no. Do you know who that is? No. You know what? Don't worry about it. Uh, you have any more of these that you made? No, it was just these two. I'm sorry. Just these two. Mm -hmm. All right. I've got... Oh... Uh... A bunch of a bunch of images here. I'm going to first send it to you, and then I'm going to pop it into OBS. Okay. 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 Sounds good. Okay. This one is called what? Anime Hell. What? Anime oh, this is, this Hell. Is, this is definitely like a convention space. Uh huh. Right? Uh huh. Definitely. Uh -huh. But you notice how. Like, everything's on fire! Every <laughs> yes. It's like, uh, yeah, so a regular anime convention? Like, right? Um... A... <laughs> no, that's a, that's a furry convention. Anime stuff, like, sometimes things actually stay together. Now, this is, uh, uh yes, it's a convention. You can see there's, like, gross little anime faces down, uh... In the bottom part the, of the image, yeah, right? The, the terrifying thing is that they're almost anime faces. Yeah. Like, not quite. It's kind of like the way you see things in a dream sometimes. Right. It, it never quite fully materializes. Like, these AI images are dreams. It, it kind of. Like, that. that's what's fucking really crazy about them, right? The one I, in just, the I bottom find it right. fascinating. Yeah, the one in the bottom right kind of looks... It looks like... Remember when... I, I don't remember if I talked to you about... No, I think you might have been the one who told me about it. The people who dress up with, like, as dolls, basically. Like, they have plastic, like, rubber all over their bodies. Like, so, like anime you masks. So, like, any of their skin. Yeah, then yeah. sort of anime-ish masks. Or, like... It it looks like that. It looks like an Ed Gein, like, fucking flesh mask. Or, like, fucking, like, the, the, the what's his name? Uh... Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like fucking skin, right. like flesh mask. Yes. But like, I don't know, somebody's trying to cosplay as like their anime waifu, but it's just fucking horrifying. Someone thinks it looks like Tommy Wiseau. Yes. I'd like to point out just how many of these look like vaguely resemble mini skirts or panty shots. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm not the only one seeing this. <laughs> Uh, in, on the right, I see something that looks like it might be a skirt. Right. And then at the, yeah. like, in the bottom next to the Ed Gein, Ed Gein face to the left of it. Yeah, I think so. Do you think that yeah. maybe this yeah. is the way, that this is the new way you get around Japan's porn censorship? You just use the AI generator. Use the I, AI, yeah. I definitely see what you're talking about now. Just yeah. seed it differently and then sell it in a magazine. And it's like, even though I can't make out a panty shot, it's still making me horny and this is good enough. <laughs> right? Do you think it will be good enough? Just the suggestion of an anime waifu's thighs, right? Right. I see some naked butts. What do you think this is? Like this... Well, you're not seeing what I'm... That fella in the middle, like that fucking thing that has like eight legs and like a jester no, hat. Yeah, no, I, I see. I have the stream open. I, I get what you're saying. That's like a yokai. That's a that's a Japanese... Some sort of monster. Yeah, that thing's fucked. Whatever. I hate that thing. Seven vaginas, maybe more. <laughs> it, it looks like one of the things from the forest. Um, And I don't know if, if it's got like... I said, like a jester mask, or if that's, um, or a jester hat, or if that's like an emo, like, um, like face swoop. Like, yeah, that's know. how I see it. I see it as black hair, like emo y yeah. sort of hair mm. on top of a, like, a thumb head with leg, <laughs> yeah. like the many legs. And yeah, it is on fire, m much like everything else here. And you have it looks human like human centipede at the top. Yeah, yeah, that's that's anime yeah, fans. That. That's it anime is. fans like eating 100%. each other's asses. Yeah, that's like, a line of people trying to get into a con or just yep. like may maybe a row yep. of desks. A hundred percent. Imagine that... all that that butt butter. Oh, stop! No, stop! No, yeah. no, stop! No, no, no. 
Nope. nope. But I will say, I think what gives it away is the depressing fluorescent lighting. You That's know, the give. Right, reflecting off of like a bare concrete floor. Right, right exactly. Right. Or on the walls, uh, at the walls of a convention center because... Like, they just always use the lights that are there. Um, mm -hmm. And that's fine. You know, like, that that's what you use. But they always have, like, really depressing overhead lights for those spaces. You imagine a fucking anime convention is depressing enough to begin with. Fuck. Right, exactly. And it's like, well, m maybe the idea <laughs> is maybe if we make this place look completely bleak and colorless, um, people will, like, it, it will dull the senses and they won't smell each other quite as much. <laughs> That's a that's a very, very gargantuan feat for lighting to pull off in a situation like this. But you know what? They did it. And I'm Ima proud of them. Uh, Glime says, imagine people enjoying things. Yuck. Yeah, well, it's like a fucking, like a riot happened in an a in an an at an anime convention. Like, look at, like, right. somebody fucking went through here, flipped over all the tables, knocked over all the stands... And then, like, just fucking set everything on fire, and now everybody's leaving because the fucking, you know, it's because of smoke inhalation. I, I, it, it kind of looks like that line of people there, right in the top center. Like, they're, they all have their heads up each other's asses and are walking <laughs> yeah. in, a, in, a, in a line and kicking things over as they go. Like, everybody's that's my, pissed. That's my lore. That's my head cannon. Like, somebody just put took a big pile of, like, waifu body pillows and set it on fire. Like in the middle of the fucking convention center? Exactly. Like, what happened here? What do it's you think hell. was the inciting incident? They, they, they died and went to hell. That's the inciting <laughs> incident. <laughs> it's anime hell. This like, anime is where, hell yeah. is going to a convention where everyone is just not only smelly, but knocking things over and it's complete chaos and you're just there trying to have a good time in the afterlife and just nobody will let you have it. <laughs> like, this is where those shitty anime fans that make the con worse go. Like, anime fans who are good at conventions and, um, like, tip the people who are selling stuff mm -hmm. and, like, are, are like, then don't block the stands because you know who you are. Like, who sit there standing and talking with the vendor constantly so other people can't see. Um, the people who aren't doing that shit, they get to go to anime heaven. And they get to be at a perpetual con where everything is good and everyone's having a wonderful time and admiring the art. And, I don't know, looking at uncensored panty shots. All of the people <laughs> who don't bathe and wreck their hotel room and get really creepy with people and ogle the the females mm -hmm. that have that have the like the courage to come out to these events where there yeah. are men. Yeah, seriously. Like those the courage, people that's the word. Go to anime hell. And you know what's amazing? Like can you think of a worse hell than being like f fucking herded around like cattle? With people that are exactly like you, if you're that type of person. Oh yeah, and no like, security. Like it's perfect. Like it's a it's a perfect fucking damnation for eternity. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. It's like they get to be shown forever what it's like to be them at a convention. Exactly. Like, like <laughs> what, what what if there was a convention with nobody but people like you at it? And now you know, and you'll know forever. <laughs> this is what you wanted, right? Hell, hell is other anime fans, right? Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I I'm ve I'm very happy with how this one turned out. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't remember this part of Dante's Inferno. <laughs> and the seventh level was reserved for the weebs and the otaku's. <laughs> Who had no, very see, bad personal hygiene. Okay, here, I'm gonna argue. There are plenty of great weebs in otakus. Mm. I'm friends with some of them. Like, they're so, they're great. Like, I, they can be I, just fine. One of my I best like, friends in college was a major otaku. A major. One of the sweetest yeah. people I ever met. Easily. Um, I still remember him extremely fondly. 
but that that's not like he's going to anime heaven uh where they get to meet where, where anime is real anime See, heaven anime heaven should be generated uh let me put i'm gonna put that on the list we've seen anime hell i want to see anime heaven please we're gonna get we're gonna get that one going the anime, anime girls are real and you're like oh wow this is so cool oh wait they're horrifying are, are we sure this is heaven um you want to see the next one mm-hmm i'm ready okay this one is called what? anthro i i put as the prompt anthropomorphic sushi why are you just trying to make bug snacks again Hey, it's me. This is just bug what? snacks. <laughs> like it, like if bug snacks were sold at a supermarket. You're fucking right. Yeah. Uh, there's one that there's some being sold for three sixty three. I guess. Oh yeah, I see little price tags. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, I just say the one in the middle looks so happy. Yeah, no, he's super pumped to be sold. He, like, he's kind of pogging. Grocery store. Yeah, he, he's pogging about it. He's pogging. I will say, though, he's the pogging, lighting definitely gives away the fact that all of the pictures of sushi that were used were like grocery store sushi. And, and not like, you know, a big, beautiful, like, sushi boat at a fancy, like, you know, upscale sushi restaurant. Right. right. And I can say with confidence that, like, grocery store sushi is unpleasant. I, I would not eat that. I think that's nuts if you eat that. It's not great. I like don't like don't 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 do that. Don't do well, that. I sort of feel like you shouldn't eat sushi unless you're under an hour by car from an ocean. It's wise. That's how I feel about sushi. Or mm -hmm. see see you know seafood. Seafood. Mm hmm Seafood at large. Yeah. Generally a good idea. Okay. That actually, I, I've heard, is a problem. There are, some, uh, there are some diseases that are very common inland where um, they're not getting certain nutrients from seafood. Is that right? Yeah, you go far enough inland and there are certain diseases that you get a lot more of. Like uh, mineral deficiencies remember. or something? I, I, I don't remember precisely what. But it is from um, certain minerals that you get from seafood. Well, you know, you have a lot, a lot of people who refuse to eat seafood. Like that's a really common thing. Like people who just hate fish, right? Mm -hmm. Mike just coming after everyone who's landlocked. Why are you gonna eat fish? That's when you know, when you're nowhere near an ocean. That not eat eating fish leads to mercury deficiency. <laughs> like, you, know. <laughs> you know that. That fish has probably been in the back of a truck for like a fucking week before you're eating it. So I like, so actually um that is frozen as if bad. you were lucky, you know. He, so here here's the thing. Um there are a lot um sushi, raw fish that is served at to eat is very heavily regulated because of the prevalence of parasites. Uh, so if you eat sushi frequently or have eaten sushi a number of times, you have likely eaten parasites, but they're dead because they're forced to freeze uh, the fish in order to kill any of the parasites. Hey, I hate that. Hey, yeah. I, I hate that. So what I think you're telling me is even though like, you know, so here I'm, you know, on the coast, they fucking... They get the fish, and then they have to freeze it regardless to kill the parasites. Right, exactly. So either way, this fish is going to get frozen. Mm -hmm. So Although, I'm really um, just—it's frozen in a specific way. Uh, it, it's frozen to a certain temperature that is guaranteed to kill the parasites. That's why sushi is actually generally really safe, is because it like it's the regulations are so stringent. Yeah, maybe I'm just a fucking asshole. I don't know. It always felt like common sense to me. Don't eat fish if you're not near an ocean. And I understand that there's rivers and lakes, chat. But the overwhelming majority of the fish that you eat in sushi is from the ocean. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. I, ne I, I, I never seen, like, fucking trout sushi. Right? Mm. All right, like, salmon. I, I, I like... Yeah. 
so someone in chat was pointing out the price tags um and uh, how it's what, what did they say it was salmon it is a is a salmon fucking is river and ocean yeah right Sa salmon they fucking live in the ocean and then they go up in the into the rivers to breed so that's that fucking loophole sorry i'm <laughs> sorry that chat was like jump to say salmon ellipses and it pissed me off what were you saying fred oh i was just saying like Someone mentioned the twisted price tags, and I really like them. I'd like to imagine that you like you see the price tag, and then you ask, like, th this is a twisted grocery store, right? You mm -hmm. ask the person behind the desk, like, so how much is this? I can't quite read it. And they just stare at you, dead-eyed. Oh. So you don't know the price until you buy it, but it's never money. What is it? It's maybe it's a cherished memory. <laughs> or maybe maybe it's a a conversation <laughs> with a person in, in the future. So you don't know who it was or what the conversation was going to be about. You just now will never have it. Fred's doing SCP sushi. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sushi contain and protect. So <laughs> You know, you don't know what the price is. You don't know what price you paid because it's a conversation that you haven't had yet. God, I fucking love that. Food with the dude says, I forgot my mom's face, but I got this amazing sushi. <laughs> hey, you can see her again. You can learn her face again. Unless, you know, the price of the sushi was it like deleted her face or not deleted her face. But like whenever you look at her, you just see flesh. Like you just see smooth flesh. You don't get to see her face anymore. That was the price. <laughs> she still has a face. You just can't see it. Right. It's like prosopagnosia. Right, right, but just yeah. for your mom. Um, I really love that sushi fella. Like he's like, what's in there? Like I'm seeing, I think shrimp and salmon. Uh, yeah, that's the thing is you you can never make out a proper like piece of nigiri mm -hmm. or. The or Margaret, like you can't get a roll, you can't see any rolls. You like you see ingredients. Like I see some shrimp to the left of our boy. Yeah, um, our yeah, boy has yeah, some tuna. Yeah. He has some yeah. tuna in there. Some salmon. In the bottom um, left, you see the tuna, right? The red one. The red. The red. Yeah, bit. yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I think that's the only proper piece of sushi that I can make out, though. Like the, it get, I guess you have the incomplete roll of avocado or cucumber or both yeah you got that i i see sushi all over this image right i see right. i see things that are almost sushi by the way the prompt was anthropomorphic sushi and it gave me sushi with the face mega mega maki <laughs> mega maki roll what is it i'm i don't think that one said his, its own name i think it just grunted Meg I'm, I'm mega, mega maki. It did it. Mega maki. Yeah, that is bug snacks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my. That was the first vibe I got. He's it's so like, happy though. He is. He's really into being sushi. <laughs> He's like, yeah, it's boy, like, it like, is the best thing ever. Yay! Buy well, me. Like, you know, I'm like, fresh. You know, <laughs> you know that little comic where it's like. To, like take sad friend put them in blanket roll them up like a sushi put on sushi like put on favorite movie happy little sushi roll it's like that except literally <laughs> it's him fully sushifitized sushification <laughs> foreverly sushed up <laughs> sushification <laughs> sushification <laughs> fucking rolls off the tongue really nicely actually it does yeah and and loving it yeah, oh, he, he is loving it, though. He is loving it. Oh, he's so good. I want him to be, like, a character now. Like, I like his... He's got, like, the fun eyebrows and shit. Mm -hmm. they, they made a little sushi fella. What's his name? Hank. I, I like, like it Hank. It's just a, a completely nondescript and non-descriptive name. He's just Hank. I like Hank. Next Pixar character. He doesn't have Pixar face. This is the uh, this is from um, the extra features of Food Fight. Like if you get the <laughs> DVD, 
you see all the characters that weren't included, and this is one of them. <laughs> it it gave me a sushi with a face, I guess. Like, th this, like this is one of my favorites that I that I made, actually. Like, look at this. this th yeah, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, go I ahead. You I go keep ahead. interrupting you. I was saying, it looked like, what is the art style? Because this is an art style, right? What is this? this? Impressionist or something? No, this... I Onigari. Say... His name's Onigari. Oh, oh, that's terrible. That's very good. I love. It, it's like a triple pun. Yeah. That's really good. It's abstract. It... Ghost mirror. No, it it it. The lighting makes it feel like a Japanese sitcom. You know what right. I'm talking about, right? They they never saturate the colors quite as much in Japanese shows. I feel like I unless, I've never seen a Japanese sitcom. Sitcom, but I seen like yeah Japanese television in general. Yeah, feel, I, I can yeah, see that. Just sure. Japanese television. It's it has that sort of color palette. They're saying uh, surrealism would be like the art the art style. Yeah, probably. I'm ready for the next one. All right. Give me, give me. Um, this one is this one's awesome. I'm ready. Uh. Why don't you tell me what you think you're looking at? Well, this is Pikmin. Definitely Pikmin. But... What? I'm trying to figure out what else you put in there. This is like... I don't know. Ready? I'm going to tell you. Ready. I put bloodthirsty pack of Pikmin. Ooh. So now, they're like, so they're like eating from a pile there. Are, uh, the, what what's happening? So on the left, you can clearly see Captain Olimar. Yes. And in the in the center, they the Pikmin are feasting on Louis, as Olimar watches on in horror or or in enjoy. Oh my God, you're <laughs> right. I was gonna say maybe they're eating Onigiri, but no, it's it's Louis. <laughs> Do not imply the mortality of Onigiri. <laughs> Dude, it's Pikmin ri ripping apart Louis limb from limb, <laughs> feasting on his flesh. Everything that lives can bleed, Louis. <laughs> Louis finally got what he deserved. Obviously, I did a bunch of video game related ones too. Nice of the Pikmin to invite us over for dinner, eh, hey, Louis? <laughs> So people are saying on the right there's an Amogus. Oh uh, yeah, there is. Uh, there, no, there are a no. couple of Amoguses. And... Well, it's just it's the red Pikmin guys. Stop posting about Pikmin. I mean, I seen um, there was like another iteration that like I don't know didn't look as good, but it had a like a much clearer like white Pikmin on the bottom left. Um. If you look up in the in the background up there, it looks like there's like gargantuan eldritch pick Pikmin like lumbering like through the forest like cryptids. No, I see them. I, I think this is the first one that we've had that has a proper perspective. It, it it's like a scene, like it, right. Yeah, like it's you could like, clearly see a, the ground. Yes, and a and something in the taking place on the ground and the back. Yes. Yeah, yeah, like a sense of of, of depth. And like three dimensional space, mm -hmm. instead of Ex it being a kind of an abstract art thing. Except I do like how this. It looks like someone slapped an Amogus Pikmin onto the top. So this, like, not only is this its own painting, it's also a ship post. <laughs> yep. It is its own. Like it, it made itself and then added a ship post. Louis finally got what he deserved. I think this is a great one. This is probably one of the best ones I did, personally. This is really good, yeah. Uh, and they're just, yeah. Where's Olimar? No, 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 look. On the left, that's just Olimar standing there. What I This is what I see. I see Olimar standing there. And I see him looking on as the Pikmin fucking rip Louie apart. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing, too. Like, you can see Louie's head in the center. Like, you see the flesh color? Yes. 
Olimar has weird alien mech legs. Yeah, but he's... I mean, he's... That, that, that's undoubtedly Olimar. This is... Yeah. Um, this reminds me a lot of um, that scene in Speaker for the Dead where they, like, rip someone open and then plant a tree seed in, in their awful... I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Speaker for the Dead is the sequel to Ender's Game. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, never mind then. Wasn't Ender's Game like a shitty like young adult movie or something? Like a, it was a shitty movie from a good book. That's what that was. Okay. Yeah, it was a great book. It, it, it's one of those books that had like a kid as the main character, and so teachers were like, "Oh, it's a kid's book. It's, it's like Artemis Fowl." And then they gave it to and they gave it to like a bunch of elementary school kids and traumatized them for all time. You liked the book though. Oh, I loved it. Yeah. I remember when the movie came out and I saw the trailer, I was like, <laughs> Bell Ender's game. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was really clever at the time. I still do, in fact. Still do. Bah, bah. This is the perfect soundtrack to watch Louie get torn limb from limb to. <laughs> um I'm listening now. Yes. I'm very happy with this one, yeah. Um, no, great one. Yeah, let's... You want to see... All right, so the thumbs up on this one. Yeah, let's keep going. And it is, this is one of the better ones. Uh, I... Mm, you know what? Uh, tell me, again, Like, let, I like this tell me what you see thing. It's a little bit of a Rorschach, right? Right. It looks like a poster, almost like a game. I really hate that I can almost read the text. It's like... Lada Lada's Bone. Bonf. Alright, you really, chat, you really need to fucking explain to me how you guessed boat milk. How did you, how? How the fuck did you guess that? You're freaking me out, chat. How the fuck did you guess that? I guess they saw a boat. They saw a boat, because it definitely is a boat, right? Because that's the whole of a boat on the right side. Or like the front, it's the fore section of a boat. Then you mm -hmm. have another boat in the top left. And then the bottom, mm -hmm. it's the red and the white. So it's very obviously nautical somehow. Then you have the ocean, you have the mm -hmm. island in the background there. Mm -hmm. Like it, it's it's very clearly water. Again, this, this looks like a poster for a game whose title you can't read. Wind Waker. Lot of, lot, it, it's a <laughs> lot... La, la, tia. I want me to help you out. Bonf. You want to hit? You want to hit? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. The prompt was boat that lactates. <laughs> That's what the word is. Yeah. Lactates boat. Except it's like Latin, like lactiatates boatis. <laughs> you, know? you think that there are people chanting that in um, in a fucking monastery or something? Lactiatus pote. Yeah, and then they're they're eating tea leaves so they can poop them out and brew tea with them. And they worship a lack, uh, yeah, the king of red lions, basically. Yeah, exactly. Um, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel like this is like a poster for a video game promoted mm -hmm. by Wholesome Games. It's like that fishing game, right? Like, like right. this would be a little five-hour long, like, or like maybe two-hour long, uh, nice, neatly condensed, um. Like the little narrative, uh, narrative game with some really pretty visuals, right. except it's a, except it's like postmodern nightmare here. Well, there's nothing wholesome about this unless you count no. the whole milk. How did it manage to put the words "lactating boat" <laughs> on it? Like I feel like that's cheating. It looks a little bit Van Goughy. It and it, 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 by the way, it is, it is cheating. Yeah, it is. Like, the it AI is cheating. Yeah. It absolutely is cheating. 
um, in the same font too. It, it's like, yeah, like chat did Chugi like not too long ago. Like they just put the word Chugi into into the fucking thing, and okay. it, it made like a disgusting like bowl of soup that had the word Chugi on it, or like it, it <laughs> thought cheating. it was the word Chugi. When it doesn't know what the fuck to do, it just fucking cheats and puts the word. <laughs> I feel like th this is this is when you talk to an artist and it's like, all right, I need you to make an album cover. And then six months later, they come to you with just the word in like Times New Roman. <laughs> like, or it, it. Just, it just says album cover on the front of it. Right. Well, I mean, now you're dipping into territory of, like, the cakes where you're supposed to send them the image and then some people send them the link and then, like, it's just the text of the link painted on or, like, printed <laughs> into <laughs> fucking cake. I can't believe people are that dumb. What well, it is? It's being automated somehow? Is that what it is? It must be. It, right? Because like, nobody's that fucking is... stupid, right? 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 Well, I mean... We did. We we do have like um, skin milk and uh, marsh po potato. Strawberries, you know, th that, chicken nuggets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good point. Good point. Good point. Yeah, Bojack had a running joke like that for like the entire run of the show, where it was p people like continually fucking up, like printing things. There was like Mr. Peanut Butter's party, and it said underneath, it was like Happy Birthday, Mr. Peanut Butter. Uh, peanut butter is spelled with with no space or something like that. <laughs> Just say <laughs> on the like on the banner. Um, it's almost like this AI is, yeah, like a living, breathing artist. It's it's a fucking artist. It takes artist artistic license, and every time we put one of those prompts into this fucking thing, we're commissioning it. Except we're only paying it an exposure, so it's doing a terrible job. Right. Well, I mean, at this point, it's phoning it the, in. At this point, the person who made the algorithm is the artist, right? Okay. We're playing around in it. Like the, the this is where the line of like what is art starts to get weird because is the program the art? Is the is the result the art? Is our interaction with the AI the art? Um, and I don't think anyone involved in this process really gives much of a shit. They just think. It, it's funny when we get Latiata's Botif. That's where I'm at. But yeah. everything that That's everything that, that you that you said is true. Yeah. Um, it's kind of fucking crazy. Uh, I think that. Sure, sure. A a a, a fucking um, machine learning algorithm could in and of itself could be considered art. Yeah. Why the fuck not? There's a fucking asshole in Italy who sold air. For sixteen thousand dollars, and said it was an invisible statue. So I mean, at that point, yeah, fuck it. Why not? My balls are art. Was the pedestal at least cool? They, they didn't even have a pedestal. It was it was oxygen. He sold oxygen for sixteen thousand dollars. Some asshole bought it. Oh. Okay. Anyway, you want to see another one? Yeah, ready. All right, you got your uh, you got your FLIR cam, you got My your binoculars, you got your um, X-ray vision goggles. We're going hunting. Okay. What do you say? Oh, this is like the IKEA SCP. <laughs> I see. Like this is like Sears or Target mm -hmm. monster. Uh, no. Mm-hmm. Everything, yeah. everything that you're saying is 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 right there. Really? Yeah. But there's like bricks, right? Uh, so why is, do you think there's it... bricks? Ha having said everything that you just said, why do you think there's bricks? Uh. Oh. Is it because? I have no idea. All right, this was the I'm, prompt. I'm sorry. This was the prompt. I put brick and mortar cryptid. <laughs> so it combined the 
Oh, that is hilarious. So it took both possible definitions of brick and mortar. Yes. And combined them. Yes. That is kind of genius, actually. I wanted to see what would happen. So I was like, what if I take something, will it do a literal interpretation of, of, of like an abstract idea like that? But will it, like, what, like what, will it, what will it do? Will it like right. throw out what the meaning of it is in favor of the literal interpretation? It combined them. It just did both. It just did both. And I figured I was like, let's get like a fucking weird monster who like lurks around that, you know, like fucking Macy's and shit. Like, you know, this... let's get like a like a weird fucking like like urban legend creature who like haunts fucking like Best Buy. You know what I'm saying? Like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, this is like, you know what this is. This looks like a Trevor Henderson drawover. Like he had like he had like like he drew this. No, it looks like he did. Like it's that same sort of feeling. Uh, because oh, what, what yeah. Trevor Henderson will do is the, people the photos. will send sort of spooky looking photos mm -hmm. and he'll draw uh, yeah, like yeah. cryptids in them. Yeah, I love That's him, what, by the way. Yeah, no, he's great. Yeah, I love um, him. He, this looks like something that he would make. Also, that there's a logo on that box just to the right of the cryptid's head. Mm -hmm. That is definitely a logo that already exists. What is it for? Is that that's Budweiser? Yeah, someone, I see that. Someone in chat got it immediately. It's it is Budweiser. I see that. I see that. Or it's like a Nintendo Switch Direct announcement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Budweiser. and then right next to that is a graph of World of Warcraft players over the past week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this has got it all. <laughs> Well, listen, it's so it the the graph starts low and then it it goes up and then it drops again. Right. right so it, well, you can't see the first one, right? Because there there's a piece of paper over it. Mm -hmm. It's covering it. Yeah, you see there there's a little something, a little something something. Like there's plus, there's a piece of paper taped. Plus 2, Fred. Thank you. Um <laughs> Yeah, fuck them. Uh, I. What do you think about the monster? Yeah. It. It's you know what it, you know what it looks like. Mm. It looks like, you know, in horror movies where a parent is like, "Can you draw the monster that you saw? Like, can you draw what you saw?" Uh, okay, Bobby. And then he draws like some fucking garbage, talentless fucking version that looks nothing like the Baba Duke. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that there's also Stranger Things, right? You know, they draw the the big spooky monster. Yeah, and they sucked at it. Yeah, I remember. Well, I don't know why I, I'm keeping the theme with the Brogley from earlier. Yeah, why, why do kids suck at art? Talentless hacks. Um, I think why he's fucking cool as suck? hell. So he he so also great. is brick and mortar, but he's got three um like mysterious legs. He's the spirit of all the small of he's a, he, bleh, he's the spirit of all the small businesses that died during COVID. Ooh, the amalgamated. Uh, I was thinking more like you get I'm... separated from your parents in one of these stores, and this is the thing that claims you. Yeah, right. It, it's just murmuring. They said I'm the backbone of the American economy. Ah. All right, and he's here to torment the big box stores and the shoppers oh, right, right be exactly be because like, he was betrayed yeah yeah right like the like the chains that buy those spaces and take the small businesses places they're haunted by this thing like yes they sometimes appear fred i love that that's perfect i hate that i get legitimately good writing ideas out of this he oh, this, you're gonna hit so many more tonight he's on his way to go <laughs> hide in the clothing racks yeah, like he fucking sits in the in the middle of. There's clothing racks on the left, I think. Like yeah, he sits definitely. in the in the middle of them, and as you're like, you know, thumbing through it, he's like, <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck was that? Three ninety nine. <laughs> he does eerie clicks and shit, you know, and he might grab your hand and like yank you in there, and you'll ne you'll never be seen again. 
Um, right. I feel like wing? this has been done before, though. Like, you get pulled into the clothing rack and you never come out. Yeah, yeah it, it's think? the sort of same feeling as the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Except, There's another like, world in there. Yeah. yeah, you get pulled in and, like, you end up in an alternate dimension where everything is everything is lit by fluorescent lighting i like my hatred for fl fluorescent lighting is really coming out this uh this evening yeah i noticed that fuck but like everything is lit by fluorescent lighting and there then like everywhere at the end of time is playing faintly on mall speakers at all times and like there there's just weird things being sold like sometimes you'll find like a set of socks like folded neatly next to a heart being sold for fifty dollars <laughs> that's still beating it's like the back rooms of uh fucking yeah like big box corporation stores right oh 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 mega mark you have no idea what's in store for you yeah don't worry i know about it um i don't uh, okay, they're they're good. They're they're really good shorts that you should check out sometime. It's basically like fucking like anthology of like weird shit in a weird yes. in a weird corp corporate like brick and mortar store or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think I might actually write some of these. The Omega Mart guy is a Tumblr sexy man. Hey, um, I I think we had more than enough Tumblr sexy man talk this week. What do you think, guys? Yeah, let's keep moving. You notice he's got the... Ne I love the neon outline. Like the neon yeah. light. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. It's like um, the sign. And I love his mouth. Like he's got a very creepy like fucking like mouth going on up there. Mm -hmm. And I think he's got wings. Like I see a wing on the left. Yeah. Definitely. Like I, he's very defined and I like that. Uh, Cur Curry Murmurs said something in chat. Curry Murmurs... Is very prolific at using this uh, this AI algorithm uh, program. Okay. And we're actually going to be looking at a number of ones that that they made tonight. Nice. Um, because they're like they're really good at using this thing. Uh, they said it's two cryptids. The shadow is the crumbling viability of brick and mortar as a concept. The hell-mouthed neon brick beast on his back is the gluttonous avatar of the stores themselves. It's like a fucking parasitic symbi symbiotic cryptid. It's two it's two. It's two cryptids. Right. No, I get it. It's e e oof. That's good. I have um, nothing to add. That's just good. I love this one. Obviously, I love this one. Mm. Um in fact, let's take a look at one of Curry Murmurs right now. Remember earlier you it. were saying this thing is great at making monkeys? Yes. Also, someone in chat made um, the Come Gambit. Wow, yeah, monkeys. What do you see here, bud? It looks like Passion of the... Or like, um, not, not the Passion of the Christ, but um, the Last Supper combined with sausage products uh -huh. and ramen. Sausage products. What kind of sausage products do you think? Uh... It's fucking Nathan's. It's fucking Nathan's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God damn it. It's... <laughs> so yeah, Curry it's Murmur ma made this one. <clears throat> Curry Murmurs. <clears throat> Hold on. I was like dying for a second. You want to hear the prompts? It, it's, it's just Nathan's hot dogs gorilla meat, isn't it? It's actually much more than that. Really? Mm-hmm. Was I right with the Last Supper? Listen. Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs Gorilla Revenge in the style of Ironimus Bosch. <laughs> <laughs> they hit it. I feel like anything that this AI generates is going to feel like Ironimus Bosch. Yeah, yeah. I, I also did a Bosch prompt that we'll see later. Um, but getting boshy with it. I got a little bit boshy myself, yeah. Um, stream title, getting boshy with it. Getting boshy with it. So someone in chat said it looks like a gorilla is shitting a hot dog. Where is that happening? On the left. 
That doesn't, to me, look like a gorilla is shitting a hot dog. It looks like, well, I, I, do, I do see that, but I also see that its head is a Nathan's sign. And it's like tongue or nose is a hot dog. Yeah, I see that. I think they're seeing it as in like that's the booty, um, and like it, it has a tail that is a Nathan's yeah, sign. Yeah, but I its see. Its head it. is on the left, and then like you got the uh, red dangly bits, and those are like its balls or something. All right, Ala Vulpix in chat is pointing out that this is also loss. God damn it! <laughs> it is. Damn. Holy fucking shit it is! <laughs> what the fuck it is? I'm so mad right now. How is it loss? How? Oh my god. Can you say Simeon Nipples for everybody in that voice? Simeon Nipples. There it is. Thank you. Oh my god. This is fucking awesome. Uh, by the way, if anybody doesn't get this, um, if anybody doesn't understand why th this prompt is a thing... Uh, on a chilly autumn night. Just go to YouTube and, and, and type in uh, I don't know, Jabroni Mike Nathan's Hot Dog Gorilla. Uh, you I mean, if that doesn't get you the fucking video, nothing will, right? Right, that that means that it's been taken down. V Genesis Those says, don't spook... Like, nobody else has that combination in, in a video. It can't be. Uh, don't spoon feed the new guys, V Genesis says. No... Sometimes I feel like, not that I have to spoon feed them, but that they should be made aware of, of certain things for, like, you know, context. Otherwise, what the fuck, you know? Um, Alright, so somebody in chat is asking if you saw Guerrilla Warfare. Now, I did show Fred Guerrilla Warfare yes. la uh, last night, actually. Uh, now, I don't know how many of you have seen this. Okay, uh, actually, no, 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 I, I showed you guys also last night. All right, we'll look at it again, because this also has gorillas. And um, the prompt was this. I am trained in guerrilla warfare, and I'm the top sniper in the entire U.S. Armed Forces. You are nothing to me but just another target. I will wipe you the fuck out with precision, the likes of which has never been seen before on this earth. Mark my fucking words. Now, this came from a Twitter account that I follow, images generated by AI machines. Um, and they really have some of the best that is out there. Like, they really know what they're... Whoever runs that Twitter account really knows how to use this fucking thing. Yeah, you could see there's sniper gorillas, um, there's sniper rifles, there... I feel like they're in, um... I, I don't know, uh combat training like they're right now they're in boot camp or something like this is an actual this is an actual war yet like this is a staging i think what's really disconcerting is that you have this image occurs in chunks go like on you have the rolling hills in the top left there it looks like it looks then... like jane goodall fucking you know environment right like it looks right, like it's Imagine someone trying to create a collage with nothing real. That's what this is. Like, nowadays, you go into Photoshop, people just put square images in because that's how they are. But this is like if someone into went into, like, Gorilla Surrealist magazine and <laughs> took a pair of Snip Snipperuskis and cut out the gorillas. And, like, no, they just got some abs of gorillas uh, down at the <laughs> bottom left there, and they just pasted it all together. Ape abs, yeah. Gorilla Warfare magazine. The gorillas got like a fucking eight pack. What the fuck? The you top... see what I mean? Mm. Like, the... Oh, go ahead. No, no. I was... You go ahead. I was just gonna fucking vomit words out. Okay. You're good. I mean, that's what I'm doing. But that's the problem, is it's really hard to tell where one chunk ends and the other. Well, you can kind of, you can kind of suss out where the chunks begin and end. Chat, but don't you not dare. But they're square, and so it don't. But you see what I'm saying? It's, it's very clearly doing this in chunks. I love this ape right here. Oh. <laughs> see? He's got, like, 
Uh, he's wielding a gun whose scope is another gun. <laughs> it is. Oh my god. <laughs> Bionic legs. They're saying there's an Amogus in the top left. That that's the Amogus. That's no, it's not. Fuck off. He's leaning on a smaller ape. What the he fuck is, is what, what is this thing? Like this sperm with two tails. What is this? It's it's the spirit of guerrilla warfare. Yeah, here's an that okay. That looks like the twerking Amogus. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it does. I, I can't I even pretend it. that that's I not that it's yeah, not. No, I yeah. see it. Uh, I see, love I gorilla see, I was seeing like a very mushed ox. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to really briefly look at another one that I found on that uh, Twitter account. Okay. I could I couldn't stop thinking about this one. I showed you, but I didn't show chat this one. Mm -hmm. uh, th this one was like this is maybe one of the coolest fucking ones I've I've ever seen. Okay, now chat. The prompt that the person used for this. Now I want you to look at it for a second, and I'll tell you the prompts. I know this one, so it's cheating. Album art, like Queen. The prompt was humankind and AI versus the computer at the end of time. This is a fucking paperback paradise book cover. It is. Like, if you were to go to a used bookstore, this would be like an obscure sci fi novel. It. It made like it made the assumption, like that the, the image was gonna look like a '60s sci-fi uh, novel cover, but none of what I just said was anywhere in that prompt. Like the person didn't put '60s fucking sci-fi novel cover art. Well, this is the power of metadata. What I imagine happened was. These databases have images, but there's a lot of metadata attached to them. And the words that were used in the prompt are attached to them. So it's not just looking for images that have um, those words in their metadata. It's looking at uh, the ones that have all of the or like multiple of those terms um, in their metadata and then comparing those together. That's how I imagine this happened. I mean, think about it computer at the end of time that that reeks of like 60s sci-fi novel right like oh, 100 percent. yeah exactly like at the end of time 70s, or yeah. time and then ai and human even just the yeah. word human humankind right they, they humankind even, is a yeah. very particular like it has a particular usage in the genre right it, it, you're right yeah it's it's all about the that fucking metadata um because it, it's looking at what has all of them or multiple of them it's got these flying cars. It's got the big old, uh, you know, there's, there's, I guess, like, the computer at the end of time. Look at the fucking background. How it has that, I don't know, like, vintage stain on it? Yeah. Like, what the fuck is that? The thing new to do that? It's the, the coloration. Yeah, it, it's the coloration. So what I imagine this AI is doing is looking at shapes, but it's also looking at gradients. Gradients. And uh, color palettes. I imagine that going into this, when it actually makes the image, it has it chooses a color palette. And that mm -hmm. allows it to um, limit how much it needs to work with. Because if you had an AI... Like, when you're making an AI like this, you're going to be asking, how can I make it more efficient? And one... like. How do I limit the parameters that it has to work with? And one of the mm -hmm. way, like, think about the parameters. You have color. Like, so one of the ways they probably would deal with it is say, okay, which colors are most common among the pictures that were chosen with the metadata attached to the input? Right, right. So this thing ended up, because of That's this prompt, guess. looking at an overwhelming amount of fucking 60s and 70s sci-fi book cover art. And fucking, they a lot of them look like that, and that's why this ended up looking like that. Is a simplified right. version of what you just said.
Right, exactly. Um, and yeah, the future is seen by the 70s, 80s. Let's pretend we are Paperback Paradise. What Name, name this book. My ex-husband is watching me. He's he's on all of the screens. Honey, just let me see you piss one last time. <laughs> you just created that was an AI generated paperback paradise book title. <laughs> My ex-husband keeps watching trying to watch me piss. My my ex-husband keeps trying to watch me piss on the the big-ass fucking Jetson screens. Right, it's and then the future, and I can't stop my ex-husband from watching me piss. No, it's like he's trying to, and then like the, the uh, on the top of the summary, like the, the big tagline on the back cover is like, the, the recordings weren't enough anymore. <laughs> Look at that. Someone in chat said it looks like Donald Trump. It looks like, yeah, Donald trump de -Mort or something. trump de -Mort. My husband, help, my husband keeps trying to watch me piss. <laughs> I want to actually make this now out of this. Will, will, will she escape? Or is the future filled with piss? <laughs> I, like, I haven't pissed in three weeks. <laughs> I like and then like all of the toilets are smart toilets and he's like hacking into them yeah yeah they've got little cameras and shit mm -hmm. oh that's fucked <laughs> that's <laughs> fucked <laughs> um Dog. I have a lot more of these you want to see another one yes let's go all right I was just like rubbing my eye vigorously that entire time. Uh, here's another one from Curry Murmurs. Check this the fuck out, dude. That is awesome. Like, fucking right? Isn't that insane? That's actually really cool. Like, that's cool as hell, right? So I'm going to guess... So I'm, I'm trying to guess. So this is like Lovecraft and maybe you got yogg Sothoth in there. Because this is how yogg Sothoth. It kind of looks like how he's portrayed a lot. Okay. Um, hmm. Christ. Um, hmm. Maybe there's like Starry Night in there. Oh, yeah. You think Van Gogh, maybe? Van Gogh, yeah. They might have plugged Van Gogh in there. Hmm. The guy on the left has a fly head, you think? Chat oh, said? yeah, I'm seeing that. God, it's I could look at this one all fuck. This one's just gorgeous, man. Really? It actually is really beautiful. All right, like, so you what... could tell me a fucking, like, a human painted this, and I'd be like, fuck, that's rad. Holy fuck. Yeah. Here, right, here's the prompt. Tethered astronaut battles cosmic horrors at the end of space and time in the style of Yoshitaka Amano. Lucifer the Morning Star is also here. Oh. Okay, so yeah, that I mean, was like a, that was like a, a 50 word fucking prompt, by the way. Right, exactly. So Curry Murmurs is doing very, very, very long prompts. Rev, thank you so much for the raid, buddy. Bucket Brigade. Hey, Rev. Inbound. Rev, I hope you're having a good night, buddy. Um, I mean, let me let me let me read it again. Tethered astronaut battles cosmic horrors at the end of space and time, similar to you know we just looked at. Um, in the style of Yoshitaka Amano, Lucifer the Morning Star is also here. I don't know who Yoshitaka Amano is. I'm looking him up right now. You're looking up. All right. Yeah. Beautiful pieces, oh, obviously, do, based on... Uh, uh, some of thing. it is based on old uh, Japanese artwork. Um, but really, he really makes it his own. These are gorgeous. I have discovered a new artist that I love. I wow. see it. I look, see it. Look at this. Yeah, he's good. Holy shit. Uh, I can... 
absolutely see where it it found him in the metadata or whatever. Right, for sure. Oh, and when it's like fucking horror, it's... Christ. This is the guy who did all the concept art for the Final Fantasy games. Oh, Like okay. Final Fantasy f uh, 4 and, and, and 5 and 6, like that era. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I, I always loved uh, what he, yeah, what he would, what he did. You guys are both dumbasses, somebody said. Why? Because we forgot who this guy was? We're dumbasses? I don't, I've never played any, like, I've played a teeny tiny bit of one of the Final Fantasy games. What do you want from me? I feel like a couple of months ago, I would, me and this chat were discussing who this guy was and all that shit. Okay. I mean, and? Like, it's... Do you they know how bad I am with They expect me to names? remember. They expect you... me to remember. I cannot remember the name of someone that I have met in person after five minutes. <laughs> True. Me too. Me like, too. I need to hear the name like six times if it's going to stick in my brain. All right. I want to. I don't. I haven't even played any of the games for which this person has made concept art. Didn't even make actually anything that was actually in the game. Just the concept art for it. You, you think his art's wonderful, but do you think I'm going to remember the name? There was a piece. Fuck! I, I it like. Oh, fuck! I was just uh, looking at it. Where did it go? God damn it! And like I'm, and like I might remember his name now, but the like I maybe heard this guy's name twice. Nah, you're a dumbass. Fuck you. Yeah, that's fair. you. You like how that works? You, yeah, that's fair. You like how that works? I I found a piece of art that from uh, Yoshitaka Amano that looks like it probably inspired this. I know that's low res, but work with me here. Like, look at the background, right? And then look at the bit yeah. on the right. That's where it got the Yoshitaka Amano. Uh, but then it got... Like, if, if you look up any art of, like, Yog sothoth for example, you'll see mm. that there as well. Holy shit. So this and is I... also Yoshitaka Amano. Mm. I'm picking things where I feel like it may have, you know, picked up the image. In, right. as, as to use as metadata in the one you know the one that curry murmurs made yeah yeah i i do want to say though um this is awesome it's a beautiful piece of artwork but i'm not like i'm not about to say that ai is it, like this is imminent like ai is going to take us over imminently because and it's going to put artists out of work no no and that's I, that'd be nuts yeah i want to assuage people of that because remember AI at this point can like this is derivative. It on, it only is able to make this because there are right. existing some... images and existing art. It's shallow and, and pedantic, is what you're saying. It's shallow. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Um, but people will um. Look, take Curry Rivers said like, sh shallow and pedantic. We're, we're, I'm telling you, we think we, we we all think the same way. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but that is a perfect example of what I was talking about before. Fuck. Sorry. What were you saying? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's and derivative. Not, like, and sh yeah. Yeah. And uh, Tawny Owl put it well. AI is not thinking. It's associating data. And that's fine. The art. So here's what I'm going to argue. Ready? Mm -hmm. The art. Like the AI is not the artist. The algorithm is not the artist. The person who made the algorithm and the person creating input for the AI collaboratively are the artist because this AI is taking inspiration from other things although there are problems with this because of intellectual property rights like that there's weird ethical issues because like law is being enforced where people will train an AI on something but not give the person that it's trained on anything that's going to end up getting potentially tricky problematic right right exactly so the argument being right you train a an ai on someone's voice and suddenly like they aren't do any rights um another example of the law not really keeping up with reality. technology yeah curry murmur says uh they agree with you using this thing is basically like playing a theremin yeah yeah that's a good way of putting it 
Uh, and by the way, all these images that we've been looking at tonight, including um, somebody asked about the um, this one in particular. Yeah, these were all made with the Bogan clip. I'm calling it the Bogan clip because that's amusing to me, but I know it's not the Bogan. Mm -hmm. V Q A N V Q G A N uh, clip plus clip, whatever the fuck that that use that for all these. Um. So. Here's another one from Curry Murmurs. I'm going to show it to you. <laughs> Bogan. Bogan clip. Bork. Bogan. Oh, my God. What? Yeah. What? All right, so what do you say? Well, I... I, I see a wash... A, a couple of washed-up streamers. Um, I see a close-up of an injury in between them. Uh, drum kits. All right, who were the wa the washed up streamers? Uh, Ice Poseidon. I don't know. Uh, shit. Like I, it looks like Jack Septic Eye with a beard. <laughs> it's Jack. Okay, so Jack Septic Eye is somewhere in here. It's okay. Jack Septic Eye. Yeah, yeah. Drumming. Okay. Uh, what the fuck are those? Like, what's with the like the the flesh man with the flesh hair? orb? The flesh orb? Yeah, there's a flesh orb with yeah, the with, flesh orb like, <laughs> with like Vince McMahon hair <laughs> or something. The flesh orb. It, it's it's like got calluses. It's so ja it's Jacksepticeye, eye, but. Oh my god, it's Jack Septic Eye and it gave him a septic eye. It gave him septic eyes. Like pink eye. <laughs> this is what you think. That is what happened. Because remember the brick and mortar store? It made a brick and mortar <laughs> store that was made out of brick and mortar. This is Jack Septic Eye with septic eyes. Okay. You ready for the prompt? I'm ready. Mike from Red Vox drums hard as fuck while yelling cum at chat. What? That's the prompt. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Fuck you. No, it's not. not. It, yes, yes, it is. God damn it. Curry members. Cur cur the curry members made this. This, this, this. That was the prompt, curry members? Why are you Jack Septic Eye? I don't fucking know. And wait, there's there's two of me. Mm -hmm. I think like I, I I think like there's Vinny Flesh in this. What I you, think like I think mean? like the one on the left has like Vinny's eyes or some shit. Cause you put Red Vox in there, right? Right. So that means that the thing fucking like searched for the red red vox metadata. Okay, there's pictures of, like, me and Vinny standing there. So it made, like, fucking flesh abominations. The one on the right, I think that, yeah, I think there's, like, Vinny, like, flesh, like, Vinny DNA in, in, in both of these men that have the green Jack, Jack Septic eye hair. So, like, is this what would happen if we combined you and Vinny? I, maybe, but why are there two, two these two, like, who? why are there two men... And what the fuck is that thing in the middle? I think I'm the thing in the back. I think I'm like the fucking like Cronenberg. <laughs> yeah. I'm the you fucking the flesh. Tumor. Yeah, I'm the tumor. Like, cause that's that's supposed. To, I think that's like a drum kit back there or something. Like, I think that's that's like the flesh orb, like sitting at the at the drums. Right. Oh, like, like I think the, the things in the front are supposed. Like, maybe that's like. That's Vinny and Joe, and I'm the meatball in the back. <laughs> this has got to be your new album cover. It has a, it has a bit of your hairline. Somebody said. A little bit, I guess. And I don't even, I don't even get an eye. I have like a knee in the center of my face, and I have like a fucking, like a, a festering pu pustule, like a bloody pustule as like a fucking orifice. Right. It's the blood bagel. Oh my god, it's the it's blood the... bagel. 
that's what it is. Oh my God, you're right. You know what it is? So this AI is uh, on top of being trained on other things. It's trained on faces. That's why it gave the, the tumor hair. Like it what, made it me the into bagel hair. I'm like a, a a fucking like John Carpenter presents fucking tumor, like meat meatball. Look, I'm like fucking. I'm like a smooth. You're an elbow. <laughs> I'm a weenus. <laughs> I'm a fucking like anthropomorph, like human weenus. I'm a I human weenus. So, I was oh so God. convinced it was Jacksepticeye. I know. I don't blame you because he has hair like that, right? Top of the meatloaf to you, lads. Top of the meatloaf to you, naughty little farties. <laughs> Jabroni Mike the meatball. Look at that. This I'm is gonna, beyond like, anytime fucked. Anytime I'm angry with you, I'm calling you an elbow from now on. I hate these fake men. I, I loathe these fake men. Jabrelbo Mike. Look at these men. It is, I, I, they I are, hate. They're, it's uncomfortable. Do you think, like, it went Vinny and then went Streamer and then went Jap Jacksepticeye yeah. or yeah. something? Like, yeah. it, it had a chain yeah. of logic there. Because yeah. I'll be damned if that is not Jacksepticeye. Yeah. I think, you know, that's got it. That, that's the only thing that makes sense, dude. Yeah. Because it's the, it's the green hair, the shape of the face. It's... And then... What? The fake men look like influencers. Uh... Why did 12 people immediately declare the name man to be Alex Jones? You, Mike, you look like an Isaac character after too many item pickups. Yeah, I, I have yeah. Uh, I have growth hormones and shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I, okay, so I really think that that's not you. <laughs> it's the blood bagel, tr but it's trying to interpret it as a human. It might be, yeah. This is because the little wound is an eye. <laughs> oh my god. It it was trying to match the color of the blood bagel and like the general shape. It found a face in the blood bagel because like that fold that's an elbow, that's the, it's the mouth. mouth. Oh my fuck, it's a blob. I'm like a blobfish. <laughs> that's the sound a blood bagel makes according to this AI. Look at all my fat and like like six chins that I have under my mouth. Look at all like that that extra flabby flesh I have going on down there. It's God, beautiful. that's accurate. That's dead on. What do you <laughs> That thing in the back gives off Alex Jones. It's me, chat. The meat bagel. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> this has massive like kill me energy, you know. It's kill us. me. This is moisty Mike. <laughs> I have no mouth, and I must scream. Blood bagel too. Flesh bagel. There's a cat face in here? Where? I don't know. People are saying they see a cat face. You got to show this to the rest of the band. Oh, I absolutely I will, yeah. <laughs> you very much do. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> Vin, Vin, Vin <laughs> loves this shit, too. Don't forget that our last album uh, cover was a Ganbreeder image. That was like, you know, somebody made a painting of it, right? Right. I... Look at... Oh, oh my god. Oh, this... I, I, I wonder how Vinny is going to feel with this AI making him the Jacksepticeye. Jacksepticeye. Jacksepticeye AI. I'm looking forward to finding out. Oh, this is gonna be... This is not... No, I, I, I don't know. It's just a fucking... <laughs> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> you're you're in your element. Oh yeah, like there there's disgusting meat monstrosities <laughs> being made out of confused AI, and like and the and the meat monstrosity is one of my best friends. Yeah, I'm I'm into this. I'm a hundred percent here for it. <laughs> it's me. Me IRL. <laughs> This... Have you ever, like, you don't know what shame is until you've been called an elbow by an AI. This thing got so much funnier when you pointed out that that, that little smile, it, that it, that's the, that's a mouth. 
This thing got 50 times funnier when you pointed out that, that, that that's a mouth. <laughs> this is Mobility Mary's final form. Oh, God, it is. It tried to make me. Oh, I guys, this is fuck. We have to stop looking at this. It's too, yeah, it's, we it's need fuck, to move on. It's fucking me up. It's fucking me up. Uh, here's another one from Curry Murmurs. All right, we're all gonna right. get we're we're getting back to uh something again. Uh, the reason I picked this one out of the Discord is because eyes. It was it was just fucking gorgeous, dude. I'm ready. Oh, wow. That is actually beautiful. Right? Got big Van Gogh energy, right? It does, yeah. Uh, there's a really good reason for that. Here's the prompt. Glass and opal edges of night claw inward. The sun is black and swollen with glowing orange blood. Xenomorph in the style of Van Gogh. Right, and these are uh, separated by lines, right? So that they're each um, treated individually. Like, because if you do it all as one... I, I noticed if you do it... Um, the instructions mention this. I, I didn't experiment with it myself. But you can separate them into sections. And it will weight all of the words in each section um, the same. So if, if you just have one long string of words, then each word will be given the same weight, but you can group them so that each group is of words is given the same weight. I believe they were separated by commas. Okay. Do you want to um, like clarify that, Curry Murmurs? Do you, do you want to do you want to say exactly what you did? Because in order to name, what I did was I named the files. Like I put your your Twitch name, and then I I put what you. What you said was the prompt, but I had to remove a lot of the punctuation because the fucking file name wouldn't let me name it that. You know, you understand? Um, please say you saved oh, one of my two lines. Good, good. They were separated. Okay. Oh! So doing it right. Yeah, that, that is how you separate, like, chunks of words. So when he has Xenomorph in the style of H.R. Geiger, then um, that is an individual chunk of words that is weighted the same. Like, all, all, all of the words in that chunk are weighted the same, and then that chunk is weighted uh, the same as each of the other chunks. So he would, have done, he would have done this. Listen. Yes. He put glass and opal edges of night claw inward. Line. Right. The sun is black and swollen with a glowing orange blood line. Xenomorph in the style of Van Gogh. Yes. Is what each he would of those are like, Yeah, each of those are separated. Cool. Uh, some people are saying they see shrimp pug. I see a um, shrimp pug, kind of. I like, you've got kind of a, a cute lizard on the left. It, like, the lizard head, it's kind of cute. I, I like I like the big nose and the small mouth. Like that, it, it's a good animal aesthetic. They look like friends. Yeah, they're friend-shaped. Yeah. Wow, even, while we hear Kirby music. And weird. Um... Please say you saw saved one of my Dune... Curry Murmurs, I did not see any of your Dune prompts, but I'll tell you what, Fred fucking is nuts for Dune. Oh, yeah. Why don't you... Balls out for Dune. Why don't you DM me your favorite one? Just give me give me what you think is the best Dune prompt that you that you made, and we'll, we'll look at it, okay? But Cause... send it to me on, on Discord, please. Because Dune is already an acid trip. Oh, my, yeah. It was written like one, yeah. It's amazing how people keep trying to make movies out of it. And it's like, have you fucking read Dune? Half of the book is like people having weird visions. Yeah, or like abstract fucking ramblings. Like it's it's very esoteric. I don't think that's right. the right word, but yeah. I like I like to it, use it for those books. I, th I think it's a good description. Does it? Is it? I think so. It's kind of obtuse. It's a little shallow and pedantic, you know. Um, I I. Oh. Sh using the word shallow to describe Dune is, like, rage-inducing. Yeah, I know. It's a meme, though. Um, it is a good meme. It's any No, it's anything, but... It, in, in fact, it may, you, you could argue it's got too much depth. Right. Um, if you're going to make an argument, it's... 
Like if if you were to make a a meme criticism, it's that it insists upon itself. But it does though. Like it really, it really does. It does once you hit God Emperor. <laughs> That's a really good observation. Like while also being a meme. Right. Um, I think that that trailer looked really good. Yeah, it looks good. I guess like. The problem is no trailer is able to make me excited for a movie anymore because mm -hmm. I've I've very gradually come around to the fact that not like movies are not the highest form of art. Mm -hmm. Like something doesn't become good enough to be made into a movie. We have fucking like we we've we've got Neil Breen making feature length movies or like or we have Transformers, right? Like oh, it doesn't God. mean that the movies are good. Like it doesn't it like Transformers wasn't so good. Like the shows and and the toys weren't so good that they just that they earned the honor of being made into the highest form of art. No, they just thought of a gross a lot. Yeah, so, it's, it, you're right. People people shouldn't People have to change the way they, they think about movies, maybe. Yeah, I, like, people think that, like, having a multi-million dollar production movie is going to be better. Like, now th this is the ultimate form. It's not the ultimate form. The ultimate form of Dune is a book, because it was made to be a book. Now, right. there are some instances where, like, other adaptations of something are better than the original. But not always. Like, the, the majority of the time, they're not. I think that's like less than 1% of the time. Yeah, very rare. Um, the reason that people regard movies as, you know, the, the ultimate form of entertainment for, you know, a, a property is because nobody wants to read books, Fred. Yeah. But that's not true. And, and, and that's listen, not even true, though. It's not, but it is. It's not, but it is. Dune, in particular, is extremely dense. Now, I would say there's no way that you're going to really get, like, the full story of that in, 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 in any fucking way that, do that does the story itself a fucking justice without reading those books. And I understand that, that to be true. But at certain points, those books were not easy to read. Yeah. Right? Correct. Um, like, they were actually, like, legitimately challenging to read. And that's not because I'm bad at reading. It's because the, the material is very dense. And it's very... Again, the abstract sometimes, you know. Right, Dune it's a lot is of philosoph philosophy stuff, like yeah. really heavy philosophy stuff, that, you know, you got to sit there and fucking think about after you read it and be like, wow, what the fuck? I might, right. I, I might need, I need to read that paragraph like another three fucking times to really digest what this guy is trying to fucking say because it's legitimately complicated. Right, like, have you ever tried to? like drink a really thick milkshake through a straw and <laughs> yeah, it a... just won't fucking go. That's a good metaphor. I, I think that, that's a good metaphor. Yeah. It, that's what Dune is like in places. Yeah. And sometimes you're just like, what the fuck? What is he even trying to what? What the fuck? This guy dropped acid, didn't he? Right. It's like, how do you interpret it any other way? And you're going to try to adapt that? I... I don't know. I, I I have faith that it's going to be a pretty good movie, but they really had their work cut out for them. I mean, again, you've seen how many people failed to adapt it in the past. Right. So. I will say the best moment of the entire trailer was the Baron Harkonnen rising up with his robe still draped down to the floor. I can't like, wait. That was the That's best good. visual. I, I have the cinematography in the clips shown in the trailers is so good. Even if the movie is shit, I'm going to love watching it because of the shots. I would really like to see that in a like a movie theater, like a like a fucking IMAX or something, man. Absolutely. Um, like I, I'm just going to be sitting there enjoying the cinematography. That's the scene where Baron Harkonnen starts like loudly farting and like fucking bouncing off the walls, and like <laughs> laughing ma ma maniacally and like you know spewing like goop or whatever. Hat. What was that? The, Lin the David Lynch movie. Yeah, <laughs> right. It was so fucking goofy. Fuck. Um, it was the doofiest movie. Anyway, uh, this one was 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 cool. I enjoyed this one. Uh, 
Now, here's another one. I'm going to chuck this one at you. Again, I want you to know what you... Tell me what you think you're saying. Okay. All right. Okay, so there's Sonic the Hedgehog immediately. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog in the style of Hieronymus Bosch. Final answer. Okay. The prompt was Sonic the Hedgehog in style of Hieronymus Bosch. <laughs> Did I actually hit it on the nose? Le fucking word for word, syllable <laughs> for syllable. Like... I fucking did it. That is exactly what it was. <laughs> I'm starting to understand this. All right. Um, what gave away the Bosch? The asses everywhere? There's asses all over this image. It's the color palette, mm -hmm. the, um, the the strokes, um, and yeah, the butts. Uh, there are a lot of butts. What um, flag is that up there? Like Poland? That's the Polish flag, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's it's This one is like aggressively boshy. This one's very boshy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, it is Poland. Uh, oh, I nailed that. Why is the that. Polish nice. flag there? Um, Sonic the Hedgehog goes to the the Polish Olympic Games. Maybe it's got to do with the Gorsk, the Gorky pickles. The Gorky Gorky pickles. Gor <laughs> um, I love that the Sonic hair is just and you know what it is. There's also you. S so the, the reason I knew it was Sonic the Hedgehog immediately is it's Son so we have Sonic the Hedgehog and again it's pulling. Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm -hmm. So you have the blue hair, and then you have the shape of the face in on the left side there, like, like an left actual middle. An, an actual Hedgehog's face, right? But yeah, exactly. So what's happening is you have the general shape, but then you have actual, literal, like normal Hedgehogs happening. <laughs> this one's great. Yeah, it's like it knows that Sonic the Hedgehog is a thing, and it probably hates that fact. But it's also trying to acknowledge like actual fucking Hedgehogs, right? Yes. It's a real hedgehog cosplaying as Sonic, somebody said. I mean, well, th this is all over, like, fucking Facebook and Reddit. People dressing up their hedgehogs like Sonic. Yeah. It's like... Yeah, yeah. It it's like a wine mom's idea of a clever joke. That house... No, that mouse I'm is sorry, playing... I'm sorry, I'm, like, insulting people. I'm sorry. That mouse is playing a horn into Sonic's S... Over here it, in the, in the it left. Is. Is it? Oh my god. It's like it's got a harmonica extender. It's very boshy. Ass. Extremely bosh esque, right? Um, so, Curry Murmurs just sent over. Okay. It, it's just, I, this is fucking amazing. Holy fuck. I, I'm going to say. What the hell? You saying it? Yes. All right. This, so you've got Geiger. You see Geiger in there? I see Geiger. It, it's the long tubes. Okay, That's yeah. what gives it away. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Also the fate. Um, alien versus Predator. I see an alien. I, I see the Predator on the left side. Oh, okay. And then in the center, it's like an alien and a Predator combined. So I'm going to say like alien versus Predator in the style of... Oh, no, maybe not in the style. Um... Maybe, like, fighting on the dunes or something. But where's that splash of color coming from? Like, look at those col the, like, kaleidoscopic colors in the center of that band. So I'm going to guess Alien versus Predator is in there. I'm going to guess that, like, Geiger is in there. Maybe... Ooh, the background kind of looks... You know the opening sequence from Breath of the Wild? I don't remember that, no. Um, or like, well, not the opening sequence, sorry. Um, but like the the legend being drawn on the parchment. Oh, it no, of, okay. It, it looks like parchment. Basically, what I'm saying is the background looks like parchment. All right. Um, like art drawn on parchment. So here's the prompt. This is, again, Curry Murmurs did this. A gas mask demon made of broken shadows... Wait, 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 wait. I, I fucked up. How Hold am I on. supposed to guess, like, this... Okay, go on. 
I actually fucked up. I gotta start over. Concept art for Jodorowsky's Dune in a 16-bit style rendered in the Unreal Engine line. A gas mask demon made of broken shadows fanning ghost flames with great wings in the style of Neil Gaiman. Oh. Yeah, Curry Murmurs is going. That's, that's, that's his prompt. My, my, my prompts are like soy poggers. <laughs> Enter. I'm, I'm there too because I tried to do the cum gambit. And I did monk shit tea. But that, oh. that's where the sort of illustrate -y, like storybook feeling comes from. That It's the Neil Gaiman. Yeah. Vinehart, where are we on the cum ga gambit? I'm, Wispbones, where are we on someone the cum made it. gambit? Like, some, someone else someone made it. Someone else too. made it? Um, I think Wispbones, like, it failed. Uh, it tried to make it. Like, it wasn't working. The artist formerly known as Vinehart. Notice made the, it. Notice the dunes in the back. Because yeah. it's Dune. Because it's Dune. Right. That's where that comes from. Check so it's Twitter. Like... Oh, you guys tweeted like 50 cum gambits at me. Oh, oh are we God. just going... I would love to go like quickly do a rapid fire of cum gambits. Like we're going to blitz them. We're going to like it like in chess. It's a blitz game, except <laughs> except it's cum gambit. We're going to use the cum gambit for every opening. Take a look at this one real quick. Okay. Or not real quick. I mean, soak this one in. Ooh. Is there Kirby in there? Um, it's fucking awesome. It is awesome. I'm going to guess Kirby was in there somewhere. All right. Um, it looks it looks like a high elf city from like Warhammer Fantasy. I definitely see a like a, yeah, a high elf fantasy city back there. I don't know specifically what you're talking about, but I I totally see that. Like, um, mm -hmm. you know, Rivendell or whatever the fuck, right? Yeah. Although the city also just kind of looks like a South American city. Like a sprawling type of, like, really wide, you know, a lot of low buildings, but very yeah. spread out type of city. Yeah, yeah. Like, like Brazil, Rio, maybe. Yeah, like Rio, yeah. Rio, yeah. Um, and actually, you kind of have a flag in the center there. Is that what you think that is? Yeah, I'm I'm guessing like what country's flag is that? Oh, I'm, I'm I, you're talking about the blue and white or the purple and white and, and uh, it's the whatever. blue, yellow and green. Brazil. Where Sorry, is that? I, I couldn't remember it. It South America. W w where is the flag that you're describing? It's so you see the 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 Kirby the like the Kirby couch. It's just to the bottom right of it. Uh okay, uh, yeah. I yeah, Brazil. I asked yeah. him where that is, and he said South America. Okay. <laughs> he, I, was, I, 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 I don't even think he. I don't even think he meant it as a joke. No, I didn't. Like, I thought I didn't. I'm sorry. I just. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, Mike. He's like, I'm sorry. I take your fuck your stupidity for granted. All right, listen. Ready for the prompts? I'm, sorry. I'm ready. Nintendo's Kirby, obese. And human, floating in a throne, <laughs> made of Sonic the Hedgehog's pelt, across his broken kingdom. Line, in right. the style of Jodorowsky's Dune. Okay. Yeah, I see it. I get it. Uh, yeah, the, that, that's the broken kingdom in the back. Yeah, Come to Brazil, that... it's a broken kingdom. The broken yes. kingdom of Brazil. The bro <laughs> And then and that, that is definitely the Brazilian flag, though. I think so. I swear to God. So, like, when it said Broken Kingdom, it just, like, made Jodorowsky's Brazil. It's like a green flag with the yellow circle, and, like, it's like a globe in the center of it. Like, it's got a little, um... Like, it's the planet Earth in the center of it, right? Or something? What's in the could, center could of you... it? Yeah, no, I... It's... Uh, I, I it's, a it's a night a sky. It's, oh, a, it's night a night sky, sky. They're saying. Okay. What if the planes are shooting stars in the night sky? Um, put that. Oh put my that God. A, That's a prompt. That's a prompt right there. It is. What, what, what'd you just it, say? It Repeat that. Oh no! It, it's um. It, it's a meme. It, it's a I stupid know. Fucking meme. Um. 
What if, what if, like, the airplanes in the sky were shooting, in the night sky were shooting stars, because I could use a wish right now, or something like that. You'd have to look it up. Why'd you say it is Kermit? Be because that's part of the meme. The night sky where they shoot, we're shooting stars. Their song, yeah, their song lyrics. It's like owl fucker music. Like, what's his name? Owl City. <laughs> owl fucker, he says. It, it became an epic. <laughs> he said it owl became, fucker. It became. Is it not Owl City? Fuck, I have no Who's idea what he's, what he's talking about. I don't know who did it. I just. Know I have the no meme. idea what he's talking I just about. Know the meme. It, it's Twilight Sparkle and uh, fucking. Uh, Mordecai? <laughs> it's the Mordecai. Fuck. Kirby. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I don't. I'm just lost. I'm so lost. Like I don't know what anything is anymore. Hag tried to link something. Uh, uh, <laughs> I when someone did that meme, I thought they were making fun of the vocalist from Owl City, or just like it's just one guy. It's just one guy. <laughs> It's not the vocalist. It's Owl, it's Owl City is just one guy. I got no fucking I'm idea what's, hap what's happening right now. I'm so lost. I'm, I'm lost in my own head. So what's that? An MLP? <laughs> one of the MLP ponies? It's a, mul it's a molt pony. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Mordecai from uh, the regular show. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry that I got so lost. So that's a prompt that we're going to do at some point. What if the airplanes in the night sky were shooting stars? Line. Because I, I could use a line. Yeah. Line. Because I could use a wish <clears throat> right now. All right. right we're going to we're going to do that one. Yeah. Um, hold on a minute. Um. Oh, uh, Curry Murmurs was pointing out, here's a, this is an image from Jodorowsky's Dune, which I still haven't watched that documentary, but, uh, they believe that the reason that, you know, th this one, for example, that's uh, where the colors come from. Yeah. Had, had all the crazy colors. It would have been from something like an, a re reference image like this one guy it looks like Robotnik made this fucking thing. Holy shit. It does. Yeah. Like, um, I, I expect to hear Eggman's voice, like, laughing and talking about, you know, like, I'm going to get that hedgehog. Get a load of this! Um, I've got some more stuff here. Oh, my God. What the f All right, so here's the cum bandit. Cum ba get cu the cum bandit. I'd like to see that one too. The the cum gambit, and it was me. Uh, Tita Titania made this one. Okay. Okay. Uh, that looks like satellite photos. I see the word cum. It's just got the word cum. <laughs> it just it, it's, it's the word cum is all over the place. It's like a crop circles of cum. And why do I see like chefs? Like chef face is like Chef Boyardee. I don't know who that guy is. I see things that look like penises, kind of. It's disconcerting when you're not sure if something is a penis. There's the the Jeff Bezos cock rocket right in the middle of the image. Oh yeah. Um, how is this the cum gambit? I think that. It must have combined a chessboard with, like, satellite imagery or something. Where we dropping, fam? Because because those are pools, right? Like you know, when you look at satellite imagery and they're like you're looking at a, a city where it's really hot, there are lots of pools. Mm -hmm. Is that what you That's... think the, the the blue um the blue portions are? Yes. It looks like there's a Greek flag over here. I think that this is the messiest one we've seen. Like, the color palette is all over the place. Yeah, this and one's again, a fucking just, mess. 
yeah this, yeah that there's the greek flag and there's just mike did you efface this um like did, did, did you deface this with just it, there's just come why is the word come <laughs> everywhere i don't know it's immediately recognizable like the first thing that i, that I saw was come i don't know north of earth wants you to describe the come gambit it's a chess move it's a chess opener it's an opening yeah It's not, right? We're just saying it is? Y yes. Okay. Uh, thank you for doing this, Tito. This makes no sense. Um, well, I see rivers, too. I do see pools. I see rivers. I see, like, roads and, like, maybe crops and stuff. Like, yeah, crops no, being they, they, Yeah, there are crops, but, like, it's all in the layout of a city. So it's like, if you took... Like, this is post-apocalyptic. Oh, my God. The, the cum gambit is a, like... Is it? It's a nuclear strategy. It's the compocalypse. So, like you, so I don't know if you know this, but the reason that the project to make tanks was called the reason that they were called tanks was because the word tank was really innocuous. It was like what a, a tank. It was kind of a funny word, and now tanks are like they're war machines, and sort of the the funny factor of it has worn away. But back then, it was like oh, it's innocuous. The tank project. Okay, whatever that's it's the same thing this is a nuclear strategy but it it's like it and the nuclear strategy is called the cum gambit the cum gambit to kind of make it seem harmless right right like the russians are looking at it like looking at all, all of america's secret documents and it's like what is cum gambit <laughs> what is cum gambit why why everything with the americans always come why did come this, come that? Why always come? Why not vodka? Do you think that this is like, like the, you have a, an FBI agent watching you at all times, and then there's like a yeah. Russian spy that is watching that guy, and he's just like, <laughs> why is American so focused on men who talk about come? <laughs> yeah. Why you want to know? Is, is he come expert? <laughs> Come, they want to know about come exp expert. Um, why he make hedgehog homosexual? Um, <laughs> yeah, may maybe this is. Yeah, last night I think my FBI. I I I never talked about what happened last night. I lost internet for about an hour. I had like a total fucking internet outage, and I still have no idea why that happened. I wanted to apologize for that. I forgot. Sorry, everybody, uh, that that happened last night. That sucked. I wasn't done streaming at all. Like, I, that really pissed me off. Um, maybe the, uh, the, the, the IP shut me down because they saw I was looking up too much Mr. Mint porn. What Am I going to be informed about what Mr. Mint is? No. Chad, I, I want him in total ignorance about Mr. Mint, okay? He doesn't deserve that. Um... Because so far tonight, I feel like I've gotten stupider. Oh, baby. We're just getting started. We are not done. We're nowhere near done bimbo -fying your ass. I'm Take like, a look at that. No, I'm taking psychic damage. What? Okay. I made this one. Okay. I'm seeing, like, death clock or something. Death bed? Like D E T H. Uh. Why is it skin? Why is everything skin? What are you trying to show me? Is that an orb? That's an eye. What is this? You know what's wild is I seen people in chat actually fucking figure out what 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 what, what the prompt is to an extent. So it's again using um, using satellite imagery. People are saying Dunkachino. I I should really hide chat. Is it just Dunkachino? In the back, you're saying it kind of looks like that, yeah, satellite footage or uh, satellite photos of, yes. of like, you know, countryside, right? Yeah. P 
Pink I'm, Floyd album? You think it looks like Division Bell, right? Minty Jam? What's up, Minty? Thanks for coming tonight, Mr. Mint. It looks like... You're, you're thinking... Right. The face on the left looks like the Division Bell album cover, yeah? I am. I have no idea. Uh, unless it's just Dunkachino. The gay mask man from, from Venice? Why would it be Dunkachino? You're looking at the words? No, like, some people in chat were mentioning that, but it's like, I don't even believe that. It's like deathbed mm -hmm. that like that's th those are, that's the word that keeps appearing all over the place what do you think about it though you think it looks yeah, cool or uh, what it's this looks like a potential cover for like a conspiracy book it's fucking horrifying isn't it it is like what what's yeah. the it's like lizard men right it's like the lizard men theory Except it's got hair. They've got very got loose, mullet. very loose flesh. Fle like very be, like like the, the, they're positing that they're we are being taken over by lizard people with trucker mullets. <laughs> yeah, uh, they've got very loose fitting like f skin suits, right? Right. All right, you want to hear the prompt? I'm I'm ready for it. Okay. Deletized among us. What? That's what the word is. Deletized. Yep. Supposed I did. I, be. I saw people in chat saying deletized. Yeah. How did Del you guys pick up on that? Deletized among us. Where is the Among Us? There's no Among Us in this image. There's no Amogus represented. I do not. I, I know there is none. There's none. There's nothing. This you know is... about... De you know what that word means, right? Deletized? Me? Yes. Okay, just making no. sure. Fully deletized. Thank you. Okay. I just want... I wasn't, I wasn't sure if you knew. Yeah. Made into ham. Like a tongue made of ham. God, there's... <laughs> Sorry, you were flipping through this. Hey, guys, Jack it's Septic me. Vinny. Hey, guys, it's me, the Brownie Mac. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what you guys up to? It's me, the Brownie Mac. Hey, Master <laughs> Shake, you got games on your phone? <laughs> hey, look, you have a new Twitter profile image. <laughs> it's me, the Brownie Mac. I'm trying to do Meatwad, but I'm bad at it. Oh, boy, I was done a lot to be the drummer for a Red Vox. Thank you. What's up, I'm done. I, got, I just gotta be really careful with my lumbago. <laughs> of course, I'm. Frylock says that I don't have a lumbago, so I probably don't need to worry. How'd you get so good at this? I, I don't know. It's a curse. Man, I'm really excited to play drums for Red Vox. I can't, I had, yeah, it's mine sucks. I, I, had, I had to give up a memory to get to like acquire this power. Oh, it was like the sushi. Yeah, exactly. I had to set, I, I had to I had to give up a memory as well as a meeting with a future person. Well, let's hope it wasn't like the love of your life or something. Yeah, uh, there's no way for me to know, so I can't really be disappointed. Yeah, it could have been the guy who like shoots you in the head too, so, you know. I do like being the drummer. Drummer sucks a taste. <laughs> Get it? Drumstick. My talents are wasted on you people. <laughs> so, I wanted to point out the pog face on the right. Yeah, they, they, I, I think it's supposed to be a pog face, but like it just ends up looking like a smug alien lizard man. Well, the one on the left does. On the left, yes. But the one on the right, there's like two. I see two faces here. I'm seeing like a a fleshy styled Phantom of the Opera mask. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the only thing. Oh, I see the pog mouth. Yeah, you see it now? Second, but I see mm. it now. Mm -hmm. You see like, it? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you thought that Ooh. mouth was an eye hole? Yes. I see it as a pog. I see it as a mouth. I see the pog now. 
Yeah. How are like I'm seeing an actual object. You're see like this is how steeped in memes you've become. I'm seeing like a physical object. You are seeing a piece of a meme. <laughs> He's right. Like before you even see whole objects. He's you see right. Parts of memes. Yeah, he's That's right. That's how far down this rabbit hole you are. Here's a fun question. What does the word dehop mean? Dohop. It, Do -hop. it really just kind of... Dohep? No, you know what that has... This has the energy of um, that AI, that audio AI that was trying to um, make Biggie Smalls rap. Penis subius, penis to the abs. Have, you, have I shown you that? Uh, No. It's another AI thing, so it's on. Brand. It's an audio AI thing. On, yeah. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can find it. Got it. It's the the notorious Big here. You should be able to play. Like this will play fine. Uh, and you don't have to worry about being copyright struck. Uh, but right. someone plugged in the lyrics, so they tried to get an AI like voice. Uh, trained on the notorious B.I.G. to sing penis serious, penis delirious, go into the woods, call that penis mysterious, penis <laughs> various, penis hilarious. Hold on. Let, let Dawn of the age, it. penis Aquarius. Yes. It, it goes it goes on. But yes, I, I would I would highly recommend playing this for everyone. Okay, the uh, YouTube channel, by the way, guys, is called Anal Fungus. <laughs> Anal Fungus is the name of the YouTube channel if you're interested in finding this for yourself. Anal Fungus on YouTube. All right, have fun searching for Anal Fungus on YouTube. Penis serious, penis the little Rosa bar sent to the woods. Call a penis, Mr. Penis Hiller Register of the A. Penis that will pop, pop that. Stick to your day job. Right? Oh my god. I, I think I think my favorite part of the whole thing is that when the AI gets really confused, it falls back on the word Compton. D is that what's happening? No, li like it gets really confused, it starts stuttering, and then it, it gets so confused that it just shouts Compton. <laughs> like, try, try playing it again, and you'll hear it. That's what that is! Oh, that's fucking great! Oh, we're gonna listen to it again, hold on. Penis serious, penis the little Rosa bar sent to the woods. Call a penis, Mr. Penis Hiller Register of the A. Penis that will pop, pop that. It did. <laughs> oh my god, it just fell back onto Compton because probably like, but Biggie rapped about it like constantly because he's been trained on his music. I think that he. he is probably from there, and that's why the fucking AI said that because he probably rapped about it all the fucking time. That that's my guess, right? It it so people are saying no. People are saying no. So so where did Compton come from? He's is not. He's he, he's not from LA. He's from New York. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. So I don't know either. All I know is that I heard Compton. Biggie was East Coast dummy. I'm not a I'm not a hip hop and, and rap expert, so um, you know, I'm a dummy. Uh, I don't I don't you know, I don't know anything about the stuff, so I'm stupid. Um, man, you know what I'd like to I'd like to see more of that, like AIs trained on like, uh. Jimmy Buffett and just listen to it like stuttering about like margaritas and tattoos. I do feel like that'd be really funny. <laughs> I wonder if you, you could have an AI trained on like on his music and then like it makes its own song. That kind of thing has happened before. Like there was yeah? an AI uh, composed an obvious like so there's an AI composed um, what was it Euro like Euro beat um, or not Euro beat but like Euro pop song, and then obviously um, someone had like it, it, it wasn't good. No, someone had to go in and produce it. Um, 
It was kind of impressive. Blue jeans and bloody tears. That's what it is. We should investigate. Okay. We should investigate this more because this this sounds like a fucking this is this is a gold mine. I mean, we're doing like you know uh, images. Why not fucking yeah music, All right? Um. Shall we continue uh, with with the original with the thing that we are we were here for originally? Yes, I have one here from somebody named Fangirl Friday, and it goes back to the monkey theme. Um, look up the ACDC AI generated lyrics to a song called Big Ball. Oh, yeah, we I, I need to investigate that. What do you say? <clears throat> okay. Um, street art. There's a man with baked beans in his skull. Uh, we have, like, the, there's, like, a gorilla. There are multiple gorillas. Um, there, that gorilla on the bottom kind of looks like, um... Shit, he, he either looks like Sturm from Advance Wars or <laughs> uh, Bane. It's like Bane Gorilla. Uh, I, I see weed. I see a brain. I see multiple brains. There's got to be, like, brain in there somewhere. Yeah, you think? Uh, yeah, there's, like, maybe this is your brain on drugs. Chat's got maybe it. That's... Oh, oh, chat's, chat's got it. it. Well, chat's had it. I looked in chat. I, I I spoiled it for myself. It's Gorilla Mind Rush. It is in fact Gorilla Mind Rush, and you can see these gorillas. They're in a big rush, and uh, mind is where all the brains are coming from, right? Yes, definitely. Yeah, that AI did not have flow. We got to hear more of that. Um, I like the little yeah. There's a little weed leaf. Um, I don't know why there's a weed leaf. Mind. Um, it, Probably is, like, is this guy up here on the left? Is this is he like an anamorph? It, kind, it, it kind of does look that way, doesn't it? Like this looks like anamorph graffiti art. Uh huh. And he's got the exposed brain. Like what? What character is that? Like Krang? Like with the right. fucking brain? Br the exposed brain. Who is that? Hold on. I'm I'm looking something up, and yeah, that that is Krang. Mojo Mo Mojo Jojo. Mojo, Jojo. I'm looking up <laughs> album covers from Rush to see if that maybe oh, was. Oh, motherfucker. That is an idea right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's not quite there. It's like not quite like this. But it kind of has a little bit of that vibe. Like maybe there was a little bit of influence there. This is your brain on the funny gorilla dust. Snort, snort, motherfucker. Compton. It's like if if Rush, if Rush did a crossover with the Gorillas, <laughs> this is what the album cover would look like. You know, I was gonna say that, that that's a ridiculous idea, but didn't they do a collaboration with Elton John? Did they? The, gor the Gorillas, yeah. Okay. They did some kind of collaboration with Elton John, and and, and Vinny said it sucked. Oh. Yeah, I'll didn't it back. suck? It sucked, right? He said it sucked. People are saying it rules, and the song sucked. I, it's a very divisive song. Yeah, he said it sucked. Um, I still, I, I still didn't hear it. But uh, good, it sucked. Yeah, this is very divisive. Yeah, like I've only seen a couple of OKs, but mo like most of them are really polarizing. You want to see another one of these bad boys? Mm hmm So, like, these are from you, so we're in full meme mode now. Um, th the last one, Gorilla Mind Rush, was not from me. That was from Fangirl Friday, uh, a viewer. Okay. Uh, in the, in, I found it in the Discord. This one I did. And uh, it kind of blows, but I I'm not really crazy about it. Um, I'm seeing Sonic characters in there. Are you? With the big eyes. Yeah? Yeah. 
Um, All right. And also the, the pointy heads. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, is this like Yodorowski's Sonic? <laughs> I put Fractal Chaos Emeralds. Oh. Now I was on I was on Twitter and I was seeing I was seeing people get really 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 cool results with the word fractal in the prompts. Okay. Um I don't think that this image is anywhere near as cool as some of the ones that I had seen. Unfortunately, I didn't save any of them, but some of them were so fucking cool. Like I I I'm telling you I saw a, a good a good handful of these that were yeah making use of the word fractal in, in in the prompt that were really really visually interesting that looked like fractals like you know what a fractal is right yeah i know i do um like this to me doesn't even really look fractal it's i think the influence of fractal so when you look up fractal in an image gallery you're going to find lots of really colorful art um and that's that's the influence of the word fractal. It's not literally making it to a fractal. It's looking but at I, art. But that, I was like, seeing that shit. Fractal. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. But that's what happened yeah. in this case. I think it mm-hmm. took the wrong thing from the fractal art. It took the color. Mm-hmm. I think so. And yeah, I see like, I think like supersonic on the bottom left. And like, I don't know, maybe like the shadow on the right. Like I'm definitely seeing face meat. In this image. Yeah, for sure. Although, like, I will say the face in the bottom left kind of looks like a cute bird. Because you kind of, you have the eye, and that's, so that's the right eye. And then okay. you have the nose with the little mouth, and then it's, uh, you have the left eye on the right there, and it's winking. Oh, yeah. I see it's it. cute. Cute little fucker. My new OC. My new Sonic OC, Donut Steel. The center middle one, it, oh my god, it, it does look like Mike the Tapeworm. It does. My OC, the Mike the Tapeworm. He, I see, I see Mike the Tapeworm, yeah. Absolutely. Oh god. Oh. Wispbones, thank you. So Wispbones uh, put a prompt into the uh, generator just for you, Fred. Aww. Can we pretend Our that shooting stores are in the night yeah. sky? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now. Wish right now. Wish right now. Why is the pl- black plane on the left coming out of someone's foot selfie? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's just like meat cliffs on the left, right? Yeah. <laughs> meat cliffs. Rounded, rounded. Uh, I could really use a wish right now. Uh, this was someone on Discord, JM. Thank you. They sent me Anime Heaven. Okay. Oh, sweet, sweet. It's, it's just a little hole in the wall VHS shop. And you know what? That might be like the coolest thing to a fucking anime fan, right? Yeah, maybe it is. Um and then the the top shelf is overflowing with meat. Yeah, what's happening in the back? What are those piles of back there? Um th- those aren't piles. That it looks like a meat wave. Like there's ground <laughs> meat. Like there's hot dog meat. That is just flowing, issuing forth from the shelves. Yeah, there's some kind of that definitely some kind of meat going on back there, that's for sure. Oh, uh cherry blossoms. Dude, piles oh, of cher- that... piles of cherry blossoms. Piles of meat blossoms. For a weeb, that'd be cool as hell. Right? Yeah, the, what, meat blossoms or cherry blossoms? The cherry blossoms. That'd be cool for anyone. What are you talking about? Yeah, 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 it would be. Until it starts, until they start rotting. Maybe, what? It's anime heaven. Maybe they don't rot. Why do the anime waifus on these body pillows look like Gene Simmons and Kiss? <laughs> I'm amazed you can see anything in any of them. You have like... Yeah, I see Kiss. In the bottom left, I'm seeing like an Egyptian or Sumerian tablet. 
Oh, I see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see it with like the white headband and the beard. The the dude, the dude is like on a black background. Yeah, it's like a Dead Sea scroll or some shit. I I don't think that's sure. It's a very different thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It again, the perspective is so weird on this because it's just taking different images and sort of mashing them together and not really worrying about the distance, depth of field. This one feels like it there's it has depth though. It feels like there's some mm. it, it tried to do something, right? It doesn't make a lot of sense. Right. Like there like, are definitely I was oh, gonna go say ahead. look at the vanishing point. Like you know what I mean? Like like try to walk down that aisle and like your mind is gonna break, you know? Right. But I mean it's you have infinite anime just all over the place. I like the shelves of like fucking Funko Pops or whatever the fuck that shit is up there. Oh, for sure. And there's like, there's a body pillow of, oh, what's the name of the main character from Kill la Kill? Because she's there. Uh, she's come like hug. front and center. Come hug. Big sure. booby Pocahontas? Yeah, that's it. Ryuko. Her name's okay. Ryuko. Gotcha. Um... But Thank yes, you for so. Anime Heaven. Uh, this one is from Full Moon. I found it in the Discord. Okay. What are you seeing? Uh, oh, is this like supposed to be Doom Guy and Isabel? Because you have a... Oh, what are they called? Um, Caco Demon on the top, like around them. You have cac- multiple caco demons. Is it like Doom Guy and Isabel fighting off caco demons with chainsaws? The prompt was Doom Guy and Isabel killing demons. Yeah. She's not holding a. Why is she holding a pregnancy test? They said. <laughs> they gave Isabel a chainsaw. They did. Uh. And look at Doom Guy and how like meaty he is. He looks he like looks... a fucking Peanuts character or some uh, shit. Yeah, I was about to say he looks like Charlie Brown. Yeah, he, he like, does. Ma- ma- Charlie Brown grew up into Doom Guy. And there's meat and blood everywhere. This one fucking rules. Yeah, he just steps into hell, looks around, and says, "Oh, brother." <laughs> yeah. This one You're not fucking. Snoopy. This one rules, though. Holy shit. I love this one. Um, Yeah, fat nuts. There's Just a... wait until Linus hears about this. Yeah, There's this like one... Linus is a fucking theologian. Oh, is that what's going on in Peanuts? You actually, like, remember that shit? Yeah, I would read Peanuts growing up. He was uh, the religious one. Like, he actually... Like yeah, they had, he, they gave him like Christ dialogue. Not Christ dialogue. He he wasn't so much like a you know I'm the good Christian. He was just was very interested in theology, uh, specific and like Christian theology. That's kind of so crazy like, for a children's comic strip. Well, it wasn't a children's comic strip. It was a newspaper comic strip. It was for adults too. It was for adults chiefly, probably. Fun fact, did you know that the original name of Peanuts was going to be called Lil Fellas? Yeah, all right. Lil so, like, Fellas. Could you imagine what, like, the butterfly effect that would have on the future? How so? Like, what's what's up, Lil Fella? And, like, that, that just would change that phrase forever. <laughs> The gaslighting continues. Yeah, you motherfucker. No, it was it was actually going to be called Lil Folks. And Lil the meme folks? Yeah, the the meme, yeah, it's the fucking just as bad. But the the meme was that Lamango said they were called Lil Fellas. It, it was originally going to be called Lil Fellas, and I said mm-hmm. that's fucking dumb. Shut up. And then he he linked me um this like some proof, but it was actually it said Lil Folks. Oh. And I was like you you're proving that it was not what you said. But anyway, look. This fucking thing actually, like, re- surprisingly coherently put Doom Guy and Isabel next to each other. I My theory 
is that it fucking found all that art that people all that art that people made of Isabel and Doom Guy because the fucking the two games released on the same day. Right. Like that no, was definitely. what it used as like a primary fucking like metadata, right? Definitely. All the all the, no, all the fan, art. fan art. Yeah. Right. It had yeah. to have been fan art. Like I'll bet that th this um, pose with Doom Guy and Isabel, like I'll bet that that exists. It must, right? Because uh, again, remember this AI is entirely derivative. Like anything, well, the, the AI is might be based on other uh, AI, but what it creates is always derivative. I like the flesh pile all the way on the right. Oh, someone's saying they've seen this specific piece. Do you yeah. new, new yeah. piece slowly? Do you think you could like DM it to me or something? I would um, love. I would love I to. to I'm gonna to compare see it. it. Yeah, I want to compare it definitely. Anyone who has it, like, I know you can't link it in chat, but like DM it to Mike or me. Sorry, I'm telling people to DM you. Just or DM just, me. Yeah, just or just get a moderator to permit the link. Yeah. Um, yeah. Isn't the metadata older than that? So what you're saying, it's not using metadata from the past four years, Tita? The data recorded for this AI was at least four years old, apparently. Really? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Um. Yeah, that's that's a. Huh. Okay. Oh, I'm looking at I'm looking at chat. Yeah, me too. I like they... need to know. Yeah, if you find that art, someone said, "Oh, the the AI saw all the R34 of Doom Guy and Isabel, and that's why they get the AI yeah. gave her a pregnancy test." It could keep learning. Yeah, it's they gave her a chainsaw. All right. Well, while they're looking for that, I'm gonna because move on. Look, it has to be because like the whole Isabel having a chainsaw, like having the Doom Guy chainsaw, is absolutely something that came out in the fan art. It's too specific. I feel like I remember seeing that. Isabel with a chainsaw. Too specific. Yeah, it has the USPS logo on it. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I don't know why. Um. So you remember how earlier I was telling you that one of the cool things to do, are uh, with this with 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 this uh, this Bogan uh, generator, right? Is to actually put in the names of artists. Yeah. Okay, so I got a couple of those here. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to start with this one. Um, I regretted this as soon as I did it. And, um, Fred. Yeah. yeah. I did Georgia O'Keefe roast beef. Oh, Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Now, interestingly enough, the funny thing is, it's not that bad. It, It's worse than... I thought I fucked up real bad initially, but actually, it sounds worse than it is. It sounds worse than it is, all right? You see it? Yep. Okay. That's... Um, oh my god. Mike. Yeah. I know what happened, but go ahead now, wait, and show wait. everyone. Do, do, do you think like that's okay? Because I'm not really... I think it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I just want... Okay. No, it's totally fine. Alright, what, what do you think happened here? I think that it went... It, it went from roast beef straight to roast beef sandwiches. Yeah, why? Because of the bread. It's well, bread. I see like, like it's roast I, beef and bread. I see like two biscuits. Like it's a, it's like one of those sh fucking shitty sandwiches where it's got like like a fucking mountain of roast beef between like two tiny little like barely fucking holding it together pieces of bread. 
th th that's kind of the weird thing about this is it took r the concept of roast beef sandwiches and just exploded it. Like it took the ingredients and just splayed them all over. But so it's just the roast beef and then bread. Where? And I guess mayonnaise. Where do you where do you see the Georgia O'Keefe influence? Um, well, you, you got kind of the the be the, the roasty beef. Those little those little fellas hanging Roast, out. Roasted or? roasted yeah. beef. <laughs> those little fellas. <laughs> it's a it's a little roast beefy, yeah. Like, what are all these like loose vaginas that are like just pile in piles everywhere? It's. <laughs> Yeah, you kind of got some uh, vagina bread. Yeah, they're like, I don't know, waxy, like, m meat vaginas? Like, what, clams? They're clams. Are they? It what? looks like what coffee does clams beans. Have to do what does clams have to do with <laughs> roast beef? I don't know. I don't know, but this was Georgia O'Keefe roast beef. And it rhymes, too. It's really catchy. I was Roast thinking that they looked that they, I was also thinking they look like fortune cookies too, yeah. But I think they might be vaginas. Um But yeah, I thought that that would be uh an interesting one. Um I also like that I don't know, the neon color that's coming out of the sandwich. Ne oh yeah, it is kind of getting neon. I think that's uh the Georgia O'Keefe that's the O'Keefe Queef right there. Yeah, yeah, the 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 Georgia O Beef, the Queef Beef, the Beef Queef Queef Okay, Beef Queef Okay, Beef Queef Okay. That deserves a fucking standing ovation. What I just said. I you can have it. All right, Queen of Waffles wants to know what the white stuff is. That's uh all over the place. You see that you see the the um the white stuff po that's pooling in in certain places. Yep, no, I I see it, I see it. Who doesn't enjoy a little bit of milk, like cold, fre refreshing boat milk with their roast beef roast a queef sandwich? Of, yeah, just a splash of milk on your roast beef sandwich. What I like to do is I like to take the sandwich and dunk it in the milk. Stop. And just eat that like that, you know. Yeah, be like, because like, the juices from the roast beef are not already going to make it soggy and fall apart. You it's got, like all jus. Get milk there first. Yeah. Like you ever have all jus with with a roast beef sandwich? Of course, that's how you're supposed to have it, practically. Yeah, it's uh, except milk, right? Um. Take a look at this. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Okay, so you've got. Oh, this is like near automata, <laughs> in like a McDonald's or something. Because I'm seeing uh, a soda fountain on the right, um, and the architecture and the characters makes me think near. But then, like, is it like near automata? Like the characters from near automata in a McDonald's? All right, well, let me help you out with this. I have never played that game, and that game was not... I don't know anything about it, and that was not in the prompt. Okay. Uh... Okay. Like, goths in a McDonald's? Goths! Very close. The word goth is in there that's because... Ve that's very close. That's very close. People, like, you have goths... And also gothic architecture. All right, so now um, you're getting real warm. Now you get real yeah, warm. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so goths in like a restaurant, like a modern restaurant. You're actually getting colder. Colder. Uh, not an arcade. I swear. No, you were there already. You were the there. Right. You were. You were already there. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Like what? Goths in a McDonald's. Here's the prompt. Goth, goth McDonald's. Yeah, well, here's the prompt. Gothic McPlayplace. Okay. 
Wow, I was close. You were very close. You did great. Asparagus P, thank you for six months. Again, I'm going to call out all the subs at the end of the stream. I thought it would be cool to see a gothic McPlay place. <laughs> it said like usually, gothic architecture play place. It, well, that was what I wanted. I wanted to see, I wanted to see that. You know, I because I've been playing Blasphemous a lot. and I, Have you played that fucking game? Which one? Blasphemous. Mm -mm. Um, I know which one you're talking. I think I know what you're talking about. It's the 2D side scroller, right? It's it's a metro, yeah, 2D like pixel art Metroidvania, Metroidvania yeah. with with, with no, gorgeous I, I fucking pi pi pixel art, and it's got like you know a lot of like yeah gothic looking uh, fucking like architecture in it and shit. And I was like, what if that? But it was a fucking McPlay place. Because usually mm. McPlay places are like very colorful. C colorful and, and you know um, appealing to children whereas the um, you know the gothic architecture is meant to be like imposing and um, I don't know I, I guess like inspiring a sense of awe but you know de definitely not colorful right unless you're talking right. about like unless they got like stained glass yeah yeah um, it's like splash of color I I think this one's fucking cool I think that the Fry Kids are going through a phase here. Maybe they're smoking mm -hmm. cloves and listening to The Cure. And uh, But they're living their best life. They're, they're living their they're best life. They're expressing themselves. Yeah. The, fr the Fry Kids. Are gr goth Grimace with a fat ass. <laughs> and fat titties. Gothic McPlay Place. I like this one. <clears throat> here, uh, um, can you cover for me? I'll be right back. Nope. Okay. Bye. Hope you're right back. Big Nuggy got the GF. What was that meme that was going on a couple of years ago with Grimace? Uh, Grimace talking about... <sighs> fuck. Something about Grimace with a fat S. Craving... Are you, you're craving my McNuggies. That's exactly... Yes, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, that one was fucked. Where did that come from? Wh why did that exist? And when Grimace says craving my McNuggies, what exactly is he is is he referencing? What is he talking about? What are Grimace's McNuggies? His balls? His ass? Okay, but if you want to say if you want to describe it like like a dumpy as McNuggies, that is bizarre to me. Okay, like nuggets are like something small and compact. Like it's, you know, it, it, you have multiple nuggets, right? A fucking ass is like it's just a one big dumpy, you know? A McDumpy with cheese. A McDumpy Royale with cheese. He meant his tits. That makes more sense that it was his. It was his tits. I I think it's his balls. I think he's enticing you. He's saying that you crave his balls. Because calling his ass his McNuggies does that doesn't check out for me. It doesn't make sense. Because you know Grimace said this, and this all has like a, a, a basis in fucking reality in any way, shape, and form, right? The McNugget is a faux chicken leg, so he's absolutely talking about his ass. I think it's his balls. I think that makes the most sense. Uh, I got some DMs from people here. Lugnudo sent me a video of a banana. I don't... Okay. And uh, Unknown is sending me pictures of his Isaac run. Okay, I will admit, this is kind of cool. How many one makes you smaller pills did you take? Like, like how many do you have to take to get here? Like, I feel like if you have inner child, and maybe like, what is it, Pluto? Like, one of the, uh... uh 
planetarium item is makes you small too. A horse pill? One makes you smaller horse pill? <laughs> A horse pill? <laughs> oh, that sounds great. Um, I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, Fred, let me ask you a question. Okay. When you go to Burger King, do you expect to find foot fungus in your oh. lettuce? Stop. Well, do you? I... Yeah. Well, that might be exactly what you get. That might be what you get. <laughs> Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. Oh this was, my god. They're, this was like, made by... Mm -hmm. The toenail is sandwich meat. It's bacon? The toenail is bacon? This one this. was made by Curry Murmurs. It says Burger King foot lettuce in the style of Egon Shield. I don't know who that is. I am assuming it's, it's an artist, yeah. But it made a fucking foot out of lettuce. How awesome is that? Hey, see? That might be what you get. I know this artist. And yeah. we're, like, it's the color palette. The, the background color palette is what is like where that influence comes in and like the shape of things in the background. But then you just have a lettuce foot right <laughs> yep. in the center. Like if you remove the lettuce foot, it would look like Egon Shield. But it's there. It's just here. This looks like an advertisement for like a foot fetish restaurant. <laughs> For how many this or your money back how many fucking like food regulatory laws would that break like i have what is it um health department how many health department laws would that fucking break a foot fetish restaurant depends on how many politicians you can bribe i mean lobby i'm looking at his art wow he draws a lot of penis huh this guy pee pee Oh, I'm looking at a piece of art that's like two people fucking. And he drew one that's just like a penis. Like it's a dude with his penis out. Like he's just got a penis. He's one of those people that would really piss off Dennis Prager. There are so many penises in this guy's art. What the fuck? Why did this guy draw this this guy like almost exclusively drew cock? Wow, that's a lot of penis. What the fuck? Man, this is almost like it's like I googled Mr. Mint. What the fuck? Yeah. How am I seeing this much penis right now? Holy shit. Mike, why do I not believe you? You could google it yourself. Anyway, Burger Gang foot lettuce. The lettuce looks so crunchy and fresh. I... What? No. No, it doesn't. At the top, it does. Then it starts to wilt a little bit. It's not wilting. It's just got some ketchup on it, you know? Some, I, I oh, guess. Wait, yeah. what was it? Ca ca caps chup? It's got caps chup on it. <laughs> I, I forget precisely what it was. Damn it. It's so fucked that that toe, it, toenail is bacon. Is bacon. I, I cannot fucking believe that. Yeah, that's really... That's fucking me up, too. Ketchup. Like, I'm not okay. Look at the... uh, Like, th there's another foot, like, floating above the primary foot. Kind of? There there are a lot of feet and ankles. Like, that. that's what all of these are. <laughs> is, like, in the background, it's all feet and ankles. There's a calf. Burger King fucking foot lettuce. All right. Um. So remember before we were looking at um Bosch, Sonic the Hedgehog in the style of Bosch. Yes. Boschnik the Hedgehog. All right. Gold so I I got oh I sent you the wrong fucking fuck I sent I sent it to the wrong person here I'm sending it to you. 
Um, so I put Ironim as Bosch, and then I put uh, an IP after it. I want you to see if you can guess what that IP is. Hmm. Why do you have the flag of Poland again? Uh, an IP. I'm, I'm not going to look at chat. I'm going to close chat. Good, good uh, call. Good call. Mike? Mm-hmm. Is this Hieronymus Bosch among us? No. Okay. Why, uh, you see a little Amogus fella? I see a couple of potential Amoguses. Uh, of course you see S's in Sanity Pie. This is an Hieronymus Bosch. It's Hieronymus Bosch, so of course. Yeah, there's going to be I'm, S's. I, the first thing I think of is Resident Evil, because I'm seeing, like, the six that could potentially be, like, the giraffe getting a blowjob. <laughs> but I, that's not my final answer. All right, I'll um, give you another minute. Take your time. There's that blue in the middle, and I, I feel like there's a shape in the middle there that that is going. Like there's some something in that that will give it away. I think so. I think so. Yeah. I agree. Uh. You talking about the red and white thing there? Yeah, the red and the white. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and then like the the blue bit to the right. Uh. Chat totally. Chat chat's had it since almost the moment I put it on the screen. Really? Yeah. I have no idea. I, I'm, Name I that Pokemon. It's Pikachu. Oh my god. I did Aronimus Bosch really? po Pokemon. Because remember when we were looking at the Garden of Earthy Delights and we were looking at all those little fucking fellas? I, I can't stop saying that now. <laughs> Those little fellas, like, crawling around, all the, the little yeah. animals and shit, and we were like, holy yeah. fuck, this guy invented Pokemon before yeah, Pokemon? Yeah, Bashamon. Bashamon? Remember Bashamon? Yeah, but, like, apparently there's just, like, what, like, apparently one of the Bashamon is just, like, a Hasidic Jew. Oh, that... on the right there. <laughs> it is! Like, that's what it is. the AI thinks. Well, he's uh, one of the... Pokemon in the style of Hieronymus, ba Hieronymus Bosch is. Just he's one of the... Tra he, he's a trainer. Pokemon. No, he's not a trainer. I, yeah, he's a trainer. One, it was just one of the Pokemon. It's just... Like, all the Pokemon are just, like, really wild and crazy, and one of them is just an old... A Jewish, Jewish guy? Man. An old Jewish yeah. guy? Like a rabbi. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just, just inexplicably... And you, it's it's like, oh, I found the wild Rabbi Feldman. Rabbi Feldman. Rabbi Feldman. <laughs> Rabbi Feldman. No, he, no he, he doesn't even say his name. He's just like, so what's up? Rabbi, Rabbi Feldman, I choose you. Rabbi Feldman. Rabbi Feldman. Boy, no, they. He doesn't say, no, he doesn't say his name. It's just a guy that you can catch. Does he just speak, like, he just, he speaks human language? Like, Yeah, he doesn't even have, like, a really strong accent. He's just uh. a Jewish guy. Um, and like, like he's just like, hey, what's up? It's like, he, like Rabbi Feldman, I choose you, and you throw the Pokeball. He comes out. It's like, hey, what do you need me to do? Just very polite and the guy and uh, uh, at the top. I see like more meat, and it's got like I don't know, it's legs crossed or something. There's something fleshy happening up there, and it's not necessarily Pokemon related. Yeah, um, it's like a, a lump of flesh with a witch's hat. With a buckle on? You see the buckle? Yes. Or it's like a, a pilgrim's hat. A pilgrim. Could this thing right here be like Mew related? Hmm. Or like, how about this thing? Obviously, I, I, Pikachu this, is here. Oh yeah, there, there's Pikachu. I like yeah. the problem. The thing that makes it difficult is that the color palette was clearly taken from entirely from Bosch. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like there is not a single like there may be a couple of colors. Like you have the the splash of yellow and the splash of red. At like from the Pokeball. And then, then there's like Gunkachu. It's like Dunkachu on the bottom. <laughs> it really looks like the Fuckachino I sent you. Did did I, I sent you Fuckachino, right? Uh, it refresh my memory. What's Fuckachino, um, Fred? So, so somebody um, put <laughs> Dunkachino. So someone put Dunkachino through like the Joel Haver style of animation, and okay. I, I took a fr I took a frame from it. Um, and I really like it. Can can it show me Fuckachino? I, I I sent it to you in Discord. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, yeah, fuck I, I you yeah, fuck yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember seeing this. I think I we watched this. Um, I think that maybe this is a a, a Voltorb or or Electrode. It's just a Pokemon. No, but because like think about the show, right? You have that six that that black on the front. I think is supposed to be like the button, the button, the button on the front. And the reason it's kind of swooshy like that is it's a Pokeball being thrown. It has the blur effect. Okay. I think that's why. Uh, and then that blue swoop to the right is mm -hmm. um, part of the logo. Like, this is the logo for Pokemon that it's taken from. You think so? I was yeah. struggling with that blue. I can't figure out, like, is that a Pokemon? Like, what is that? I thought, too. Yeah, I, I thought it kind of looked like a parrot, because the black spot is the eye. Would be the and eye. And the Pokeball is the beak. And then it's kind of, like, got an ear going on on the right. Yeah, this thing's fucked, whatever this is. Mm -hmm. Um, And then, just God, the Pikachu is just... I love it. It's got, it's got like, the spindly legs. It's, like, it's flat. It's... It's just a flat surface with legs sticking out at the bottom. It's almost like that... Hey, you like the Pokemon guy! What was that for Mobility yeah, Mary? It's the man what? who does the Pokemon thing! The man, the man <laughs> who does the Pokemon thing! <laughs> it's like a this fucking... This Randy in Sheffield, England. The, the, a guy in like a really shitty bootleg Pokemon costume? Yeah. The on Mimikyu, uh huh. On Mimikyu. So you know who turned out to be very fun to fuck with as an artist? Hmm. Geiger. Yeah. This Geiger. Is Pokemon. Ge Pokemon Geiger. Right? How did How did you know that? Just it's obvious. How is it obvious? It's weird, colorful creatures with Geiger tubes. This was one of the first ones I made when I started doing this. I th I feel like there's a a Bulbasaur in here, maybe. And look at this little fella. This is like the face hugger, right. like the pre the pre evolution. Vaporeon was made for sex. Oh, it is Vaporeon. I don't know how it's Vaporeon though. How? I think it's the. Face. I can't figure I out what the, the what the fuck it is, honestly. Vaporeon was made for face hugging. It is Vaporeon. How is it Vaporeon? I I it's ineffable. It's infuckable? In uh, Also the meat that bulge that, cluster? That creature okay. in the center just <laughs> like it, it's just got a clit on the side of it. <laughs> That's what they're talking about. Clits out for Harambe. It's kind of got a xenomorph head, like you could see the um, like the, the long like like penisy head, right? Yeah, that's the guy. Like um, it, it 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 resembles a xenomorph. I saw that artist uh, R J Palmer. Uh, you know who he is, right? He does all like the realistic Pokemon and shit. He's really really yes. talented. Uh, he did something awesome on 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 Twitter. He said, you ever think how Xenomorphs would be great Pokemon? This is what he, he just did this. I thought this was so fucking cool. Oh my god. I, lo I love this guy. Ability innards out. RJ Palmer. That is actually uh, awesome. Isn't that? I it, thought this was like, so it's got, cool. It's got the Mewtwo feel to it. Yes. Look, like, look, the, the Xenomorph, the, the fits right in. 
He fits right in. It reminds me of like um It's like Garchomp combined with yeah. Mewtwo. Yeah. And I'm I was I'm thinking that um that like guitar Pokemon from Sword Shield, the pur purple and yellow asshole. I'm I'm my knowledge of new Pokemon beyond Gen dude, three is extremely limited. Dude, look at look at the chest burster description. Like look at the line of the the dialogue Rude for dinner guest Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Unwanted kiss Pokemon. Big chap Pokemon. <laughs> He's a big chap. Big chap. Dude, he even made a um hold on. He even made a G Max version of the Xenomorph. Oh dear. That's the oh, queen that's, that's the, oh, it's the, the queen, Xenomorph yeah. Queen, yeah, the Xenomorph Queen. So it's like he likes to do realistic Pokemon, like really. In, in fact, I think this guy was like consulted for the um, for the Detective Pikachu movie, right? Right. Um, that was my he likes to do um realistic Pokemon, but then he'll take shit that's like hyper realistic and make it a cartoon too. Like he does, he fucking does both. Good. That's it does, like I appreciate that. I love this guy. Yeah, it says uh, Colony Purge, he put. That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, I recommend following this guy on Twitter. He's always got fucking fantastic art. Um, but yeah, you, you, you nailed this instantly, HR Geiger Pokemon. Did you say that because we already, like, we're, we had just looked at a, at a Pokemon one? I think, like, it, it helped that we had already looked at a Pokemon one, but I think I would have landed on it either way. It just would have taken me a little bit longer. Uh, people are... Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Vinny Septic Eyes become our background. Here, I linked his uh, Twitter account in the chat. Um, yeah, Vinny Septic Eye. It, it had to have happened exactly the way that you said. It, 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 it searched Redbox, and then it found Vinny, and then it was like, Streamer, Jack Septic Eye. That was the right. fucking sequence of events. It has to have been, right? And it was like, here, we're going to give it Jacksepticeye hair because fuck you. Because that is definitely Jacksepticeye. Okay. Um, so I did another one with HR Geiger. Now, I showed you this one because I was so giddy about this one. Um, this is one of my favorites that I've, that I've made. I think this one's fucking fantastic. I kind of wish... Let's... You know what the prompt is. Let's see if chat can figure out what the prompt is. Okay. I don't. I don't think it's going to be that hard, though. It's a little, a little bit deceptive. <laughs> I'm keeping. I'm keeping my mouth shut. Yeah, keep your mouth shut for this one. I. I appreciate that. Like, okay, you know what? No, no, I'm quiet. Quiet. All right, so Mario Kart Geiger. I love that the cart is Geiger-ish. Like it took the shape of a cart, right? right? But none of the functionality. R right. Well, how do you know that? I mean, I guess you're right. I don't know. That thing could be a fucking beast. That thing could have like a fucking 400 horsepower. Is that a lot? I don't know. But look it at it. Guessed. It's got wheels. Maybe it's got a wheel in the front that you can't see. Maybe that thing is a fucking like off-road like monster. You know? Like maybe that thing rules. Samir, you're breaking the car. Listen. It looks like a saxophone. Now here's the fucked up part. The prompt was HR Geiger Super Mario. I did not put Mario Kart. This thing, again, probably like Vinny Septicai. It probably figured, like, okay, M Super Mario, Mario Kart, I'm going to make a fucking car out of Geiger meat. Yep. That, that and, is, like, that, I think we, we keep finding evidence that it goes a little bit deeper with the metadata. And, and placed Mario's disembodied head floating eerily above the vehicle as if it is driving it somehow. Luigi, I have Terminal Geiger. 
<laughs> I know it's Giger. I was just going along with Mike. Do you think shot. it's hmm. that like this is how you you like this is the future of 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 carding? Like this is how you pilot the carts? Like the fucking disembodied head gets placed above the car and it just floats there and you fucking control the cart telepathically? This is this is like a scorn spin-off game. <laughs> scorn cart. Scorn cart, dude. Mario Kart 40k, somebody said. I love that it gave the car an eye. Not only did it give yeah. it an eye, but it gave it teeth. Yeah, it's... It gave it truck nuts? Look, it's got truck nuts back got... there. <laughs> it's, um... Oh, the bit on the back reminds me of something really weird. Um, it's a, it's an alternate concept art for um, Darth Vader that someone made, and like it's you know it, obviously this was just way way after. It's just a, a concept artist doing his own take on it. We should look through those sometime. Uh, I'll, I'll just show you the one that the back of the cart reminds me of. I think uh, um, Darth one. Vader's design is like shit. Like I think I think he's I think he's shit. I don't I don't really? think yeah I don't, I don't I don't like him. I think it worked really well. I think he looks like shit. Yeah, he's shit. Yeah, he's shit. Yeah. I think I think you're just pissing off chat. Yep. I yeah. exclu <laughs> I exclusively fucking say things now to just piss people. You you know what what happened um My new favorite thing now is when people like I'll just I'll just say something like I'll make like a blanket statement. And then when people try to like, you know, correct it or, or, or narrow it down or, or like um you know, whatever. Just like kinda tell them that they're being like well actually, you know? Right. <laughs> And then like just act like to yeah. Get that response. Yeah, yeah. And then just act like they're the one who is be is, is is being like pedantic, you know? Right. This is like this is um. Oh, what what is it? Um, that there there's a term that this reminds me of. Um, like it's it's trolling, yes, but there's. Uh, jacking off, like J-A-Q, I'm just <laughs> asking questions, right? Like, if someone just is just asking questions, but they're very clearly trying to get a particular response or suggest something specific, mm -hmm. but they're just, but they, they uh, couch it in the rhetoric of, I'm just asking questions, um, that, that is colloquial, colloquially called jacking off, J-A-Q, also called sea lioning. Sea yeah. lioning, I was about to ask you, it's also called sea lioning, I I was going to say ottering, actually, because I forgot what it was actually called. Ottering. It's called ottering. Um, so this is the art that Fred was talking about. It's an alternate take on Darth Vader. You just have the bulgy bit in the back. It reminded me of the sack. But yeah, there, this artist, uh, which I would, hi I would highly recommend. Uh, oh, he's got gamer fingers. Uh, oh, boy. Um, how do I even pronounce the name? It's Chenthuran Nambio... Nambiaruran. Indian? What a name. I don't know. Uh, no, he's from London. Um, is that his actual real name? Um, it's What's awesome. Up with the, the meat sacks that he's got. He's got a lot of meat sacks. You know I'm into that. He's also got, like, tits. Love the That's meat. cool. I love the creepy meat. Creepy meat for days. He's got uh, a fucking colostomy bag. I'll, I'll link to all of them. I don't. I don't want to do like the whole thing. That feels like it'd be a bad taste. If I link this, yes. Okay, it keeps. Yeah. So th th that's a link to all of the like alternate concepts for Darth Vader that this guy made. Like they're Darth Vader redesigns. This uh, is one of my favorite images that I generated. Uh, I just. I don't know. I just love it. I just love. Yeah. Like I don't know. Alt alternate like Geiger Mario Kart. Right. Like this, look, I, it's Mario Kart music. Holy fuck, that's creepy. But what if knew. I, 
Like, I kind of want to put Mario Kart in there. Like, some, like, Geiger Mario Kart and see how different the result would be. Mm. Yeah, there's also, like, what a big he... dick in the back, somebody said. In the spirit of Geiger, there's, like, a, a, a penis up in the back there. I was actually going to say that, but I was yeah. worried it would give it away. But even though it's obvious. I just, I love the car. It, it's kind of like, it, it's an organic vehicle, which, you know, Kerchow. I love organic vehicles. There's actually a, a creature, the uh, Hell Pit Abomination in uh, Total Warhammer 2, where it's the thing very obviously cannot like move on its own. So they just stuck a big wheel on the back of it, but the wheel goes into its body. Like, like into his ass crack? It's so uncomfortable. Like it's um, in I'll his ass crack. Time. Let me see if I can. Skaven, yes, yes. Um, yeah, but, like sort of into the booty yeah let me see a picture of this booty bad boy let me see if i can hold on i like how oh, chrome and like shiny and like polished it is like look how look it's like buffed and waxed it's fucking beautiful i i i love this image so much i'm so happy with this one there we go what is that a fucking t-rex yeah, on the right, it's a Carnosaur, but yes, it's a T-Rex. Here we go. Um, this is kind of what I was looking for. Oh, so there's a wheel Better like up, it. like up in his penis, basically. Uh, yeah, uh, up in his gooch. Oh, fuck. No, that doesn't look too comfy. No, I, I imagine that it is. I imagine that its very existence is not terribly comfy. He's you like a, a giant. Look at it. He's like a giant peed creature. He, um, yeah, though the, he like his animations are so good. Like, I I I absolutely love Total Warhammer. Um, it's it's, a, so it's a, ska a Skaven thing though. This this, yeah. this creature, yeah. Yes, yes, it is a Clan Molder creation. Clan Molder screws around a lot with like creating things. So like the rat ogres are from Clan Molder. Okay, his dick is a wheel. Yeah. Yeah, and it and it. It turns like the thing cannot actually walk without it. That looks so painful and disturbing. Like, like that's just it. What about like how does he poop? How does he poop? I don't think it does. It doesn't poop. But I don't know. Everybody poops. I don't know. It, it batched. Yeah. Exactly. It batched while it was in no, the while it was being created. That's part of the creation <laughs> process. He comes pre-batched. I've got um I got another image for you. You ready? I'm ready. Uh mm. So spacesuits. Yeah, you think? Obviously. Okay. Um, it's like it looks '80s sort of. Is but it also has a Muppet feel to it. It's like Muppets in space almost. I don't want you to look at chat because they all they instantly fucking figured it out again. Yeah, I'm think I'm I'm not looking at chat. I'm just looking at the image. Uh. Shit. I feel like it should be immediately obvious, but I'm just not getting it. It's so like spacesuits, obviously. Mm -hmm. Muppets, you, you said? Muppets? Yeah, I said Muppets. It feels like the Muppets. Okay. I put as the prompt. Luca Doodle says they look like fursuit astronauts. That was the first thing that I thought when yeah. you sent it to me. Yeah. It, it looked like fursuiters standing mm. and looking at the camera. Mm. Why not go with that instinct? I don't know. I think I just got too caught up in everything else. Like the Muppets. The prompt was intergalactic furries. And it basically made the Star Fox crew. Yeah. <laughs> it did. It basically oh, made the Star Fox characters. You're right. Yeah, you have, it like, basically made Star Fox characters. Yeah, you have yeah. like a bunch of weird animals, and then in the top <laughs> yeah. left, you just have Jack, like the human. 
Yeah. Well, no, you, look, you he's see got him up there. No, he's got an ear, dude. He's got a. He's in a fursuit, suit too. Maybe a lazy fursuit. suit. No, but he got just, one. Like, he's just like got a hood. I'd like to imagine all the others are anthropomorphic animals. Oh. But then there's just like right. Dave. And like, he's no, in the first suit. Dave. Yeah, D Dave yeah. is like the human. I, I can totally imagine like he's like this is an animated show and all of them are cartoonish and he's just like a real dude there. And they're all just like, We you know, we need to like we need to get in our ships. And Dave is just like, Oh yeah, cool, I'll be here. Furries in space, the final frontier. What do you think? Do you support sending furries to space? Hmm. Would have been cool if Laika came back as like an anthropomorphic animal. Who's that? Laika, the 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 space dog. Laika the, the... Dees oh. nuts. Yeah. Frank, no. <laughs> Yeah. You like these nuts? You like these nuts in your mouth, huh? You like these nuts? Oh, you like these nuts? Okay, you can put them in your mouth a little while if you want, okay? Go ahead, put the nuts in your mouth. Molte grazie, mamma mia. Is this what you hear before you start seeing a, like, super, mo like, super Geiger cart? <laughs> super <I> <laughs> Uh, yeah, he was the dog that the uh, the uh, Soviets sent to space, right? Right. Like uh, li yeah. like uh, yeah, like Laika was yeah. the space dog. Also, there is a song from a rhythm, a Japanese rhythm game about Laika, and it's it's very sad. It's um, very cute, but like also very sad. And I'm sure there are going to be a couple of people in chat who know exactly what I'm talking about and are going to start crying. Wispone's nose, yes. There's something so, like, like, it's such a sweet song, but it's so sad. See, yeah, people know. The people know. The people know what, like, that I'm talking about. Like, the people who have heard it. Hmm. It's, so it's, uh, uh what's the rhythm game? I don't even remember. Uh, let me look it up. Hold on. Uh... For the record, the Soviets sent up a dozen dogs, and they pretty much all lived, somebody said. Lived? Yeah. Really? It could be a lie. I mean, it's chat. It's a random person in chat. It's it's from the game Uchu Ryoko, or Ryo Ryoko. Oh, right. there's, there's no English version of this game. I don't. No, I don't think so. I think this was a purely uh, Japanese game. Oh, so you read the lyrics. You didn't... No, the, the to... lyrics are in English, just oh. not very good English. Oh. I, for one, support sending all the furries to space, along with Jeff Bezos. You know, he could have went whole, up there. What's that whole skit where it's like, um, like the pedophile was shot into space, but then like... But then a child had, like, was accidentally sent up with him. I have no there idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. Hold, up, hold on a second. Mike, you're not getting a complimentary fursona from me anymore. It, Frank, it, they're it, Frank, they're posting monkeys. Whatever you're doing, shut it down. No, it, it's from uh, Brass Eye. Have you they're, ever heard of Have you ever heard of the show Brass Eye? They're posting monkeys. I what, the, no the monkeys. No, Ma Monka means stop. Whatever yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, there's the quote, this is the one thing we didn't want to happen. <laughs> it's so funny. No, right, these so are the what... same people that did P uh, uh, foreign correspondent Peter Ohanrahanrahan. It's a YouTube channel? No, Brass Eye is an old British comedy. Oh, I don't know anything about this. It's hilarious. No, it's it's so good. I'll, I'll have to show you sometime because I don't want, you know, the, I, I don't want this Twitch stream to turn into a YouTube fest. Yeah, the the, it's the a really uh, funny sketch comedy show. The sweat frog. Yeah, whenever I see the sweat frog, I know it's you gotta you, whatever what, whatever I'm talking about. I have to change the topic. That, yeah, just as soon as you see it. Oh yeah, frog. I don't I don't. A sweat frog. Uh the furries in space. It's basically Star Fox. I had. 
tried another artist, another famous artist. Uh, I think you're going to get who it is pretty quickly, but I don't know Okay. if you're going to get the full prompt. Chat? Uh, Splatoon. Yeah? In the style of Jackson Pollock? That's exactly it, baby! <laughs> I thought it, I thought I was being clever, right? Because this is a guy who, like, basically played Splatoon on his fucking R right, canvas. Right. <laughs> uh, so the prompt was Jackson Pollock Splatoon. Um, and you could see it's got a little, um, I, I feel like, I don't know, like, maybe I made it too easy for, for the fucking, uh, the algorithm. Maybe. The thing is, it doesn't even really look like a Jackson Pollock, does it? Like, I, I just no. kind of guessed because of the splatter, but it looks more like watercolor, like... Yeah! Like, I, I just kind of, like, I was hazarding a guess there, um... But it really doesn't look like Jackson Pollock is the weird thing. Yeah, I mean, maybe it was like just Splatoon. I, it's the Splatoon colors. That's I think that's part of what makes it weird. But also, like, the pattern doesn't feel like Jackson Pollock. Like, he was supposed to, or the, he, it was supposed to kind of, like, Pollock, it was like splats, but I don't know how to fucking explain this. It was neater and more deliberate than this. I know that it wasn't deliberate in that sense, but it was like a different kind of paint. Like you said, this looks like watercolors. That guy did not use watercolors. For not one thing. The, didn't he most... Like, I, I can't say definitively that he never used watercolors, because I imagine that he must But have most of the paintings once, that but... you... The, 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 because people... With, with this guy, like, who fucking knows a specific painting? Like, I... I I don't know any of his actual fucking paintings. I've seen a bunch of them, and I know more or less what they look like. He just kind of, like, flung paint at a fucking canvas, right? Um, it was more deliberate than that, but generally, yeah. He was famous for using house paints. The point is, this, the, yeah, this does, you're, you're correct. This does not ape the aesthetic of a Jackson Pollock painting. Right. I don't know why I went for Pollock. Um, I don't know, but you did. I did, and I was right. I'm I'm starting to think like an AI. The the takeover has already begun. My mic is crumbly. Is there a problem with my microphone, guys? You're sounding okay to me. Aiification. Oh. Splat Tim. He does it. And you can see there's like an inkling's hand holding a gun on the right. Yeah, like the, the, like the gun. I saw the gun. The gun was what get and the foot. You have the, yeah, the foot, foot there. The foot. <laughs> the foot. <laughs> I like that of all of all of the parts of the character to stick in there, it shows the gun and the foot. This is like carnage though. Like, this is a fucking... Like, he got truly splatted. Like, right, this is so fucking splat, like, like fog he's of war. Coming, yeah, he's coming home. Like, th this this poor inkling is coming home from the war, missing a limb. <laughs> and then well, like, he where's comes home fucking... talking, talking to his wife. Translation, war is hell. Like, where's his fucking torso, right? Now, it's the gun. He has become the gun. This was the one during the period where I could not get the... I wasn't able to get the, the, the website to work. Mm -hmm. um, so I had Wispbones doing it for me. They're telling me... Now, I did. I took two images from you, Wispbones. This was the, f for the first one. But they let it continue generating after this. What? Here's Split Jackson Pollock Splatoon Part 2. But why did it turn into a 90s commercial? I don't know, but look at his real 
ass fucking hair. Real ass hair, and then you have like the chin to the right. What's going? And then why is there like meat <laughs> spaghetti coming out of the bottom? Of, like it looks like a, a a head that was ripped off, and now they're like bits. It looks like um bottom. somebody's making a sausage, right? Like it's like a meat grinder. Yeah, that, that's what I'm seeing. It's why does it have a sweatband? What's go? But the, there's because a croc? There, there's there is in fact sweatbands in Splatoon. Like you can, it's a wearable item. I think right, it's like it's, but it's, it's like it's like realistic. I'm right, right, chat. Like there were exactly sweatbands. Like they existed in the game. He has a tentacle beard, like the guy from Pirates of the of the C Caribbean. <laughs> His foot became Davy like Jones. more refined in the in the right image, and some refined. kind of logo got 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 formed like on the right. You see that logo? Yeah. What? Oh, and then we have an Amogus in the top left. Oh God damn it! You're welcome. Jackson Pollock Splatoon. It seemed obvious. It seemed appropriate. God damn uh. it, Fred. <laughs> and there goes the chat. Yep, you done did it. You fucking goofed. The, the gun got, like, it, dumber, you, you too. Can, you can ridicule chat and tell them that, like, you you are predictable. Like, I can manipulate you completely, and they'll and it will change nothing. It's great. The chat is predictable? Yeah, I can make them say whatever I like. You can, to an extent. Yeah. God help us all if they ever gain sentience, Fred. No, the, the thing that makes it chat is that it's not sentient. It's entirely reactionary. It's like, you know, you know how when you put salt on, like on an on a octopus leg, <laughs> and it just starts moving around and it looks like it's alive. It's the same way. It's just responding to stimulus. Does it respond well to cock? I mean, let, let's let see. Take a look at this. I, I'm looking. Uh, it's like... Clown. Okay, so Clown is in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, clown Van Gogh? Yeah, you think? What if I told you it's not an art style this time? Really? It's not an artist or an art style or an art genre. Uh, okay. It's an, it, it's, it's, it's an aesthetic, perhaps. Perhaps. Okay, uh, hold on. Closing chat. Uh, it's clown. It's like, I'm, I'm thinking clown vomit. Clown... Ugh. All I can think is clown. Nobody in chat actually said the word, but they're all getting kind of close. A clown vomit, like... Clown jail? Clown jail? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm quiet. I'm, I'm trying to... Yeah, figure no, this out. No, 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 take your time. Take your time. Insane clown posse. The prompt was ready for this. I'm ready. Kafka esque clowns. Oh, that's why it has the like the dull drab colors. Kafka esque clowns. Fred, I don't even know what that word means, bud. Mm. I just went it for refers, it. It refers to Franz Kafka. I know. Uh, Jane Inferno says, I almost okay. guessed that. Why didn't you say it? Kafka Kafka wasn't an artist. He was a fucking... He was an author. He was a writer. He was a writer. He didn't... It's not... No. He didn't paint. He, not an artist. I not thought I was artist. dumb. Jane? You're not dumb. You're a fucking genius. 
Genius Jane. You're a genius. Got him. But I got him with a compliment. <clears throat> Hover Squid is asking, do you use multiple text prompts or just one sentence text prompt? I do like two words at a time, basically, for the most part. Maybe three, Lots maybe four. Um, that's me, anyway. There are vastly differing strategies to this. Um, I did, I did expect, because you know Kafka wrote about like dystopias and 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 you know bureauc bureaucratic yeah. like slog and stuff like that. So I knew it would be kind of brutalist if I put the word Kafkaesque. I wanted to juxtapose that with clowns. I thought that would be a cool juxtaposition. Like, have... It turned out, like, this is pretty cool. It is, right? Like, something really colorful with something really... fucking bland, you know? Or, yes. or, or, or um, drab. It looks... Yeah. Sorry. It lo yeah. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? Um, mm. It reminds me of Wire, the animation. Not familiar with that. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna have to link it to you so you can watch it later. You like this a one too, Theater? Theater? Worthy Kids is fantastic. Uh, here. It's great. Enjoy how, it. How long... Thank you. How long can you make the prompts? I, I think... He, Curry Murmurs has, has one here that's like fucking 50 words long. Like it's a fucking paragraph. Like you... you it's it's in, fucking seemingly infinite. I don't know. So I, I would also like to like remind you. It's like it's a cool style. Well, guess what? It's, it's aped from something else. So the artists out there exist. You have to find them. Well, whatever it was, like so, you, you're saying much like Doom Guy and Isabel kill, killing demons. You're saying that there is an a piece of art out there that looks very similar to this oh, that has artists. essentially been used as a template. Yeah, that's the idea, or like mashing them together, at the very least. I wonder what that reference art was. I wonder what that original original art was. I want to see. Right, shall we keep going? Sure. Uh, I want to see if I can guess more. Okay. I love this okay. one. Okay. I, I did so this one. Yeah. Immediately. I like it feels like Metropolis, like the old movie Metropolis. Okay. Um Kirby. So Kirby's in there, right in the middle. Okay. Uh the colors. So like Hmm. I'm gonna say like Kirby in um Kirby in New York City, maybe. Why New York City? Um, it's just the buildings. You have like yep. Manhattan what about, Tower what over and over. What about them? Like they look. Uh, like what? Ma what makes them? What makes you want to say New York and not Chicago, or something, or another uh, city? I don't know. Just something about it. Okay, there's also a part two. Okay. Like I, I let it keep going. It's not very different. No, but I wonder if there's anything more. That's probably visually confusing. Hold on. In Night City, you can be Kirby. But da 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 um. No, it's it's New York. Why? It's because the because the the buildings. There are specific buildings. Why did Mike sound insulted when Fred said it reminded him of New York? No, I'm not insulted. The The prompt was, Kirby eats Manhattan. Oh. I eats. said Manhattan Tower, I just didn't say. There's... Oh. Ugh. Uh. You mean like the Empire State Building? We don't call that Manhattan Tower. Or not Manhattan. What was I thinking of? I said Manhattan. Why did I say Manhattan? Why did I say Manhattan Tower? What is... 
wrong with me? Yeah, that doesn't Knight. exist. I also, no, I, I, I don't. Did he say Manhattan Tower, Chad? I, I feel did. like I didn't oh, hear him I say did. that. I did. I did. I don't know why. I, I feel like the more of these I look at, the more my brain breaks. Okay, I want to point out something very interesting about this one. First of all, Kirby's fucking pissed, and he's about to inhale the entirety of this island, right? Like, this is like Stay Puffed Marshmallow Kirby, like on a fucking apocalyptic rampage. Like, this is Kaiju Kirby. This is, this is what I was going for. I expected see, like, to see him sucking, but he's not sucking, but he does look pissed. Just... If you look in the left the image... Now, I showed you the left image first. Yeah. And you got New... You said New York. I said New and, York. And, and yeah. I'm like, how did this motherfucker come to that conclusion? Right. I don't know. There's something um, about the skyline. Something that the AI found. Now, in the in the second image, it's absolutely got like if you look behind Kirby, like that, it's got a little bit of that. I don't know, like gothic, like art art deco type of fucking thing. That that a lot of New York City, like especially like from the from the 30s and 40s, like skyscrapers have. Yeah. Um, and then. In the right image, and I don't know what the fuck it is, it's like a cape Kirby is wearing or something. Right. And then... Well, it's like Meta Knight. I think it got it from Meta Knight. It got it from Meta Knight, but it turned it into like an Art Deco cape. Now, if you look on the right, there's a little... That building directly above Kirby became more like the Empire State Building, and so did this one. Yeah. That's to the right. Like, the one on the right got like fucking 30 stories taller the longer I let it go. But Kirby's face also started to melt. Like I don't know. Like I thought he looked angrier on, in the in the left one. Uh, and I don't know the right one. I didn't. I, I, he looks. I don't know. Like it's his face did something weird. Uh. Now, Link eleven twenty nine is pointing out that in the top right. It looks like the World Trade Center. And it does. It might be on fire. And there yeah, there's that splash of red. Kirby did 9/11. We figured it out every. <laughs> now, I I actually have not gotten to my favorite part of this image yet. What's Tita, that? I, I can't see Tita, but like Kirby did it. And then it's like Lime's OMG. <laughs> oh no, the wine, <laughs> the wine really does it. Like Kirby eats. It's like, it's clearly trying to create, like this is a still life of fruit. Yeah, wine. there's something going on down here. I like these, are, these are like fruits and shit. No, it, it's a still life. It, it clearly found a still life. Yeah. Of like eats mushrooms. And New York. Mm -hmm. But you know what I think? Uh, the French champagne you, is no is no been noted for its excellence. What I think is that that wine right that that's ominously I don't know floating in front of this building. That's a fucking cocktail on Manhattan. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Again, so again, the AI is going one step deeper with the metadata. Kirby is having a Manhattan with his Manhattan. That's the cocktail. Um, here's a picture of a fucking cum. A classic Manhattan cocktail is what it looks like. So. <laughs> This thing definitely uh, was like, I right, what which Manhattan? I don't, I'll give them both. Fuck it. Just whichever. I'm no, gonna, it, it's the, the same thing. Like it, it's finding multiple definitions for a word and putting them in the same image, like gothic. Or goth. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. 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 The AI wanted to cover all of its bases here. You know. It looks like it's this. <laughs> Is the kind of glass it's typically served in? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh yep. my god. <laughs> yep. 
Oh man, that thing looks good, doesn't it? I, I, I don't think I've ever had one of those before. I have no idea what's in it. And I think what tipped it off was eats, right? Eats. So food. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, food and drink. So it went, it did Manhattan still, like it did the city, but mm. it, it like pushed it really hard toward the drink because of the word eats. Yeah. It's so, it's so fascinating. I think like the AI, I, this, this is basically that old sci-fi trope of the robot takes everything literally. Um, it's that, but in uh, weird uh -huh. AI image generated form. Like, like hell, a, even data from Star Trek. Yeah, I was just about that. to bring him up. I was just yeah, to, to about to bring him really up. Really, literally, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We're, we're we're on the same wavelength. Here. Like how many how many jokes got made in Star Trek? Or like it, 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 in that way, right? Right. It's like, haha, data doesn't understand. Oh, data, like, you Rendo dumb and... bitch. Oh, data, you don't get. It. You don't understand anything. You dumb fuck. You right, were a failure, like, data. You're a failure. Oh, like you sure are smart, but you sure are a lower life form. <laughs> and we <laughs> Okay, so I have one here that's basically porn. Um I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna show chat. I just want chat to hear your reaction. Okay. Oh, Oh dear. Yeah. Uh Can you show this on stream? I I feel like I should not. I hmm. What do you think? <laughs> uh, <laughs> ooh. Uh When I tell you what the prompt was, you're going to you're going to understand what's going on here. Uh, hmm, okay. I don't... There, there's a lot of beard hair. Which there shouldn't be, actually. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, the, the, okay. Uh, I, I just, there shouldn't be anyways, but... Nocturne said, you showed AI beef roasties. There were no vaginas in that picture, if that's what you're trying to say. Does the prompt include bears? I... No! No! You ready for the prompt? So, so Mike. Uh, so I. Uh, okay. Go. Um. I, I was about to say though. I. I remember. I. Um. I, I had a little bit of a panic moment because, mm -hmm. like, I said, what was it? Like, ro I said, roasty beef, and I was like, wait a minute, because this happens to me occasionally. Because, like, I said it, and I'm like, wait a minute. Is that a slur? Like, um... I have those moments because, like, there is such a long list of slurs, and I know none of them. So, like, I'll just say a word, and, like, I'll say a funny word, and people will be like, that's a slur. And I'm like, fucking what? All right, listen. That, that has happened multiple times in my life, and when I am on stream, I'm just like, did I, did I say a thing? Like, in this stream, did I say a word that is racist, and I just have no idea? Is my career about to end? <laughs> it's over! No, listen. Um, Roasties is... Definitely rude and definitely right. like like you definitely don't want to fuck it like actually call somebody that Like that's right. fucking it's like that's like incel shit Right. No, I, I remember it. I I, 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 rem I looked it up and I remember but it's not a it slur was. It's not yeah. a, it's, it's not a slur. I mean, it, yeah, yeah, I think it, it's 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 kind of comp like I find it I find it comical honestly, but I, I would never call somebody that you know, like it's not it's not cool yeah, no, chat, chat saying, yeah, right, it's incel -y. It, Yeah, it's yeah. incel -ism. Yeah, just don't, I, they... I think, just don't, you, you could say it, I just would not call anybody that. Like, right. like, don't, like, actually, like, don't actually use it, you know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. but, we're talking so anyway, about this. back to, the, back to this, yeah, we're, we're back to this, there's, like, so, to, des to describe the image, um, there is... Vague man flesh in a tube like form. Um, some of it is lithe and supple. Some of it is hairy. <laughs> uh, like very neatly combed and trimmed hair. Uh, there are some jewels. And there's just like Link with a milk stash. <laughs> and, 
just there with, with a bunch of cover like there are bed covers just randomly there like that's a texture that was slapped on there it um, looks to me like the giant like flesh tube thing is is laying on a bed it does yeah the, the flesh tube is lying on a bed um, Definitely. what do you think is happening in the bottom left of the image? It... It kind of looks like a Barotrauma sub. Don't you think that that's like a, um, some kind of, um... Like, cam inset? Cam... Oh... Like a camera yeah, no, inset? I, like, I a picture in pi like a picture-in-picture yeah. picture type thing? Yeah, yeah. No, I see what you're saying. Okay, you want to know what the prompt for this image I, was? Please, please. I, I'm so Le curious. Legend of Zelda Twink. Yeah, all right. And you, it, it just, uh, it just used porn. It straight it up just used, used porn. It straight up fucking used porn. Yes. Like it yeah, absolutely like, just used no porn. Question. Yeah, it used, it used porn. It used porn. No question. Like, if there's porn in it, I don't think I should show it. That, that's that's the thing, is nothing about this image is innately pornographic, but it feels pornographic. Yes, exactly. exactly. And not in the sense like, oh, this is so awesome, it, it's like porn, right? Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, this is food porn. It's like, no, it just <laughs> no, feels like porn. Like, like yeah. if, if this were up on my screen when my grandma walked up behind me, I would feel ashamed. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's definitely porn. Um, there's like a belly button, and and abs. There are abs, like a just belly. Kind of... Yeah, it's just a again. It's a meat. It's a meat tube. Like it's a flesh tube of twink. It's like a tube of twink. Like I'm convinced, if you told this AI to create a <laughs> muscle bound person, it would just start adding abs all over it. Oh my god, it's just Rob Liefeld, the AI. I was just gonna say that. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> Add muscles, make strong. Okay. Make strong. Here's a really fun one, and the chat can see this one too. We'll bring them. We'll bring them back into this. Okay. Oh dear. Uh. <laughs> mm? Uh. Huh. Hmm. Uh Oh gosh. I What? Okay. Chat's I... got it. Chat's chat had it instantly. Really? Yeah. I'm Okay, what I need to do is start looking for little things that are clues. You have... Okay, hold on. You have, like, a face, like, with huge eyes. Is that Isaac? There's no Isaac involved. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh... Tentacles... Is this tentacle porn? <laughs> <laughs> Elbow meat, Mike. Uh... I have... The problem is I'm looking for little things that could potentially be clues, but I'm not seeing anything. Look at the big picture. Look at the uh, look at the big picture, bike. Uh. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. Let me. Think a little bit more abstractly, bike. Great space adventure, said Vinny Septicai, and I think that they just got here too. Like, I don't think that person was here earlier. They definitely just uh, got here. Like, but just yes, to, to we... fucking hammer home how accurate that was. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, Venom Wraith is a cocksucker, in fact. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. I'll file that. I'll file that away. Uh, also, Little Gam is a filthy cocksucker. I I give up. I have no idea. The prompt was. Wait a minute, Cthulhu. Mm -hmm. Okay, why are you saying that? Um, because you have the sort of membranous head and then the tentacles, uh, coming off of, like, kind of, that look like, uh, off in the way that Cthulhu is portrayed with the tentacles coming off of the face. Okay. Wait cool. a minute. Cthulhu mm -hmm. cat? Uh, it, uh, like, from a distance, it kind of looks like a cat. And then you also have the cat ears, kind of, on that face there. What if it wasn't a cat? What, um... You know what? Cthulhu dog? There's a different version of it. Maybe, maybe this one will help you more. Maybe okay. maybe this is a better one. Okay. This is part two. Cthulhu Furby. The prompt was Lovecrafty and Furby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was me. I saw um, a number of people on Twitter, uh, all those Twitter accounts who were using Lovecraftian in their prompts. So they were always getting outstanding results with that, with, with the word Lovecraftian. Like, they were getting tentacles and, and, and fucking weird shit, you know? Um, it does have a cyborg eye. Um, it's also got... Um, multiple Furbies? Mini like, Furby, I, yeah. I, 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 I like this one because this one, like, it, it has more of, um... More of that John Carpenter, like, oh my god, that's a flesh pile. Yes. Oh my, oh my god, that's like several, like, Furbies fused together. Like, holy fuck. Like, it's, it's a little bit of like a... Like a vestigial twin or some shit happening mm -hmm. here, right? Yeah. Uh, which I fucking love. And it's a Furby Gertie, Full Moon says. Yes, yes, uh yes. A Furby Gertie from Isaac. Uh, and it's large, and it's in charge. God, uh, yeah, and yeah, the books are because Lovecraftian, but when you see uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. art made of Lovecraft, it's it's often with books. This one, like the first image, doesn't really have books. Like maybe I see a couple in in the yeah. top there, but the second image really piled in the books. Yeah, definitely. Right. Cthulhu fatiguing. Now you sing. <laughs> la 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 Ooh. la. Do well. Do a Necronomicon. Um. Look, not go for talking. Yeah. And so on and so forth. I like the. I like my Cthulhu Furbies. It's good. And I don't know, like, in the second image, the little, like, vestigial Kirby, like, he got weirder. And he developed, like, into a heart shape. And like separated more. It's like he fully fucking right. like, like he grew and like was ready to separate from like the original Kirby that he fucking it grew like off of. It looks like a gremlin from the yeah. movie Gremlins. Well, I feel like Furbies like by default look like gremlins. They do, yeah. Like like Mogwais. Yeah. All right. You're saying Kirby repeatedly. God fucking damn it! I always do that. Are Obviously, you? I mean oh. Furby. I mean Furby. Yes. F f Furby. Yes. Obviously. Yes. Fuck. Someone in chat's like, you're saying Kirby repeatedly. Okay, they're Monk. Okay, they're Monk is, they're mon monk is back. <laughs> I also like the weird, like, vagina that's, like, built into the wall back there. Oh, just like wall vagina, Mag magical space pussy. Getting mad for content. That per that person's trying to piss me off more, and it's working. <laughs> you can't tell them that. There's a Rouge the Bat in the second one on the left. Have you seen any of my videos? You can't tell them that. Also, there is. Is that like the the Oops. crying face? I don't see it. Uh, I don't see a rouge the bat. No, no. 
In the first one, it has like a huge fucking eyeball, and the other one is like a small, uh, like cyborg eye, like a night vision eye. And then right. in the in the second one, it it gets like a beak, and like the eye becomes a screaming face. <laughs> it does, Jesus. I see it. It's like the the mouth is white, right? That's that would be like the teeth. And yes. like the, God, we need to stop playing see, God yeah, with we, it. We, we have to stop fucking around with this thing because this is this is like cursed as fuck. Yeah, the the longer we look, the more we see. And I think that's kind of the weird thing about these AI images is most of the time what you are seeing is very abstract. Yeah. Wireframe says, when did you invite Jennifer Aniston on your stream? Are you saying that this thing looks like Jennifer Aniston? New VTuber avatar for the taking. Anyway. How does it look like Jennifer Aniston? That's so rude to Furby. That's so rude to Lovecrafty and Furby. How dare you say he resembles Jennifer Aniston? Okay. I, I've got another one for you. I like this one a lot, a lot. That is, okay. First thought, Chia Pet. Why? Because of the color and the green coming out of like the, the clayish sort of shape. Okay. Is that a pog champ? <laughs> Is this pog champ? Did you put in pog champ chia pet? No. No. Uh. Okay. Sluggers. As drool like drips down the side of its mouth. Oh, you're right. Uh, is this and like look, look, <laughs> look at that. But look at that. <laughs> That looks like the fucking baby from Dinosaurs. It does. Oh, you're right. Sloth, love chunk. It's sloth, yeah. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> shit. Uh, I'm going to go with Fractal Chia Pet. Fractal Chia Pet? I'll tell you what. This is another one where I saved two. I'm going to okay. show you the second one now. Okay. Bleah. Oh, dear. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> well, it looks like a pug face. Is it like pug chia pet? No, <laughs> it's meat. That's meat. Meat? It looks like meat. Yeah. So what was... knows what I'm talking about. Meat. What's going on at Find the top meat. here? I... Is it Chia Pet Furby? Furby so what do, you, Chia Pet? What, what, do you, what do you think the prompt is? Make a guess. Uh, I'm going to say... Lovecraftian uh, Furby Chia Pet. The prompt was Meat... Chia pet. Meat chia pet. Okay, meat. I yeah. should have said meat, because there's meat. Yeah. It's the meat. Meat chia meat. pet. <laughs> what the fuck is the faces? God, the faces are really good. In the first image, it was on, like, a background of, like, fucking, like, prosciutto. And then it became a background of wood. Wood. Yeah, it just became wood. Like, that is definitely wood. I did this because I have a Chia pet now, and I was like, I had Chia on the brain. Shrimpy's doing great, by the way. I got to show you guys a picture. He's, like, sprouting. He's got some, like, weird, like, not bald spots, but, like, you'll see it. He, 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 it's not a good product. But he's looking okay. Like, he's... He's all right. He's not meat. He's not meat, though, unfortunately got like real big gray alien energy going on 
Speaking of, I like once you're done with uh, Mario Rabbids, we should definitely like kick it up a notch and do XCOM. Sure, Sit yeah. There, like make 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 the, the character creator is half the reason you play, especially XCOM two, specifically XCOM two. Um, but X, XCOM one, it's really fun to make your friends into people. Well, I know you made me with a with, with a yeah, you, made, you made me with a dumpy, right? Yeah, I mean, I gave you a big dumpy wumpy. Um, and you, this looks like Ted Cruz. It kind of does. Like this is his true form. <laughs> Why oh, is there human flesh in my meat Chia Pet? Like I put meat Chia Pet. Why is there so much human flesh? Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this face, with eyes and human eyes, and this fucking like weird, yeah, like bird. Those are human eyes. What do you mean? Those are human eyes. All right, there now. One of them might be. What do you mean. One of no, them might neither be. Neither of them. There are no whites. One of them what might are you be. Talking about. Look at the human flesh, though. Yeah, that that's human flesh, but those are not human eyes. And then there's like a bird chimera, like growing out of the top of his head, but it's like a fucking it, the whole thing as together is a llama. Someone, you're right. Someone on in chat pointed out that the right side kind of looks like like just the right side looks like Papa John. And <laughs> maybe this, maybe this is what happens. Maybe this is the form that Papa John is trying to reach by eating so many pizzas. Prappy John, like Prappy Jim. If he eats enough pizzas in a short enough period of time, he will attain his final form. Dude, this is him. He's got the, like the, the, he will this is what he will become on the day of reckoning. The beast slouches towards Bethlehem. <laughs> it's got like ground beef, but it's also got like cured meats too. Like there's cured like like, soprasada and shit. And, like, look, there's, like... It's got, like, cracked pepper on it and shit. Like, you seeing this? God, yeah. But look at all the... So that's iteration two, or, or, or whatever. But honestly, I think iteration one is more fucked. It's funnier. It, it's, the yeah, second, I don't... I, I'd say the second one is more fucked. The first one has, like... You know that meme <laughs> with uh, Spider-Man smiling? It's that smile. It's that same smile. No, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Chia pet pet. Well, look at that fucking horror, like right there. Look at the horror. Ah! <laughs> the flesh is a prison. That's what this. That's what this says to me. The flesh is a prison. Yes. You see, <laughs> see that? It ex it exists only to free you from the itchy, wet skin of life. That's a, a screaming mouth on the left. It's got... It, yeah, that's like a beak. I see the beak. And then this. What the fuck is this doing here, dude? This disturbs me. Maybe the mic. What is this? Er, it's, it's, it's the pog that we didn't want but need. <laughs> What's it doing here, man? This right, is want... what ha no, this is what happened to Gutex after he got <laughs> like after his face got removed from Twitch. This this is what became of him. It looks like a Metroid like latched onto the top of his fucking head. Like you know how Metroids do that? Mm. But it grew. He was he was special, right? This is like um, the SCP, the Human Beowulf complex, where like a Metroid attached itself to his head, but it, rather than draining him of energy, it for some reason decided to meld with him. I haven't heard of that one. I still want and to do a stream bridge. with you where you like where we show each other our, our favorite ones and shit. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to show you some of my favorites and and hear some of your favorites. This is Gutex after conspiracy theories melted his brain. Yes. This is Gutex while shitting his pants at that con. <laughs> How is that what he's remembered for? Because like, it's funny. I, I remember I, I watched the Fallen Titans episode on him, and it's like 
the point, the whole point of that video was he never really f rose, so he couldn't really fall. It's just, it's just the face. It was yeah. just his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the little cum drop. And then... Look at that. <laughs> that, that looks more like saliva dripping. It is. This haunts you know me. What it, you know what it makes me? Okay, so hold on. Zoom out again real quick. The same mouth appears in this image twice. No, it doesn't. Where is it? Where? Yeah, where? it does. On the right and on the left. Look at the way the top lip has is like convex. Look at it. It it is slightly uh, changed. Maybe, yeah, but it's maybe. the same mouth. Like look look at the way it comes up. Um, past that the mouth comes up past that lip in that yeah, smile. The, maybe the sh it is slightly different, but it is the same mouth. In yeah. the, like it's the same reference image. Why did it use it twice? I I think what I think one of the things this AI does is that it takes the same image and changes it mm -hmm. because and you'll, kind of you'll repeat, see repeats sometimes, it right. right um because something i noticed about it is that you have the same basic basic shape sometimes like if we go back to the monk shit t you have mm -hmm. the same like it's very clear that it's the same monk mm -hmm. over and over Mm -hmm. um, They're making like a wallpaper. Changed, right? It mm -hmm. it repeats it. It repeats itself. So when it runs out of, I, I think when it runs out of reference images, it will use the same image and then use a seed to change what it looks like. Maybe, yeah. I don't. I mean, uh, th there's a lot here, like technically, that I'm probably never going to be able to understand, but. You can, there's there's certain things you can just you can just see with your eyes, right? With your yes, with your eyes, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make fun of me. No, I'm. De <laughs> oh. I just Sorry. got back. What is this prompt? This is meat chia pet. Meat chia pet. I'm also like now that I'm getting more acquainted with this AI, I'm seeing repeated structures more often. Like what? We see him. Like, well, for example, you have the texture on the left chia pet and the right meat, like the meta pet. Uh, <laughs> you, have, you have the same texture on both meta pets, as well as the same grass texture, I think. There's at least two grass textures here. Yeah. Like, there's big grass and, like, small grass. Yeah. I don't know why. I just, I just love this one. Like, there's something about this one is absolutely hilarious to me. Hey, Big Grass is a rapper name, just waiting to be used. Captain! Does it... <laughs> I love that AI. It was trying so hard. God I bless it. I love how quickly yeah. it falls apart. So God, we we God bless stop it. talking about old things. Uh, we could talk about whatever the fuck we want, bro. Fair enough. It's your the, stream. The model uses an initial seed, and it uses the same sort of texture patterns if you don't change it, they said. Hmm. I see. Uh, Next one. Give me another. You want another one? Give me another. Give me another. Okay. We have a viewer-generated one here. Ooh. Uh, this one was created by Nick Whatever TV. And uh, it's a uh, little bit disturbing, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna warn you now. Yeah, this is uncomfortable. Yeah, uh, how uncomfortable? Like, don't put this in, in don't put this on stream. Uncomfortable. No, put it on stream. It's just, you know, weirdness. This one or... sucks, guys. This one sucks. See, this is the problem yeah, with this... these AI images. Is like, I definitely want to tell people, oh, like don't look at this like <laughs> so for example you can say like oh if you if you can't handle gore then don't look at this or if like any number of random things or there are flashing lights the problem with this is i can't point to anything there because there is nothing in this image like i cannot tell you who might like what precisely makes it uncomfortable no, it's not trypophobia because there aren't any holes because there's nothing. 
There is nothing. No, there's ho there's holes. There's, there's holes. A hot dog. Okay, I guess there are. There, there's a hot. So there's hot dog. There's tater tots. There's maybe we can get like their words. We have an H. So hot dog. I, I think it's. I don't think that's a hot dog. I feel like that's like a fucking, like a fetus. What do you be? I, I mean, okay. Well, on the I feel like that's a fucking like embryo. Like, yes. Like, what but, is that? Okay, yeah. The the one of those things is, but there is also a hot dog. You wanna, you wanna take some guesses at the prompt. I'm gonna go with. Hot dog homunculus. Homunculus? Yes. Why? I don't know. It's just... It's the word that's that seems correct. Fred, you're fucking kidding me. What? The prompt is Sonic the Hedgehog Chili Dog Homunculus. What the fuck? <laughs> Seriously? Yes. Seriously? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's homunculus. What, what the hell? Now, the only thing I'm seeing about this creature that looks vaguely... And I'm, I'm seeing a creature from the top down. Like, we are looking down at a creature. Right, me too. The only thing that's vaguely Sonic-y about it to me is the fact that it's a Cyclops. Right. I like I would not in a million years have guessed Sonic. Like the Hedgehog. What a, what 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 about this is even remotely related to Sonic the Hedgehog? The color blue is there? In the yeah, eye? you have blue. Uh why does it have pubes and gills? It has that, hairy gills. That's the homunculus part, I think. Hairy gills. That's Sonic's forehead? What are you talking about? What are what? How do you see Sonic's forehead? I see, like, on top of Sonic's head, there's, like, a fucking wound that has a fucking fetus coming out of it. Maybe maybe it's that, like, <clears throat> that, like, if you just look at the shapes of it, like, don't look at the homunculus itself, but look at the shapes, the shadow, and the, um, just the shape of the flesh and, like, the, the orifices. The way it swoops back kind of looks like Sonic's quills <laughs> whatever's maybe. the eye itself looks like sonic's forehead maybe sonic it's like oh. he's in he's inside the homunculus's like mouth kind of i see and like, like the intruder the intruder from isaac like when you get that item where like the fucking like a spider is inside your hollow skull like sonic the hedgehog is kind of in there but he's also a part of the creature Right. Yeah, no, I see I see it now. He's because... trying to escape the flesh prison of the homunculus. Mhm. Mm it's the restaurant, Mike. Well, that's supported by the fact that the creature is shitting out uh Chichen Nugests? Nugest? I Sorry for the tippy typey. I I'm just glad I hit homunculus. But you, again, okay, another thing. It's not exactly a common word either. The, look at the background. Again, it's the aerial photographs. Is it? Yeah, look. It's a road map. It reminds me of like the RB's napkin art that makes me want to fucking like burn down capitalism. He's also you... got, like, a chili dog tail, or he's shitting a chili dog. And I'm sorry, but that thing directly on top, like, that pustule thing is absolutely a fucking, like, an, an onborn fetus. Like, that's an onborn fucking fetus. I see it now. Like, the head is the right section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that, that, I hate, I hate this image. Let's I, do another. Give me another. I, I hate it so much that I, I wanted to show everybody. It that's is a, that's a burger. It's a prolapse. <laughs> I, I hate... I, I fucking hate whatever that is. Fuck. Okay. Now, this one's a little bit similar. 
This one was me. Okay. Enjoy. Oh. Uh, yeah. What? Okay, lasagna. Okay. Why? Lasagna's in there. Um. When you're here, your family. <laughs> So I'm seeing bagel. No, I think that's just an extension of the cheese. But no, they're the there there are like the bagels. And then you have a mountainous region that's been fucked with. Like it's very clearly just using a photograph here in the background. But it's an ocean. Right. There's an ocean. Uh an ocean of lasagna and meatballs. Why'd you say bagels? Well, because the, the there looks like there is a bagel in the top right. Like some of these meat things resemble bagels, but then you also have the donut looking things that are that could also be said to be bagels. <laughs> I'm guessing it's like a combination of like bagel and lasagna. Like the words what, what, bagel lasagna. Right, what, 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 what would make more sense than bagels lasagna? Blood bagel? Like like a product that you might know of that is kind of like Let me that. Think. Let me think. I'm sure chat is infuriated at me right now for not being able to get this. Um, it's not sperm paste. Dude, what do you mean it's not sperm paste? Someone in chat said sperm paste. Why? Okay. Do you... Okay, hold on. Uh, it's... So... Me... They like what personal pizza? Uh, no. Freezer oh, aisle. Is throwing, huh? Freezer aisle. Oh, like toaster bagels. The prompt uh, was oceanic pizza bagels. Why? I'm like. A I'm less weirded out the AI because the AI just took the words oceanic, pizza, and bagels and stuck them together. What I'm more concerned about is why did you put those words together? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't AI know. AI is doing its job. I haven't had pizza bagels in like fucking 22 years. Okay, that's fine. But why oceanic? I don't. Fucking no. <laughs> I don't know. What happened? Like, I don't it's not know. even like. I, I guess the thing that amazes me is it, it's not even crass. It's not like come like if it was come pizza bagels. It's just like okay, I I can see you doing that, but why? And I'm because not mad. Fred, I'm not even disappointed. I'm just because Fred, because when pizza's on a bagel. You can have pizza anytime. Oh. What? You can have pizza anytime when pizza's on a bagel. Even when it's in the ocean. Is this Ex a reference that I'm not getting? No. No. I this is me this is me mashing two random things together. That, see, I was trying to come up with something that you know made sense. You know what I think? Level. You, you know what I think it did? No, I what? I literally just t thought of two random words and mashed them together. Um, it broke me. Yeah, you're 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 gonna be okay, buddy. I I, I think the fucking thing like took turtles, like 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 sea turtles, and like made them into pizza bagels. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> it, again, yeah. it did that thing where it went one layer of metadata deeper. Like I said, oceanic? Well, sea turtles. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, look down here. You got 
raw beef. What the fuck it's is like, that? Yeah, that is raw beef. Or it's like pastrami or some shit. Like, yeah. Oh, prosciutto again. Good. Prosciutto yeah. again. Yeah. It's prosciutto on the pizza bagel. Oh my god. Oh fuck. No, so, so um, was it high octane horse meat? Said Mike's ADHD brain is too powerful for Fred's weak, shriveled, normal brain. <laughs> no, what happened was Mike's maddening words just sunk so deep into my incredibly wrinkled brain that I couldn't find it. <laughs> it's like Gabagool, but evil. <laughs> you know what I could go for with this? Some uh, some sausage gravy. Sausage gravy. Look inside the, the 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 mouth of the bagel. Look in look into the heart of of evil. I think that I knew exactly what you meant when you said the mouth of the bagel. Like, why is it like fucking oh. um, Baja Blast in there? Did I? T I didn't tell you. I had Baja Blast for the first time, just recently. You liked it? No, it it tastes like plastic flavored soda. I'm sorry. I, I never had it. It's don't it it's just you know when you're little like you like imagine baby mike you see a blue plastic toy you shove it in your mouth that is what you would imagine baja blast takes like tastes like the way that like colorful blue plastic looks like it would taste is how baja blast actually tastes Ew, what? It's not good. Baja Blast drinkers equal Tide Pod eaters. I, I really want to work through this image. Like, there's so much going on. Like, you had the two, like, melty cheese, um, uh, gabagool bagels on the bottom. And then you got, yeah, this is the one that made you say lasagna. Because yeah. this doesn't look like the other one. Like, why is, why is what? this one bagel... Pizza bagel, like, so completely different. This is, like, a traditional, like, Sicilian artisanal fucking pizza bagel from, like, the old country. The way fucking grandma used to make it. Like, back in the fuck in, in the hills of, like, Nabalagoobalagoo, where they used to fucking make, you know, where after a hard day of work, grandma used to fucking go and put it, ah, and put together a fucking pizza bagel in the traditional Italian way. With her old fucking grandma hands on the farm or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck is... Why does this look good? It's it's because it's a splash of color in a dull oceanic background. Like, like it every, has different lighting. Yeah, every it's because it's from a totally, like, different image with different lighting. Everything else in this image look sickly and dying yeah. and yeah. like imminently yeah. rotting <laughs> and you just have the beautiful like lasagna i mean she put, that is not a pizza bagel that is lasagna she put fresh fucking basil on it too yeah like she put <laughs> before she got sucked away by the fucking violent undertow of the atlantic ocean this is where the food that like fr when you don't eat food from your mother, this is where it goes. <laughs> it goes to the cold, dark waters of the North Atlantic. Mm -hmm. Into purgatory. Yeah, it it, it thought this was a turtle. Way. It thought this was a turtle. It thought it these did, were turtles. Yeah. What the fuck are That's those don't the donuts? They, they look. They do look like Tide Pods. I have no idea what the fuck those. What are those? Those white well, you things. It's a bagel, right? But like, you know what they are. They, Mike, there are images of bagels on the factory line. Uncooked bagels. Yes. They are <gasps> the bagels. ocean cooks the bagels. Are, are we creating ocean bagel lore now? And the, the bagels wash up on the shore ready to be harvested. No, 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 no. Those are baby bagels. Mm, and, that, like, making their way back to the ocean. Right, yeah, you see, like, the, the bagel turtle parents on the shore, and then those little bagels are the baby bagels that were, are making a mad dash for the sea. 
The circle of life. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful thing. The great oceanic pizza bagel makes its way to the northern shores of Newfoundland to bury the eggs of its young in the sand. This exactly. happens once every decade. Right, and then the, the lasagna, the colorful ones are the males because they need the plumage to attract... <laughs> yeah. That's what it is! It's sexual dimorphism. That's what it is! And they, they, multiple of them have mouths. You can even see inside. They're blue. Inside their mouths, that like, they are blue. <laughs> oh, That's my God. God. Oh my God. Pizza plumage. Yeah, um, dude, I gotta be honest. I have no idea how just... how my brain came up with this. I'm just I'm just imagining this being narrated by um, it's David Attenborough. Yeah, David Attenborough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Him being like, only the choicest looking males will be chosen. This feel this female thinks that. This male looks like it belongs in a five-star restaurant. You know what this implies? And so, the and so begins the mating. The male mounts onto the back of the female, that which opens its large blue mouth and lets out a traditional Italian cry. Hey, I'm walking here! Racist. Oh. Racist. That's racist. That's racist. That's racist. <laughs> Bada bing! <laughs> Fred, this implies the existence of like... A fucking like grizzled crew of like longshoremen. Who like go out for like fucking six months out of the year like harvesting these pizza bagels from the ocean floor. So they could go, like, get sent to, like, fucking supermarkets across America. Right, yeah. Italy it's... has a long tradition of pizza harvesting in these cold northern waters. Is that deadliest catch? Like, yeah. pizza bagels? <laughs> right. <Maybe>. right. <laughs> pizza bagels. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, This is their Moby Dick. I got more of these. Um, right, let's go. Oh, come on, Mike. You don't like that one? What's wrong? Like, why? You don't like it? It's. What is this? Is this Gopnik Sonic? <laughs> It's not, but you just gave me a great idea for one that, that I could do. Gopnik Robotnik. <laughs> Gopnik Robotnik. Okay, so Sonic is very clearly involved. I like how there's a Sonic sort of materializing in the top left there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's a cryptid. Yeah. This is incredible. Go Gopnik is a good. Um, you will never guess this one. There's not enough information in the okay, image for you okay. to guess what the prop what the prompt Maybe. was. The prompt was Portuguese Sonic the Hedgehog. What? It gave him three legs, green shoes, and like a fucking like. I don't know, the de deformity coming out, like the back of it. It has like hammer pants. Yeah, yeah, he you know, does. Or the crotch comes down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think they're sunglasses. I think that's like his face. Oh, you, you know what the you know what the Sonic in the top top left reminds me of? It re it reminds me of the Sonic totem that Chris Chan made. The Tulpa, the Sonic Tulpa. Have you seen this, hold on. No, 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 no. Um, I'm going to look it up for you. If you've never seen this, it's one of the most incredible pieces of art. Someone in chat said, yeah, that's definitely Portuguese. The image is aggressively I mean, Euro European, so it makes sense. There. I'm trying to figure out how like this is Portuguese. Oh, that? That's the Sonic Totem. Oh, man, I don't like that. <laughs> I 
Man, that's fucking weird. It does feel European, though, doesn't it? Like, oh, fuck. This is, this is like, uh, CWC's version of Septic the Shitlug. It is. I love it. There's so much going on. So I just, again, I, I have a hard time understanding how and why this is Portuguese. How like is it what, Portuguese? I okay, don't know. So I think what really kills it for me is it looks like it's been poorly green screened into the image. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it has the, the green glow on the, on the outer rim. Vaguely, vaguely. On the edge, it has it has the green edges. Vaguely, I don't. I'm sure, guys. Is there anything about this that makes you feel like it's Portuguese? How was it Portuguese? Reverend Joe thinks it read Portuguese man o' war like the jellyfish. Okay, yeah, I think I see that. Kind the of? architecture, nah. Why? Because it has three legs? Jellyfish have more than three legs. That face is incredible. Yeah, his face is fucked. It, it, this looks like a rip-off mobile game. No, th th this, this is a bootleg Sonic. This is absolutely a bootleg Sonic. Uh, yeah. Like in Portugal, they don't have Sonic, but they have like... This guy? Right. Gmao or something? Like, what, what's his name? We need a name for Portuguese Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, Felipe. F Felipe. <laughs> Felipe. <laughs> Due to a weird quirk of European Union uh, copyright law in relationship to Portugal, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog actually doesn't exist in Portugal. Uh, but they ended up with whatever the fuck this is instead. Speedy Felipe. Okay, so I'm I'm going to do something real quick. Uh, Portuguese. Okay, so the the Portuguese word for speed is velocidade. This is velocidade. But he's got a. Hey, go! Gotta go velocidade. Velocidade. The, the body is actually a golden Sonic head. Can you explain what you're seeing? Because I'm struggling with the body really, really hard right now. Oh fuck! I see it. Oh, can you, can you nah, what? Okay. How? So just, just okay. So just, just like cut and paste the golden part out. So the at the bottom left, that chunk is the whole head, including the eyes. And then the head quills are like look at the swoop. That's the eye swoop. Oh wait, what the fuck? You see it now, don't you? Kind of. You can even see the nose a teeny tiny bit. Where's the nose? Oh god. Just barely. Very faint. But you see it now, right? Yes. Holy fucking shit. You know how I had to see it? I had to squint really hard. Yeah, just look at the outline. It looks more like Knights. Than Sonic. Oh, fuck. That's absolutely beyond fucked. Oh, my God. They're putting something in the water in Portugal. What... Yeah, his face is so good, though, right? <laughs> He's just three <laughs> legs. Man, do you think having three legs would make him go faster, or it would make him, like, constantly trip? Um... I mean, where does the third leg go? Maybe when he's going fast, he's just constantly kicking himself in the nuts. <laughs> like, where would the nuts go? Right? Y you have seven vaginas, but... Uh... Because uh. <laughs> if the if the third one is like in between, <laughs> I, I'm I, I'm thinking about this too hard. I don't think this Sonic goes fast. I, I don't think, think he go. I don't think he goes fast. I think he fucking walks around. 
and he fucking like he drinks like you know beers in like the paper like the paper bag and he sits outside the fucking like the atm room like by the bank and he asks the people who, who are going in to use the atm machine for cigarettes mike he's a mascot for portugal's public transit systems <laughs> It doesn't go fast. <laughs> I bet you anything Portugal has a fucking slow as shit, like, fucking ass public transportation system. I bet you. Right. And it's like, the the advertisements aren't talking at all about, like, the efficiency of the public transit. It's just the public transit is shit. But look, they made this cool character, like, and they unveiled it, and it's just this. And this character is kind of like appropriate though like the way he looks ma matches the quality of of those buses right he looks like something that would be commissioned by a government to promote its public transit system unless like the only countries that could actually pull off something good for something like that are like japan maybe a few european countries well you don't remember bussy like... bussy bear from the uk the uk bus system the bu bu bus bussy bear what yeah, you, because you're okay. No, I'm calling you out on this. You're gaslighting me on this one. This is monk shit tea. You're monk shitting me. What if I'm not? What prove if I'm it. not? You want me to prove it? Yes. Okay. I'm calling you out. You are going to be receiving an article in a moment. That's going to make you feel really, really, really terrible for not trusting me. Okay? You're going to feel just awful. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you want to read that headline for everybody? Oops. National Express have named a new mascot after some rather naughty gay slang. Welcome to the world of me, Bussy Bear. Right. Oh, dear. Uh. Yep. Mm-hmm. They, they added a tweet. The Babadook has been usurped. The B in LGBT stands for Bussy Bear now. I can't fucking believe... No way. Yep. No way. Yep. Hold on. No, no, no. Hold on. The what, you want Pope. secondary confirmation? What, do you want sources? What do you want? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm double checking because I'm looking at the source. Like, the poke. Time well wasted. Um, I, I, I'm, is this satire? No. It's not. No, no it's fucking real. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Okay. That's real. It was all over Twitter and everything. It's real. I chose, just goes to show how unplugged I am. Good for you. Good for you. Um, the point was, he's going to be the mascot for the, uh, Portuguese bus system. Um, uh, excuse me, that needed a bisexual tag? Oh, oops. <laughs> oops. Chat keeps calling him, um, Slavic the Hedgehog. Like, they really want him to be Slavic. They want it's, him to be a Gopnik. It's, it's because of, like, the tracksuit looking the Pant, camp, yeah, like, the pants. Yeah, yeah, that is like a the suit. Yeah, yeah. Slavic the Hedgehog. <laughs> tracksuit. Yeah, people know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, tracksuit the Hedgehog. I, I mean, like, dude. I put it, the prompt was Portuguese Sonic the Hedgehog, not you know Slavic or Russian or anything. Yes. Again, like. What's but... Portuguese about? Okay, something that I'd also like to point out. Mm -hmm. Those stones, yeah. again, those are just aerial photographs. No, they're not. No, they're fucking aerial photographs. I... 
like they're they're like stuff. they're they're like pavers. They're like bricks. Like it's a design thing. It's, I guess. Like yeah, I've just nah, seen it's... it so often in the background of these images. Some it... there got to be people in chat who are seeing what I'm seeing. Like I, I think that it's been warped a little bit because remember how the ocean was warped in the previous image. It's aerial photographs warped. Someone in chat told me to look up Portuguese pavement. Um. Let's just do a quick Google image search for that. So you can see what I'm looking at. Bussy bear. This may very well be he's still on the bussy bear thing. This may be what that what what this this AI pulled from. Are you seeing it? So they make mosaics. Um it's really fucking cool actually. It's gorgeous. I love it. I love I love shit like this. Um but it's a little bit more patterned than what we're seeing in, in, in this image. Like, I think in this image, that looks a little bit more hap haphazard than what I'm seeing here. Like, a lot of these look like some of, like, you know, like the ancient Roman uh, mosaics, you know, where it's, right. like, extremely, extremely detailed. Uh, and there's patterns and, and uh, um, you know, designs. Or, or like, there, it's an image of, of something. Uh, I'm not sure this is what the AI pulled from, actually, upon further inspection. Uh, but it is beautiful. Um, I got a couple more of these. You feel like you want to wrap up soon, Fred? Yeah, let, let's wrap up soon. I'm, I'm getting rather hungry. All right. I got, I got just a few more. <clears throat> um... This one is from a viewer, a viewer named Punch Tiger, and this takes us back. Uh, <clears throat> oh dear! This takes us back to Final Fantasy a little bit. You're not going to guess this. Okay. Uh, the prompt was Kefka eating a slice of pizza, and you know what? Fuck, that's Kefka eating a slice of pizza. They did it. Like, that's what that is. Like, that's great. That is Kef that is Kefka eating a slice of pizza, like, dead on. <laughs> like, that's on point, yeah. Uh, Kefka's the villain from Final Fantasy VI, Fred. Okay. Um, he's one of the more beloved ones. Uh, I like this one a lot. Very cool, Punch Tiger. Damn. Uh, this one is from somebody named... Shala in chat and I this one's a little fucked what okay uh who so... wants to take a crack at maybe guessing the prompt for this one I, I know to I, I, so may I Hello. go uh so togepi obviously is involved like the word is there but also like the shape that that looks like togepi to you it's the again. It's the general shape. It's the spiky head. The word you can you can also, see the word the togepi word is there. Where where do you see the word to togepi? All over. I see. It's like almost to there. It's like togini. Like I see togini, titi, togop, and tana tana plot. So immediately you're seeing the bright colors, and that's and, and there are Pokemon shapes there. It's so immediately recognizable as Pokemon, but like mm. that, like the the creature. What the Fuck, that is actually terrifying. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. I hate that. That that is terrible. Like fuck that thing. That is actually horrifying. They're best buds. Uh oh shit. What you recognize it? To all right, so it's like the it's the mouth is the um the the melty boy from Amnesia, the Dark Descent. I vaguely remember that. I think you're right. Yeah. Because the mouth hangs down so low, it's that same shape. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. And the head kind of looks like Doc. The upper half of the head looks like Doc Brown. I like the potato chips on the left. Those, I don't know why those are there. So it's like. 
Togepi be maybe it's Togepi being eaten by the amnesia monster you and Doc Brown. Like You want me to tell you? Yeah, tell me. It says Togepi's demonic and homicidal. That's the oh. prompt. Mm -hmm. That's okay. the prompt. Okay. I you did it. Now this next one we're gonna be here with for a minute. Um I showed I showed chat a censored version of this one last night. I'm going to show you the uncensored version. Okay. Okay? Um it has some kind of nudity in it. You ready? Okay. Like actual nudity or like the nudity that we've seen before? It's got big puffy nipples. Okay. You ready? I'm I'm braced. Yeah, br br brace not... brace hard. Brace hard. I've got, I've got my legs crossed. Brace hard. This one will hurt you. Wow. Uh I will be showing chat a censored version. Uh Is this like Alinity fucking her dog? Is <laughs> that the prompt? <laughs> You're kinda on the right track. You're kinda on the right track. Uh what like and then I see like a monka S. I see a sweat frog. Yeah, yeah, is it, I see it too. I see it too. Mm -hmm. Uh fuck. So it's not just Alinity fucking her dog. Um like while chat watches. No. Well. I what think made, it's what, as close as I'm going to get. What made you say Alinity? I think it, it, like, so, there's, like, the dog nose on the right there. You know what? That's not something that I had noticed previously. That's what that, that that's what you think that is? It kind of, uh, actually, it kind of looks like a Sharpe. Because it's uh, got those folds the there? Foldy, yeah. uh, but, like, the, I don't know. That's just, like, dog nose texture. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait a minute. No, that's a nipple. Oh, dear. Uh, maybe? It's hard to tell. Um, okay, we're not looking at that anymore. Okay. So what was the prompt? It's not a nipple. It's not. Shut up. Mm. It's not. It's fine. Okay. Um, it's you are gonna laugh very hard when I tell you this. Oh, okay, I'm ready. Soy poggers. It's just soy poggers. That's it. Soy poggers. What? He didn't laugh. I'm surprised he didn't find that what? funny. What? It works, though. I Does it? Mm -hmm. I love that there's, like, uh, a streamer. It, it, it's definitely a streamer. No, yes. quest, no question this is a streamer. Absolutely no okay? question. Okay, you, you could see the fucking Racer X chair in the yeah, back. Th that is so obvious. The headphones, like the glowy headphones, and the, the, the long black hair. Yeah, and the fucking, like... Like maybe that's Critical's hair? It might be. I'm having really strong deja vu right now. It's got like the RGB lights or whatever the fuck. Like these purple fucking lights. Like what are these purple fucking lights? There's another gamer chair back there. It's got the fucking like, yeah, the, the, the Pepe face in the top left with the Bind Shroom logo on top of it. Mike, I I am having really strong deja vu. We have we have done this before. I swear to God. Okay, I know that we haven't. 
probably. Fred, it's got a Pepe in the top left with the Vine Shroom logo on top. Right. Fred, it's got a Pepe on the top left with the Vine Shroom logo on the top. The, it, Fred, it's it got a Pepe is. on the top left with the Mike, Vine stop, Shroom logo. Stop, stop, stop. Logo, logo on, <laughs> on the, the top, 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 top. Fred, we've been here before. We'll do this a million more times before is the end of the universe, trying, Fred. Is this you trying to wake me up from the coma? There's a Pepe on the top left with a Vine Shroom logo on the top. Uh, Fred, you have to wake up. Uh, Stop of it. Stop it. I'm freaking out a little bit. Wake up, Fred. Join us in reality. Hello, friend Michael. No! We've been I'm here. I'm so glad that you woke me up. We've been so here scared. a million times, and we'll be here a million more times. I'm happy to be here as many times as it takes. I'm so as glad you're back, buddy. You. I'm so glad that you're back. Wow, boy, did we miss you. Okay, Frank, go back to sleep now. What? It's like a fucking Las Vegas hypnotist show. Sleep, Frank. Sleep. Sleep. Are you going to so are are you are we going to look at the next one, Mike? No. Um I'm not done by the, with this one by a stretch. This you is can... like there's it is really dense, isn't it? Like there oh my god, there's a gaming monitor in the top right. Is that what that is? Look. Definitely. How, how can you tell it's a gaming monitor? Well, just because that you have the stand on the back and the squared shape of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just it looks like how do you it looks like a gaming monitor. There's a little bit of a, like a like a butt plug in the in the back, right? Um by the way, you look at the like the, the the second racer X chair that's like to the right behind this person. Yes. It it's got like a forehead and hair. Like there's a person back there. Yeah, there is. No, um, like I that that's what I immediately saw. Um, yeah, it's the, but like the face is carved out. There's yeah. something in front of it. Like yeah. that. That's all it is, I think. But what? <sighs> What's with the bearded dude in the foreground with the, who has like holes and lumps? That's me, I think. That's the soy poggers. He's also lactating from his chin. Soy, is, soy milk, yeah. I'm assuming so, soy milk. Soy milk being yeah. poured. Oh, this is how right. The, this is how the soy gets farmed. Um, guys, the nipples are really, really, really upsetting. I'm not, I'm not going to show them. Fred, tell they them how, ups, how, how upsetting that is. It's a little bit upsetting, yeah. Like it's just, uh, it's honestly really disturbing. You're not gonna like it. Like no, you're it, genuinely no, not gonna like it. No, it is not good. Um, the the censorship is for your own good. I like the idea that like soy milk is farmed from the chins of soy. <laughs> yes. Somebody in chat pointed out that up in the back, like on the walls, they got some like framed comic books and like maybe like you know figurines and shit. Yeah, a little bit. It's it's clear that like there's supposed to be something in the background of this streamer. I like that it just made multiple streamers though. It created like the ultimate streamer homunculus. Right. You know? There's also a really tiny head. Where's the tiny head? Tiny head? Oh! Oh! Behind um the the gamer on the right. On top of the of the like the, the chair? No, so, like, th there's the chair, there's the person sitting in the chair, but look at, like, where her hair is parting. There's, like... That's a, a small little... head. Hold oh on. My, um... Oh, my God. Fuck that. Is that a I'm butthole like... below the Pepe? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. 
It's like, no, it, it looks like a little Todd Howard poking up. Like Todd Howard is trying to be like... <laughs> it's him. The hair. Pirate. The hair. Yeah, the hair. Yeah. <laughs> He's watching. Is the streamer supposed to be Penguins Zero? The, it's a no, bleached the, asshole. The, uh, it's not a butthole. All gamers are on the right. What do you mean? You think it's critical? I, I think that, like, it... Is it? It's the eye that looks maybe it, almost like critical. Maybe it took some of his, oh, like... Gosh. he took It took some of his fucking DNA to create this abomination. You know? Right. I, I can't get over the soy. Well, like... <laughs> the chin... Let me let me try something. Hold on. If I just Google Poggers, I'm just gonna Google Poggers, okay? Mm -hmm. I want to see what we get. All so right. It's... You, so it, did you do it as two words, soy and Poggers? Mm -hmm. When I did the fucking prompt for the AI thing, I put yeah. soy space Poggers. Okay. All right. So if you just Google image search Poggers, you get. Like, tons of Pepe's, like, pogging Pepe's. You get the Gutex head. You could, that's why there's a fucking Pepe, obviously. Sure, yeah. Um. And that's it. I scroll down, uh, I get more poggers. I don't see Charlie. I don't know, maybe it's like, maybe it goes like poggers and then streamers. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. Like it did, that, like that it did before. Like, like it jumps from, Twitch. yeah. Like word association, you know what I mean? Yes. Beyond that, Like that's, that's definitely what's going on. I, I suspect that if it can't find enough images from the prompt alone, mm -hmm. Only then does it go one step deeper. It looks for uh, terms that are associated with the terms. I found Germa, like, way, way down on the results page. Ger Germa's here. Oh, There's good. A, there is an image of, of Germa. Good. So I'm, I'm just thinking. So when it has a lot of images for the terms that you've given, mm. it tries to use more of them. A lot of them, but if it doesn't have a lot of images, then it goes deeper and tries to find related terms. Because that that's how you end up with um, goth. Like, you have goth girls and then also gothic architecture. Right, right, right. Um, I guess it just... Yeah, I don't know. It just went to random streamers at that point like it went from poggers to streamers it definitely did that because you could see all the vaguely streamery shit back here right mm -hmm. um here's another one i did there's like two left so we're, we're, okay. we're, we're really we're really uh, winding up here that's either uh what's the actor's name so it's either elon musk or um what's what's the actor's name hold on Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. You think so that's Leonardo I'm, DiCaprio? I I think so. Yeah. Um. Or it could be. Uh. The problem is I don't know actor names. Like I don't keep track of them. We're getting the gems again. What else do you think is going on in this image? We are getting gems. Yeah. Yeah. Gems are a thing, right? Remember when we were doing the the, the pixel yep. depixelizer? Yep. Yep. Uh. What else do you see in the image, though? Uh, well, I mean... Uh... Well, they suits... gave Elon Musk a doge snout. <laughs> uh... It looks almost steampunk. But the you have... The prompt... So it... Go ahead, sorry. Um, so it looks like a Trojan horse head, almost. Mm -hmm. So, maybe Trojan... Maybe mm -hmm. that's where we're getting some of that. Uh, am I close? You already got it. 
The the prompt was steampunk Elon Musk. Really? Mm hmm Yeah, I saw a number of people in chat say that exact thing. That's what I did. Because I saw, I saw people getting really good results with steampunk. Mm. And I was like, what if Elon Musk but steampunk? That's fair. You know? And I just See, went like, for it. like, that combination yeah. makes sense. Unlike okay. oceanic pizza bagels. Yeah, I admit to you, oceanic what? pizza bagels was like a dissociation moment. <laughs> to be fair, if you're messing yeah, around I, with this for that long, I I could see that happening. It's it's one of those things where you know how you know that God got bored eventually because you have animals like giraffes and platypuses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that same sort of thing. It's like you got bored, so you said oceanic pizza bagels. Fuck it. Well, Let's these got happens. these got compiled over a two week period. Uh, some of which, actually, I made today. A few of them I made today. Uh, I'm going to show you one I made yesterday. Uh, I think this one's pretty cool. Uh, oh, dear. This is... So it's another anime thing, I think. Uh, which, which is fucking really interesting. What, that I could tell immediately? Well... Let me put it to you this way. Anime is not in the prompt. Really? Yeah. The word anime uh, is not in the, is not in the wait prompt. Wait a minute, is this furry porn? Like maybe it's cuz of there there there's furry shit. I I feel like I see the suggestions of furry ears and furry uh, like like cat girl shit. Right. What else do you see? Well like so there's religious iconography, weirdly enough. You see that cru um, that crucifix, cross, obviously, right? Yeah, yeah, the crucifix. Um, With like a Jesus-y figure on it? Is this like... Yeah, the sort of. It, it looks like a passion. A representation of the passion. Um, titty? Like, is this like titty mouse pad? You will never, ever, ever, ever guess this prompt, and oh, no, okay. and, and neither will anybody in this chat. Okay, give it to me. The prompt was the weight of my sins. What? The weight of my sins. Maybe, maybe it's like the weight of them titties in the top right there. But... Why is it anime? Why is it anime? Because anime is a sin. That's why. <laughs> I think I think there's a scale. Notice the little screen on the top in, in the top right. I think that's yeah. a, I think it's a, a type of a scale where like you you know you weigh yourself on it. Oh, yeah. Because the weight of my sins. Like again, it's taking shit literally, right? Yes. And also, you know, like, Christ is, like, carrying the weight of the world's, like, fucking oh, sins yeah. of jacking off to fucking, like, shitty anime. <laughs> I thought, yeah, so my, 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 one of my thoughts was, maybe there's an anime called The Weight of My Sins, or something like that. Now, there is an anime called The Seven Deadly Sins, which where is where it could have gotten the anime. Oh. The anime, but, like... I mean, I've seen a few episodes of that anime. Like, I don't know. I mean, granted, like, how are you going to... At that point, it don't matter. I was going to say it doesn't really look like that, but come on. There's. I something... don't think... Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think any of the characters look like this vampire adjacent. But at the same time... Like, come on, right? Mm -hmm. The top right looks like a fucking boob or ass. I know. I don't know. The top right was worrisome. Uh, and I, I yeah, guess. I mean, there's a Christ-like figure, like. This is so, I feel like, after this stream. Russian space dog always here. Hi, like, like, a... like, a these nuts. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I just wanted to do a callback. Uh. Thank you. After this stream, what? I, like, after this stream, I am going to be so relieved to look at things made by humans again. <laughs> I know that sounds really weird, but there's this, there's this. It breaks you. Yeah, it breaks you. 
there peop the people who were in this community of making these images and looking at these these images all the time have described a syndrome whereby they look at non AI generated things and and like, assume that they're AI generated. Like does that or or like like they they have to, they have to their brains get so trained to looking at AI things that they have to like decode that when they look at like normal shit. I'm I'm terrified that some of that is rubbed off onto me. I was saying there is a there's an intensely uncanny quality to it yeah, yeah. that that pervades it. Like th there's a pattern to the uncanniness, mm -hmm. but recognizing those patterns makes me uncomfortable. It's right. I can't describe it. Like, what am I like? I, I think it's fatiguing to look at an image and not be able to recognize any discrete or, object or make any kind of sense out of it. Right. Right. It's 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 exhausting because it's very usually, mentally exhausting. Yeah. Yeah. You look at an image, you could say that's what that is. That's what that's that is. That's what that is. I, I've spent my entire life being able to look at something and say, oh, yeah, I know what that is. I have a name for that these images there's nothing mm -mm. like maybe there maybe there's sonic there for a moment like there's a crucifix here maybe i can see a face like or something that is almost a face but it's only like it's only my brain trying to find some sort of pattern in it whereas yeah. you, you know it's not you know it's not a face or well and, you know maybe there's well, some sort be. of maybe there is some sort of existential quality to this but here's the thing in all of these images like remember there was the character eating a pizza if you yeah. hadn't told me it was a pizza i wouldn't have known that it was a pizza mm -hmm, i mm -hmm. could say that it vaguely might be like something so for example we had uh, the lasagna but even then i wasn't entirely certain it was a lasagna it's impossible to tell for certain that something is something. And mm -hmm. that's intensely uncomfortable and exhausting. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty fatigued by it too. Uh, somebody in chat said that the top, I absolutely see the pie crust on the top. Yeah. You see the pie Again, crust? Again, that's the problem. It's interpretation. Mm -hmm. That's that too. Yeah. It's someone might see something, but there is no guarantee that I could say, hey, this part of the like this part of the image looks like this. And someone can say, no, it doesn't. I don't yeah. see that. Yeah. Yeah. That and me, maybe you can say, oh, this cloud looks like a dog and they'll say, oh, no, I don't see that. But you, but that's like a fleeting moment. It's a curiosity um, in and a mm -hmm. difference in the way that we immediately see something in this case. It's the opposite. The vast majority of things are completely open to interpretation where there are only a few things that we can universally agree exist. For example, in this image, the only thing that we could, could for certain agree on is that red crucifix. Yeah. Beyond that, nothing. Vaguely anime looking creatures. Apparently, um, there is a, a hentai anime. Somebody in chat said that's that's called the Seven Deadly Sins. That is unrelated to the the shitty fucking other anime. And maybe that somebody in chat was also saying they see the Seven Deadly Sins characters in here. Are they okay? Uh, like from the a hentai anime yeah. or the porno? From the porn. Um, I I don't know. I th I think. GG Mars is the one who said that they seen the uh, the the anime, or the the hentai. You seen the hentai? The face in the bottom left is giving fellatio to something. <clears throat> Again, like I don't I don't see it, and that's terrifying. Uh, I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any hogs getting choked. Seven Deadly Sins is not that bad. My experience of watching that anime was like the main character kept grabbing another character's like fucking gigantic oversized titties. And she was like, hey, stop grabbing my titties. And he was like, okay. <laughs> and then Honk Honk grabbed her tits again. And she was like, can you like seriously please stop grabbing my tits? 
And he was like, oh, shucks. Waka waka, honk honk. And then grabbed her tits again. And I was like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> That's when you just stop. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Holy shit. The manga was better. I might, I'm, 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 I'm probably exaggerating this. I'm, I'm most definitely exaggerating this. I feel like that, that's an anime trope. I literally cannot tell what anime you're talking about. Yeah, remember in Pokemon when fucking Ash kept grabbing Misty's tits? And she was like, hey, hey, hey fucking Ash, stop grabbing my tits. And he was like, oh, shucks. Definitely. Okay, that didn't happen Evangelion, but <laughs> but, but, but something arguably worse happened in Evangelion. Do I want to know? Uh, you haven't you haven't seen it, huh? No, I'm not. Everyone keeps saying I need to see it, and I will see it eventually. Uh, I don't know. Like I, I'm thinking about all the animes I've seen. Like I don't remember non consensual tit grabbing in, uh, uh Death Note. I I don't remember it in in Bebop. I don't remember it in uh, fucking. Attack on Titan. I, I don't remember it in... I don't know. I, I feel like there's an awful lot of animes that don't have non-consensual titty grabbing in them, but... I know it's a trope. I know it's a trope. Uh, I'm gonna level with you. I'm, level like, with exhausted. Me. Like, these images have just absolutely taken it out of me. All right, well, what if I tell you I only have one more to look at? All right, let's go. One more. One more. I can do one more. This one was really cool, I thought. It was actually generated by Wisp Bones. Take a look at that. Okay, that's pretty rad. Uh, the prompt was... The dread of night becomes my nightmares. It definitely uh, gives it, gives you a little uh, sleep paralysis, fella. Definitely a sleep paralysis, friend though. Fella, yeah. <laughs> sleep paralysis, little fella. He looks after me while I'm paralyzed. So kind of him. Uh, it it's really cool, Wispbones. Good job. Uh, also, Wispbones just sent us this. Can you figure out what that is? Is that, is that Gopnik the Hedgehog? Well, it was Gopnik Robotnik, but yes. Gopnik Robotnik, okay. <laughs> it's Gopnik <laughs> Robotnik. <laughs> Strutting his stuff down uh, the, 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 the fucking red square. Get a load of Privyet. Get a load of <laughs> Sussy Baka. Stop. Get a load of Sussy Baka. How did uh, that become a thing? Also, um, I have a message here from Curry Murmurs. It says, Disney's cars in the style of Geiger's Erato Mechanics. Pixar's uh, line, Pixar's Lightning McQueen's tongue is hanging out. Line, in haunted Shinjuku at night. <laughs> I'll, I'll be damned. <laughs> All right. And then they go on to say, you're the one that said Kerchow, so this is your fault legally. Uh, and here's a variation on the same, on the same thing. Uh, line, the streets are sexually aroused in haunted Shinjuku this terrible night. Wait a minute. <laughs> Holy shit. What? Ciao, baby. You can see fucking Lightning McQueen's organs hanging out. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Curry Murmurs is the best at this, like, bar none. This is incredible. This is like the fifth element if the fifth yeah. element was flesh. The meat fifth element. <laughs> A meteor fifth element than you remember. It's so rainy though. It looks like a uh, fucking Blade Runner yeah. in the background. 
It do that, that was my initial thought. But then, like, ooh. The Holy hell. Meaty. I, I love, like, the Cyclopean car with the fucking long tongue hanging out. Tongue right? hang yeah. Oh, that's f absolutely fucked. This is incredible. Yeah, you could tell they're really horny. The fifth element. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, All right. We are going to wrap up here, guys. I think we're both pretty shot. I want to thank everybody for coming to hang out tonight. Guys, thank you so much much for all the support thank you for the bits the subs the resubs in a minute here after we cut frank loose i'm gonna go look at all the subs i'm gonna call them all out but guys thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all the fucking support you guys are amazing i love you all thank you um and if you are new here tonight as always you can find me on me jabroni mike you can find on twitter you can find me on youtube you can find me on Twitch. You can find me on OnlyFeet. Oh. Right? Uh, uh, oh. The Boru. Uh, check the Boru? I'm going to check the Boru in a minute. If you made art, you should put it on the Boru. I expect it's going to be filled with these <laughs> AI, AI, AI images tonight. Um, I, I'm, I'm looking now. There's some really good ones. There's some good ones? Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, There's links in the chat to uh all of my shit and then there's also links in the chat to my buddy fred stuff he's on twitter he's on uh he's on youtube uh there's links and all that stuff he's got a patreon it's it's very sexy you should check that out um you got a full page of art so buckle in fucker there's a lot yeah there's a lot uh -oh, uh -oh. oh well you know what happened was last night uh, I fucking lost internet, so I didn't get to look at the art from last night. So I have a backlog of art to look at now. Ah, uh, okay. So that's part of the problem there. Uh, and again, I'm going to read out all the subs after um, we cut Fred loose. Because he doesn't have to be here for that. Um, but for, thanks for doing this with me tonight, Fred. Yeah, no, thank you for inviting <clears throat> me on to do this. Uh, I, hope I hope that I have been an okay guest. You have been a more than okay guest. Uh, I know that I, I do not bring the energy all of the time. Only during very specific moments. You but. got so you, you got more than enough energy, my bud. Um Okay, good. And look, chat loves you. They love you, dude. Aww. Uh, I might have to get this. All right, this is going to be a little tricky. Just bear with me for a sec. You're good. Oh, um, I need to put this. The best way to do this is going to be to get that all the way up there for the time being. I'm not leaving yet. I want to I wanna see the art. Display cat. What do you mean? Dis okay, so this is just not going to work. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this one's from Slowpoke Bloke. It's a cute little... <clears throat> Yeah, there, my throat's gone. Mm -hmm. It's a little uh, Venetian mask fella. He's cute as fuck. And I love... You, you did him in like that... I guess it's like the Kirby Epic Yarn style. He looks great. Looks so uh, good. The, the fabrics or, or how, however you did that. It's it's really fucking... Yeah, the textures are great. Re I love this. Really cool, Slowpoke. Thank you. Look at, look at the bells. They're sheet music. There's a little sheet music on them, yeah. It's really cool. Thank you. Um... We've also got uh, uh, something from Bootleg uh, Snickers. Uh, it's, uh, Skyward Sword meme, probably a beehive, though I'm not sure since there's no bees around. <laughs> and then probably a doghouse, though I'm not sure since there's no dog around. Uh, I'm like, I, I'm, uh, am I, I don't, I don't really get all of it. Um. The one on the Silent bottom Hill. is a classic image. Like it's a classic yeah. internet image. Um, Griffin Husky, thank you for watching, bud. Hope you're doing okay. Uh, and this happened. I don't know. Was that that wasn't dialogue from the game? Uh, the bees are in the back. I know. I'm just wondering what did did Link say that or? I'm lost. It's just uh, a refer it's referencing an old classic image. They they manipulated the image. 
Okay, this is from Bootleg Snickers as well. Uh, it's uh, Zelda toward the Skyloft. You got, uh, what's his name? Beetle? Uh, and, the, and the Beatles, is that what's going on here? Toward the France? Right, they're uh, batch-powered bicycles, right? Thank you, uh, Bootleg Snickers. Um, what else we got? It's Oh, it's we got a new emote here from Schmedley. And you better believe that's dumpy and twerking. <laughs> Thickerita. Thickerita. Throw it back, bitch. <sighs> The sped up ver there, there's a sped up ver version. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's the version that I that I have. So, uh, unreal. There's a content aware video from uh, Chitarbi Jabroni Chan and her piano impression, but it's a mental breakdown. <laughs> Watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh Christ. You like that, huh? I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> oh, man. It's not funny. It's not funny. Why am I <laughs> laughing? <laughs> oh, God. I'm a fucking asshole. Thank you, Chitarbi. Um, there's more. Uh, this is from... Your new adoptive parents. At... Oh, God. There's something... Okay, I'm not sure what's happening here. It looks like it's Fabio's website. We were looking at Fabio's official website the other night. There's Fabio riding on a Hans. What a beautiful horse. And an even more beautiful man. Of course, it must be Fabio. Indeed, it is, Donna. I wanted to repay you for the amazing work you put into crafting my website. Crafting? He remembered. I use that word because I take pride in what is indeed my craft. Web design is something that men have dominated the field of until very recently, in fact. But much like how Fabio was a pioneer in modeling, I feel like I'm a pioneer in web design. It was 2009? No. 2015? Yeah, they drew Fabio's web designer. This is exactly what she, lo <laughs> she looks like. <laughs> I, I have to make sure Mountain Dew sees this. <laughs> At least from the standpoint of a woman trying to go against the grain. So, about the payment. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have. It's okay, Donna. I understand. You are confident in your field of computer programming and design, but all of that cannot stay your nerves in my presence. Because <laughs> Fabio's website is, like, laughably bad, by the way. If that's, that's Is the, it? Yeah, yeah. That's what's going on here. Uh, can somebody link it to him? I'll link it to you in a second. Okay, okay. I suppose such beauty is a curse, as I'm sure you're aware. Gasp, did you just call me beautiful? Why in a way, yes, so but I am more referring... <laughs> his face got smaller! <laughs> Adoptive parents, I, I, I... Dude, I, I love this. Thank you so much. Oh, do you see it in the chat? Fabioinc.com? Please click that link. It's yeah, hilarious. no, I clicked it. I'm looking. Uh, <laughs> July 26, 2015. Event raised $88,281 for, for, for mesothelioma research. I love they it, spelled, adoptive they, parents. Thank you. They spelled mesothelioma correct, but they used the word for twice. Four four mesothelioma four, from four mesothelioma research from cybernetic cuttlefish. It's crackle as moisty, I think. Uh, this art reflects my mood. Out of spite, I will rain down pestilence upon the Amish. Rude, but uh, the art is cool. It's, I like the moisty raindrops. 
Funnily enough, his website gave me mesothelioma. Somebody said. Well, it's got a lot of, like, ancient asbestos in it, right? Uh, this is from Matt Mellon. Okay, some of you will remember this from the Skyward Sword stream. ZZ Top bassist Dusty Hill dies at 72. Rest in peace. It's actually me. They called me ZZ Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... Thank you, Matt. Um, this is from... Whoop. Hello? From GG Marvels, I got... A heckin' cute little uh, J-Chan here. Gigi, she's fucking gorgeous. Thank you so much, Gigi. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was clicking on the art, and it wasn't opening the, the art. It was um, pissing me off. Uh, very cute, Gigi. Thank you. Uh, Fred, you. Fred's still with us. Yes, I am here. Uh, we've got... Something from V Genesis. They generated. I think. I think the prompt was simply down the rabbit hole, Fred. Yeah, looks like it. Not a rabbit in sight. That's okay. Kind of looks like um, Wizard of Oz somehow. Like I'm getting like Technicolor, like rainbow vibes and shit. You know? Yeah. Somehow I'm getting hole. a Wizard of Oz vibe. We're not in Kansas anymore, right? Mm -hmm. Willy Wonka esque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could uh, see that got, too. You got kind of lots of eighties candy, uh, candy vibes, or not like earlier, not not eighties, earlier vibes. Oh, yeah. oh god, this art, dude, this art. Okay, so this is from Esh Esh, uh, who has desperately been trying to send me the stuff that they've been making. Uh, they just want me to have it, but I, I alas, have nowhere for you to send it. I don't know. I don't, I'm still working on that. I'm so sorry. Uh, they made a little chest to put Isaac in. How fucking cool is that? That's awesome. Ash, the thank you way, so much. The only way to make it better is it plays the Seinfeld theme when you open it. <laughs> Ash, you're doing fucking great stuff over there. Good work. Um, This is from Imagine Baggins. Uh, it looks like they AI they generated the cum gambit. The cum, thank goodness. Uh, you know what's funny? Can we? Sh it, there's nothing. What? What is it? It's nothing. I guess. Yeah. It's just meat. It's like. It's like someone's ass cheeks playing, like twister mini miniature twister with someone's like right side of their torso. Or Fred. Is it chess twister? It is chess chester. Is it ch is it chester? Chester. chester. Ch and uh, yeah, it looks like some something is shitting onto the um the field of play. Yeah, what's happening there? Like there's just a giant deuce being like a, a dookie is being laid down on the the, the chester board. Is that what's happening? That is 100% a cock. It doesn't look like a cock to me, but let's uh, get rid of it at this point. Yeah, move it. That, that's uh, why I was worried. I, 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 I did again. I did not see a cock. As you, I saw like maybe a turd. But uh, again, open to interpretation, Mr. Baggins. Thank you so much for that joyous image. This is from Queen Tiefling. It says, I made Fred's rabbit Sona into a Dungeons & Dragons character. It said, his name is Fred yeah, Rab Rab Rabbit Holson. Rabbit Holson. Yeah, I've, I've, I've made that joke a few times. Here, may, may, I, may I read his background? <laughs> this is really good. Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so he's an artificer uh, with a background of sage and his neutral good. A well-studied alchemist particularly obsessed with tea, Mr. Rabbit Holson travels Cringetopia to further his research <laughs> into exotic brews. He wields a sleek fencing sword and a vast array of strange potions. Funk shit tea, premier <laughs> eggnog, and, em <laughs> and Empress Teresa's floor cola, to name a few. 
With his faithful adventuring companion, the eldritch warlock Jabroni Cham, he explores cursed real estate dungeons and scours maddening tomes of lol cow lore. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's awesome. <laughs> this is oh, really good. <laughs> this is excellent, Queen Tiefling. Thank you. Holy shit. By the way, do you Beautiful. think Cur do you think Kirby's Manhattan had jizz in it? Uh, yes. Fred. Yes. It's called a man Manhattan. Manhattan. Oh. Manhattan. It it's already in there. You can't make it better than that. No, you can't. Like, no, how I do love you? This thing. <laughs> thank you, Queen <laughs> Tiefling. It's very cool, Queen. Thank, thank you. Uh, okay, so this is from Neptune Evo. It's uh, Ani Gary. Hi, can I interest you in some sushi? <laughs> it works, because like in Japan, they make mascots for fucking everything, right? It's true. I, I see the arms. I, I totally, like with the illustration, I totally see what you're seeing in them now. Well, yeah, this was what Neptune Evo saw, right? Mm-hmm. I see the teeth. I, I like. I saw the white as like the lips before, but no, I see the black being the lips, and then like the the white are the teeth, and there's like the tongue hanging out. Oh, I mm -hmm. see it. Yeah, it's fucked. A disgustingly American mascot. Yes. Americans, for some reason, seem to love their mascots. Disgusting. <laughs> Have you noticed that? <laughs> well, compared to Japan. Like Japan is leans into the cute mascots mm -hmm. is what you're is, is what you're saying. Like at, at least make it visually pleasing. Like listen, okay, listen. What you don't think Gritty's you're, cute? Look, just get furries to design your mascot and it'll look great. It's that simple, huh? It's really that easy. Like consistently, like just. I I know it's furries. But just get a fursuit maker to make your mascot, and everyone's going to be like, wow, that looks so good. And you don't have to tell anyone. <laughs> but it's going to look good. You don't have to like... tell anybody you spoke to a furry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do like disgusting mascots. You know who I always fucking hated? The Michelin Tire guy. Yeah, what the hell? He's fucking just disturbing. He's gross. Wait, he's just like a big pile of shit. It's like okay, okay. Fuck is him. he is Fuck he him. like Anpanman where he like He sucks. Where like is he like Anpanman? Because Anpanman, if someone was hungry, he would give them a hunk of his head. Because his head is made of bread. Um, who is this who is this this mascot? Oh uh, old, old ja it's not a mascot, it's an old Japanese like cartoon. Probably okay. like, a, a children's cartoon. Okay. Uh, very cute. Um it, but is if he if someone gets a flat tire would he like rip his leg off and start <laughs> attaching it to the but car? But that's the th that's the thing, Fred. He doesn't even look like he's made out of tires. I don't know what the fuck but he, he looks like. He they, like like they're white. Like when was that? Have you ever seen white tires? Uh, I've seen white white wall tire wa tires. white wall tires. But have you ever seen entirely white tires? No. And his tires don't have treads. I, when I was a child, I thought Mike, he was the, I thought he was the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man from from fucking Mike, Ghostbusters. Mike, you know you know exactly why they didn't make him tire colored. Racism? Y yes, yes. Whatever. I hate him. Okay, uh, is the point. And also Neptune Evo, thank you so much for the um, beautiful art of Oni Gary. You're right, though, aren't you? I. I think I'm right. From Moonlight, I believe this is also Onigari? Sushi guy, they said. Fuck, that's cute. It is, yeah. Holy shit, thank you, Moonlight. A go a <laughs> the Jap we, again, we have the Japanese interpretation and the American interpretation. This would be like the more Japanese one. Yeah. Right, exactly. And the other one is just horrifying. An absolute and then, and course, fucking nightmare you know, fuel. Yeah, and the first one, the American one, is like, you know there's someone's grandma who grew up with it and is just like, oh, like, oh I love him. And then, like, all, all the grandchildren are like, grandma, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, this <laughs> that is an abomination. Hard, get that out of the house. I just think they're neat. So this is from Mintelect. Uh, they drew the brick-and-mortar cryptid. I love it. 
<laughs> drinking a Budweiser. <laughs> drinking a Budweiser. <laughs> but this is just like one half of the cryptid, right? Like the one with right. with it without the 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 symbiote, the brick symbiote. Oh, well, he's there. Don't worry. Love it, intellect. Thank you. This is wonderful. Yeah. Uh oh, moonlight. And then another. Uh, drew the other one, I guess. Mm -hmm. The the mouth portion. I love the interpret like and see what see what we're saying like the interpretations of these AI images are all going to be different. He's even got the neon glow. Moonlight, this is awesome, guys! Thank you so much for all the cool art tonight. You guys are amazing. Um, we got something from Primal Screen Guy. Primal Screen Guy drew, um. Curry, one of Curry Murmur's images. Uh, which one? What was it called? It's like Kirby. I, I forget. No, it, it's uh, Kirby in the style of Yodorowsky's Dune or something. Like it, it's Kirby Yodorowsky's Dune. Uh, this one, yeah. Yeah, that's fucking great. And yeah, he does. He is balding. Like he does have hair like that. <laughs> he doesn't even notice that. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Yep. 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 And yeah, he's sitting in there angrily too. Oh my too. god! What? I'm just now seeing the AI copy pasted the top of someone's head, including their eyebrows, onto like beanbag chair Kirby. Look! Look! It's just it's they they just last it just lasso tooled the top of someone's head. <laughs> it did. <laughs> it did. Holy fuck! Wow. That's disgusting. Oh, fuck. That's fucking great. Yeah, you see the eyebrows and then the tall yeah. forehead? It's like yeah. Einstein hair. Uh, screen screen guy, thank you, bud. It's awesome. Awesome art, man. Uh, we got something from Bittersweet Devil. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is... Oh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Your name. Hi, honey. How was your day? Well, I had a really good time um, singing the opening for the Japanese Olympics. <laughs> POV, you're in a polyamorous relationship with Hatsune Miku and you ask how her day was. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucked. That, thank you, bittersweet. I don't know. We brought a doll around and pretended it was alive. Next one. This spawned some really good art. You guys Hi really guys, did good. Hi guys, it's me, Matt Redbox Drummer and niche internet micro celebrity to Brownie Mac. Man, that makes me feel bad. <laughs> it's, you know, this has all the energy of um, Monsters Inc., where Mike Wazowski's face keeps getting blocked out. <laughs> 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 Same energy, except you're an elbow. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> that's fucking fucked. Holy shit. New Isaac enemy. Um. Uh, Mintelect, it's awesome. Um, this... I might make this, like, my new, like, Twitter avatar, actually. <laughs> you're actually gonna do it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it, yeah. Oh god! <laughs> I, I shouldn't use this art though. I should use I should use the actual fucking image, like the I, actual I can, AI image. I not to call you out, but I'm calling you out. There is definitely a part of you that is like actually legitimately insulted by this. By what? By you being represented by the AI as an elbow with a hole in it. Like mm, okay, like one percent. A little, just a little bit. There's a little bit. There's a like, there's I, a one percent legitimate, yeah, resenting of it, yeah. I I think if that one percent of resentment wasn't there, you wouldn't make this your Twitter profile image. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Vinny got to be green hair, like Jack Septicai man, and I I have to be a a, a fucking meatball. I have to be a meatball. <laughs> You're Why do elbow. I have to be a meatball? 
Why do I have to be a fucking a, a, a hunk of elbow flesh? Listen here, you fucking elbow. <laughs> Mintelect, I love it. Thank you. Um, this one's from your sardonic sailor. And it's us, dude. It's really good. It's That's really adorable. cute. That's I, cool, cool as hell. Yeah. I love this. I, I love I love the people who like wh whenever the people who make art like of you end up make also making art for me I'm just like oh oh isn't it awesome yeah yeah this looks yeah. great uh, thank you Sar sardonic sailor um oh this is a new and improved version of the uh, trophy made by Colrich jabroni comment of the night. Uh, man, you 3D rendered it. That looks beautiful. Looks um, fantastic. Not uh, pretty sure you're not doing the bit anymore, but I thought it'd be cool to have a trophy. Um, the original trophy looks so bad. Like I, I, I don't want people to want this. <laughs> like you made this look some like something that would be desirable, which is not um what you want to do. It looks too good, yeah. But thank you, Call Rich. Maybe it's just filled with cum. I think that goes without saying. Yeah. Uh, we've got something from Panna Lemon here. It, it, him. <laughs> Tenho que ir rápido. I really appreciate the fact that you made no effort in trying to parse out the different parts of him. Like, it literally is as... As yeah. indecipherable as the AI generated image. I still don't know what I'm looking at. It's very faithful to the it, original. Yes. Like you didn't try to make it make sense. Yeah. Right. You just kind of left it. Yeah, you just let it fester. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Panel M, it, it's great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Fucking just. <laughs> Portuguese Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. That, he's Portuguese. Um, and we've got something from, uh, hello, hello, hi, uh, from Panamoth, that's the Lovecraftian Furby. Oh, yeah. I love the extra Furby growing out, like, crying blood. I'm glad that you <laughs> caught that it was crying, crying blood. blood. Got Isaac energy. Fucking awesome. Uh, thank you, Panamoth. I want to see if there's any, uh, like, Johnny Come Lately's here. Nope. Uh, really? No, that's it. it. That's it. So at that point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to that dashboard. Um, over to oh, that dashboard. And I want to thank the people who uh, gave me subs and all that stuff tonight. You guys are awesome. Uh, let me see what we got. Uh, six hours ago. Uh, we got Fred Knudsen, Hairtrap, and Point of View Man, Brogfish, Ryan the Roar, Cheesy Draws, Curry Mix, Liquid Snakes, Huge Pecs, Summon Aardvark, Ashtober, Skelosaur, You Axed Ferret, Sardonic Sailor, Spaghetto Depressi, TG, Lewis Master, PK Cannonball, Rago Boggle. Guys, thank you for keeping the lights on. Lunar Raconteur, Roy the Irish Boy, Aloe Vulpix, Valerie OS, Snusky Cash Money, Buff Pretty Riku, Giuliani's Law License. Guys, welcome back to your new home, freaks. Giuliani's, Giuliani's Law License was actually for uh, two years of support. Thank you, Giuliani. Uh, Jane Inferno with the bits. Thank you. Babsy, protector of jam, lord of fapland. Japeson, your new adoptive parents. Asparagus P. Vampire adjacent. Jet Shade. Big Fat Polly. Denizium. Denizium. Vermin Lord Trash with the bits. Guys, thank you so much for the support. Draw the Hellfire, Yo-Yo, Gabari, and Jaina1. Welcome back to your new homes, freaks. Uh, I told you guys that I was not going to be around until Sunday. 
I may actually do something Saturday night, actually, the way things are looking right now. I could be, I could be streaming Saturday night. I have to see how certain things pan out. Um, but right now, assume you won't see me till Sunday night. If I do end up being able to do it on Saturday, that'll be a nice surprise. But uh, it most likely is going to be Sunday night is my next stream. Uh, we'll see what happens. Fred, thank you so much again for joining me. Thank you for having me on. I'm, this was a fucking blast. I had so much fun tonight, too. I'm, I'm glad that my presence is positive enough that you continue to have me on, and I hope that it stays that way, even if I cause a few Monka S's. Yeah, listen, I cause Monka S's, too. It's all good. <laughs> Chat, have a great night. Lots of love. In my defense, oh. my only Monka S was talking about Brass Eye. Yeah, and I think it was just like you said the word pedophile, and like that was just that was enough for right. that was enough to manka. Right. Uh, all right, guys. Good night. <laughs> have a great night. Lots of love. <laughs> oh.